In this video, we are taking you throughout all Caesars properties on the Las Vegas Strip. We take you throughout every Caesars property, lounge in their pools and fitness centers, dine at a few buffets and cheap eats dining options. Finally, we check out the Caesars properties rooms. Find out which Caesars property may be best for you on your next trip to Sin City. What's up Jcationers, welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today we're checking out Caesars Palace once again and seeing how it's like to stay at the Octavius Tower here in 2022-2023. I wanted to give you an updated video, it's been about a year and a half since I've stayed here. So we're gonna tour the ground, see what's new, maybe try some cronuts, give you a nice room review of a room I got for pretty cheap. And right now it's the National Rodeo here in town. There are a lot of cowboy hats here and that's awesome. And it's the holiday season, so we got the Christmas decorations going on. But let's tour around and see what's new. I've heard a lot about this uh, cronut spot, so let's see if we can find it. And I'm kind of hungry, so let's see if we can grab some lunch somewhere. They do have the automatic check-in machines right here. But if you come later at night, you'll have to check in with an actual person. They have like three or four people operating it around 10, 11 at night. And it's right across from the Cafe Americano. Since I've last been here, they were doing construction in this area. And now there's this huge video poker bar area right to the side of the lobby. It looks really nice and lavish here. As long as I can remember, this statue of Cleopatra has been here. It's the very front of a ship and it's now called Cleopatra's Barge. And here's a luxury hotel, the Nobu Hotel. They have one in Miami and this is the entrance to it. It's between one of the hallways here around Caesar's Palace. And of course you'll find the Nobu right next to the entrance of the hotel. Check this out, over by the sports book is Amalfi by famous chef Bobby Flay. And there's a sports book right there. Alright, so here it is, right next to the Forum Towers is the Dominique Ansel Las Vegas. They're famous for their cronuts, so let's go uh, see if we can grab some cronuts here. Check out all these awesome pastries here. Look at this, this is a tea kettle called the Ladybug. Really nice. Chocolate chip cookie shot, they got ham and cheese sandwiches, macarons. Really good stuff here at Dominique Ansel, Las Vegas. They do have a few tables here where you can sit down and eat your cronut. It says, please eat within the next six to eight hours of purchase. Don't refrigerate, eat, or store in a cool, dry place. So, let's eat it right away. So this cronut is half donut, half croissant. It has some purple toppings with a snowflake because it's the holiday season. Got some sugar on the side. Let's dig in. I've had a cronut before, but not Dominic Ansel. Mmm. Nice creamy vanilla inside. That's tasty. For $7.99, better be tasty. But it's really good. Mmm. You get the flakiness of a croissant and doughiness of a donut. And you got the inside. This is good. It's definitely worth trying. Check out this pretty cool Robo Chef. Looks like it's putting together a one of those chocolate chip shots. That is interesting, cool. And I love the display here at Dominic Ansel. Really, really classy. And the cronut was amazing. Continuing over to the overpriced food hall here. The Forum Food Hall, they have a Defara pizza, which used to be an Earl of Sandwich, but that Earl of Sandwich was really pricey. They also got a Bobby's Burgers and a Halal Guys, and I'm eyeing that Halal Guys. There's also another Starbucks here, if you're interested in getting some coffee. And that's a really interesting looking bar, the Stadia Bar. We ended up getting the small beef and chicken Euro platter. This is the combo. I usually get the pita, but it is pricey, but I'm hungry, so you know what? Whatever. They have other halal guys around Las Vegas. The most notable one is the one over at Spring Mountain, and that has the normal prices, but since we're here doing the Caesars video, we're gonna just grab the small combo platter here. I love their hot sauce. Beware, they do charge you for extra white sauce and extra hot sauce. They will give you one free. But this hot paste, it is no joke. So don't overuse it or you will be paying for it. 
later on in the day. Put a little hot paste here with the white sauce on top. Let's get some of the chicken. Let's get some of the beef. Let's dig in there's some lettuce and some rice. You get like three pieces of pita bread. Mm. You guys, I love me some halal guys. So good. Mm -mm. We don't have a halal guys in San Diego. The closest one is in Irvine. So whenever I come here to Vegas or I'm up in Orange County, I would love to get me some halal guys. The entire Cation family, dad Cation, mom Cation, bro Cation, they all love this stuff. $15.99 for the combo platter. Plus tax, it was about $17.50. Not bad and I'll be full for the rest of the day. Thumbs up. I definitely want to try out Defara Pizza one of these days, so that might be on my list eventually. Now let's go check out more Caesar's Palace. Over here at the Coliseum, it looks like we got Rod, Stewart, and Sting. And finally, Weekends with Adele is happening on select dates. And it looks like they also have the Adele Boutique here, where you can pick up your favorite Adele garb. They even have dresses that she wears in either her music videos and concerts. And over this way, they have Vanderpump Vegas. There's also one in Paris Hotel. And once again, here's the door to nowhere. But it turns out it's just a fire escape because this side over here, if you get shut off, you can use that door. So it's a fire escape. We got a huge Christmas tree in the middle of forum shops. I watched a few New York vloggers who go to Aritzia, and I think it's mainly a women's shop. Can you guys comment down below if they have a men's department? One in San Diego doesn't have one. The one here doesn't look like they have one either. Also, I want to give you guys a tip. If you're out here in the forum shops and you're looking to charge your batteries, over on these benches that are like fallen columns, they do have a couple of outlets and USB. So if you need to charge your phone or charge your camera or whatever else you may need to do, look for one of these bench columns. Here is your mini statue of David. Over this way, right next to Bacchanal Buffet is the Beijing Noodle Number no. 9. I'm loving the decorations around here. Some ornaments, poinsettias, right next to the palace court. I think this is like the high stakes area right here. They got some roulette going on too. Las Vegas is ever changing. This place is called Stanton Social Prime and they're about to open this up pretty soon. There's always construction here. Right next to the Alto Bar. Alto means like the top of a hill, basically. They also have a statue of the immortal Joe Lewis. And here is one of my favorite sports books. This is the Caesar sports book. But ever since I've seen the Westgate sports book, I've been like, yo, that's so much better. So I forgot my Caesar's rewards card. So I have to go here to Caesar's rewards and pick it up. I need to use it. I'm gonna do a little gambling and use it at the Bacchanal. So gotta line up and get a new one. All right, Shigehuners, it is time for the 2022-2023 Caesars Palace Room Review. We are staying here at the Octavius Tower, which is kind of by check-in, but you have to walk down this long hallway, and I got a room on the 62nd floor. Now, the room rate was $32, but with tax and resort fees, it was $89 total. This room is big. It's a huge room. I got the king-size non-smoking room. Last night when I got in, we were filming a video all the way till about 11 o'clock at night. I was exhausted, so I said, I'm just gonna do the room review in the morning. So here we are. The bed was nice and comfortable. They have long pillows, four long pillows for you to sleep with. The air conditioning was perfect, and I didn't even have to adjust it when I got here. They also have this nice plush velvet grayish purple couch, L-shaped, with a few pillows, so you can just sit back, relax, you can have a few friends over, watch the World Cup like I did. I think Portugal's about to start right now. We're filming this video in the middle of December. You also have a nice round table here where you can probably bring up some food and have some dinner or have some drinks. They even give you a big ice bucket here so you can go down the hallway, fill it up with ice. And they also have a, a black side table here where the ice bucket's on. Huge king size bed. You get bed stands on both sides with drawers, your remote control, and your wireless telephone to call down to the front desk. Now, I did request a 12 o'clock check out and they denied it me but then when I went on to my Caesars app and I did a check out and asked me what time I wanted to check out I put 12 o'clock and they accepted it so I'm gonna stay until 12 o'clock it's almost 11 right now real nice got my eight hours of sleep I'm nice and rejuvenated 
film some great content. Stay tuned for the Bacchanal video coming up. That's coming next. Over here in the seating area, you got a glass and wooden desk with a Caesars magazine with Adele on it. They do have a mini bar. You got your Casamigos, there's some wine, there's scotch. They even have a charging kit. They have a pleasure kit, if you know what I'm saying, and some snacks, but kind of expensive. They even have gourmet coffee and the Keurig machine here. But you guys know I bring my Keurig machine with me everywhere I go, so I have it. It's packed up in my bag already, but I used it this morning. What I like about Caesars is they do give you two coffee cups to work with, but they have a gourmet coffee pack here, which will probably be way too expensive. And the Starbucks and cafes downstairs are definitely, they are a little pricey, but the line in the morning is what I don't like. I, I don't like waiting 20 to 30 minutes for coffee, so I wanna get out of bed and have my cup. So that's why I bring my mini Keurig machine and it works wonders, works out great. And I've already made my money back on it and more by using it throughout the year here in Vegas. The refrigerator, you do not have any personal space. It's all filled up with beer, liquor, drinks, Gatorade, waters, and they are way overpriced. I'm not even gonna tell you how much they are because it's not worth it. And then on the right side, you have more drawers. Over this side, you have a really eloquent Roman statue with a statue and red lips painted on it. And they even have reading lights, but only one of the two reading lights on each side work. I always have bad luck with that. One of the two lamps always fail me when I check into a hotel room for some reason. I don't know why. Does that happen to you guys? I mean, the, the bed lamps are working, but the reading lights only one and two work. You've got a T-shaped full-size mirror here so you can get ready in style. And then in the closet, they give you a few hangers. There's only like six or seven hangers, but the safe is in there as well as the ironing board and iron and your luggage rack. But it's a huge two-door closet and it will suffice, especially if you're staying here for more than a few days. Another thing that I like is they don't give you like a physical do not disturb sign to put on your door. You could actually just press a button. It'll light up a button in the front showing either do not disturb or make up the room. Here in the lavish bathroom, now granted, think of this, I only paid $89 total for this. You have a nice bathtub, you can grab a bath bomb and put it in here, but I just didn't have enough time, I'm only here for one night. Get this, the rate for tonight here in Caesars is over $500 for a normal room when I checked it on the Caesars Rewards app. Right now the National Rodeo is in town and the rates have been very inconsistent. Like Monday, I got it for super cheap, but then Tuesday it's like 500 bucks and then Wednesday it's like super cheap again and then the rest of the week it's really expensive so you guys know that I tried to do two or three different hotels and I had to repeat Caesars Palace this time around because I didn't really have that much of a choice in terms of rates and it's always nice to check out a new tower and see how Caesars is doing because it is one of my favorite hotels in all of Vegas as you can see in my top 10 hotels in Las Vegas according to Jaycation I really love the spacious his and her sink. You got two mirrors, three lights, you got your shaving mirror, a ton of toiletries, tissue box, your hair dryer. The only thing is there is a little bit of wear and tear, not on the marble sink itself, but on the bottom you can tell that this is a remodeled room with an older design because the wood is kind of scratched and old school and there's mirrors on the cabinets below the sink. It's not a big deal, but you can just tell that this is an older room that was fixed up and it's still really nice. 89 bucks, I'm not complaining, nice marble here. And then in the throne room, you got a frame of a column and there's also a telephone in the bathroom and two rolls of toilet paper. Shower is huge. The water pressure is very strong and it gets warm almost instantly. I had a nice hot shower this morning. So overall, Caesar's Palace always comes through and if you do look through certain times of the year, you can get deals like I got for $89 for a night. The view here is awesome. You get to see the swimming pool, which is closed during the winter, unfortunately. Some of the pools are even drained right now, but it's one of my favorite theme pools in all of Vegas. It's always clean and it's a huge pool and during the summer it's great. And if you haven't seen my 24 hours in Caesars Palace video from a year and a half ago, check it out. I actually go visit the pool there as well. But for 89 bucks, thumbs up for sure. The only complaint I'll have today is when I did ask the front desk to get 
check out at 12 o'clock. It's only an hour, and uh, the lady said no. But when I did go onto the app, I was able to put in 12 o'clock. They didn't charge me extra. She was like, it's $20 extra to check out that lead. But when I did it on the app, it didn't give you that warning. You're gonna be charged an extra 20 bucks if you don't check out at 11 o'clock. So make sure you know that. And check-in is at three, and check-out is at 11. I got in last night at 10 o'clock. They usually have the automated check-in counters, but I actually had a real person check me in because I got in so late at night. And for some reason, the check-in, check-out machines, they were closed. Yeah, overall, Caesars Palace is still one of my favorite hotels in all of Las Vegas. Starting off with the tour here, here's Monami Gabi, one of my favorite places for ambiance in all of the Las Vegas Strip. Now, they do have a nice heated patio this time of year. The shade is still down here, so if you're coming to dine for breakfast around 9 o'clock, the sun is not shining down on you here in the patio yet, so make sure you check out Monami Gabi. I love their Andue Sausage Eggs Benedict. That's one of my favorites. Little tip, on the side of the sports book, there is the Uber pickup. You can go to an exit and go right to the CVS and not have to walk through the front on Las Vegas Strip as much. So if you don't know that side exit, that's a lot quicker to get to the CVS if you need to pick up some things over there. Little update, the neighboring hotel, Horseshoe, finally has its signage and all the Bally's signs are going away. And the giant screen up front that they've been working on for all these months is finally up as of March 24th, 2023. Not only do you look up, but look down, you'll see a Las Vegas star sidewalk here, Engelbert Humperdinck. Please release me, let me go. And there's a bunch of other stars over here as well. Also, if you look up at the facade above Monami Gabi, it's beautiful. It's like a Parisian building with the Eiffel Tower. We gotta go up there at some point. Last time I gave you a review of Paris, we were still getting out of the pandemic times in March of 2021. So this is definitely a great updated video. There's a few new things within the casino and it looks like all the construction is basically done. Right below one of the legs of the Eiffel Tower is the Arc Bar where you can get your frozen cocktails. And then up there is the Eiffel Tower restaurant and you can actually go up to the top of the Eiffel Tower here. Beautiful view of Bellagio on the Strip up there. So these two restaurants, Alexa's Kitchen Bar. I've heard some okay things about it, but the problem is with Alexa's and Beer Park, which is above it, you do get a beautiful view of the Bellagio Fountains, but I've heard in the past that they have charged a concessions fee, about three and a half percent, and you'll see it in your bill. If you don't notice it, you'll just pay for it, and then next thing you know, you're paying an extra 3.5% that you don't have to pay. And here it is, the famous Norma Heli Don't Do It Corner. You've seen us here on many a live stream, and look, people just be crossing, not paying attention and that's how you get ran over hashtag don't jaywalk and it's right below the Paris balloon sign and if you do go to Paris you will get on a train and you'll see a lot of these hot air balloons going up and down I've seen the hot air balloon on the way to Versailles it's a beautiful scene so there is a way around the CNF fee if you just kindly talk to the waitress or the general manager even though you shouldn't have to talk to them about it they can take it off for you so ask nicely treat people well and they'll take it out for you even though it's a ripoff in my opinion and also it's not the general manager or the server's fault that that 3.5 percent CNF fee is there so they don't want it there as much as you do and there is a, a nice view of the Arc de Triomphe and unlike the Paris France Arc de Triomphe you can't go up to the top I love going up to the Arc de Triomphe back in uh, 2013 it's a nice view of the Champs-Elysees and you have a huge banner of the Bedford Martha Stewart and Vanderpump a Paris by Lisa Vanderpump. I believe that's Lisa Vanderpump. Comment below if I'm wrong. So this corner entrance to the casino, right next to Beer Park, this is where you want to exit to go towards Planet Hollywood if you want to grab your Erla sandwich and your cheap eats. Chateau Rooftop is one of their clubs here, and they're open from Friday to Saturday, so make sure you check them out if you want to go clubbing within Paris. Probably up this stairwell right here. I just love how the legs of the Eiffel Tower stick into the casino as well and then all the table games and slot machines are all around it. Here's the Eiffel Tower box office and viewing deck but they don't open till later on in the afternoon and if it's windy sometimes they close down so make sure you check that out and also if you have Caesars Rewards sometimes they have discounts for like five dollars off a ticket to go to the top. Look how busy Mon Ami Gabi is. This is the line just for breakfast. If you want to go here make sure you do reservations 
lines about a week ahead of time and you can get yourself a seat and there's a separate line for people with reservations and you get in right when your time allows you to. Right next to one of the Eiffel Tower legs is the sports book and there's also a bar here. This has been under construction for a while and is finally open and even though a little small and quaint, it's still a good place to go check out and place your sports bets and SDSU's playing today, that's why I'm rocking my Aztecs jersey. Let's go, Sweet 16. There's a Carlos Bake Shop and we did try this in my Las Vegas overrated video, so make sure you check it out. I had the uh, Red Velvet and there are plenty of gift shops. There's one by the uh, guest elevators, but this Eiffel Tour has a ton of Paris garb. I like how when you go up there, they have this little pathway that looks like a bridge over the Seine River in Paris. So this is a pathway to take you to the elevator to the top. See, there you go. There's your hours of operation. Monday to Thursday is 2 to 10 p.m. And Friday to Sunday is 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And then right in the middle of the casino is this fountain that reminds you of roaming the streets if you've ever been to Paris, France. Another one of the celebrity chefs here in Las Vegas, Gordon Ramsay, has his steak place here, Gordon Ramsay Steak. And it almost reminds you of a little Moulin Rouge looking spot. Even though there's no windmill, you got that red and black reminding you of that. And then there's a picture of the famous Ferris wheel they have over there, as well as the Eiffel Tower. And I don't know what bridge that is. Comment down below, what's that bridge? If you vacationers watch my live streams and see me play Wheel of Fortune, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like to see these uh, Wheel of Fortune games being played? I also like the name of this, Champagne Slots. And this is Cafe Americano. Look at the line to get in for breakfast. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It's always cracking here throughout the day. A nice ambiance over here. And the reason why I get coffee up in my room is because I don't want to fall in lines like this. But on the side, they have a 24-hour bar where you can pick up coffee. And it's right next to the Vanderpump à Paris where they do have pretty good food, I've heard, and I think this is one of the more beautiful restaurants with an amazing garden ambiance. It's almost like you're in a Paris Versailles garden hanging out there. I should try this place one of these days. It's always cracking here with the chandeliers all over the place here. Beautiful chandeliers, guys. Another thing that Paris is famous for is Perfume de Paris. The real Paris is famous for its perfume. And then you also got a place here called Lunette and that's their uh, sunglass store. And the Paris Theater is here through the Le Toilette area. Right by check-in is Le Element, and here's Le Reception. And you do have your regular reception over here, and this line is always crazy, but right now it's empty because it's 9.30 in the morning. No one's checking in quite yet. But now that I have Diamond, they have the Le Diamond check-in right here through these two doors. And I'm telling you, we came in and checked in at 10 a.m., and they were able to get us a room ready. Now, that's subject to availability but if you go through these double doors that's where you check in so once you have diamond you can check in early and check out late with no charge so diamond has been so much more useful here's your uh, brioche by Guy Savoy fine coffees French pastries and sandwiches huge line at 9 30 in the morning right next to the taxi and drop-off area outside by the Arc de Triomphe love this uh, mural right here Le Petite Femme de Paris right next to Le Cabaret Le Cabaret is always a beautiful ambiance. Every time I pass by it, and you got this red Moulin Rouge looking stage, it's always cracking here on the weekends. And you do have some stand-up tables and some video poker here as well. And just look at the uh, decorations here at Vanderpump à Paris. It's beautiful. It reminds me of walking into one of those uh, restoration hardware stores or the flower section at a Michael's. Tell you what, there's no shortage of cafes here at Paris. There is Café Belle Madeleine, and they do have drip coffee and pastries but look another long line at 9 30 in the morning tucked in the walkway towards the horseshoe is a quaint little nobu and there's a bar as well and down the way here you have your le journal where you, if you see on the las vegas strip a lot of people walking around with these paris balloons and these paris mugs and they also have the eiffel tower this is also fairly new this is bobby's burgers by bobby flay ah man the rating wasn't that good and i stayed here for a week at the horseshoe and i never tried it because i don't know it 
doesn't look that enticing. And right across from Bobby's Burgers is the Bedford by Martha Stewart. And this place is open around five o'clock, but it's been a very popular place to show. I've never done a review on it. Very pricey over here, but maybe one of these days. Comment down below if you want to see me do Martha Stewart or Vanderpump à Paris or even Bobby's Burgers. I may be down to do it one of these days. This area over here used to be the buffet, but now it's no longer. But my favorite part of this area here is my own boulangerie and la creperie. So the crepe place is always having a line, but JJ's boulangerie, I did try this and it was really good. I had the Cobb salad over here a couple weeks ago. And it's right next to La Pizza where I saw they have a breakfast pizza. You also get a couple of uh, stores here, Fine Silverstone and Sea Scent, home of aromatherapy. Here's a picture of the inside and the dueling pianos. This is a really nice, classy place to go have a cocktail or beer and just watch the dueling pianos play. And they do take requests. There's the pens and the paper. You can put it in there and there's their tip jar. And then on the other side, they do have a cigar lounge, it looks like. Right by the parking garage is the Le Centre de Convention. And the NCBC is here right now. But earlier in the week, they had the adult toy convention here. I don't know what it's called, but a lot of people here were walking around with bags of lingerie and adult toys, if you know what I'm saying. Here's the famous street sweeping janitor that you are greeted by when you come from the self parking garage. So on this trip in particular, we did park. We drove from San Diego. So now that I have Caesars Diamond, which is their third tier, I have free parking. But for locals, it's three hours free for Nevada locals. And if you don't have at least a second tier for Caesars, which is platinum, you only get one hour of free parking. So just make sure you know that. And also take a picture of the level and section you're at. Because right now, I don't even know what level and section I'm at. I think I do. We'll figure it out when we check out and walk to my car and try to find it. Here's Le Boulevard area. They do have a cellular planet and then an area here called Davidoff where they sell cigars, vapes and all that stuff. But this is where you start getting into the horseshoe. But we're not going to go into the horseshoe. You can watch my video on the horseshoe. I just did stay there for a week in early February. But they do have a few more stores here. High tech room with a transformer. You got Viva Vegas. You can get your cheap souvenir as well. I don't know how cheap, but it's uh, cheaper than all the other stores around here. See, we're still at Paris. This reminds me of one of the famous department stores up in Paris. You got Barun Cristal, a Missouri men's store, and a Paris line women's store here to end it. And this is the border right here. After this, you're going to want to tune in my other video. Welcome to Horseshoe. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what other Vegas hotels you want to see me cover. Want to see me do some in San Diego or Hawaii? Let me know as well. So this is on the second floor and this is the chapel. Chapel hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday to Saturday. So if you want your dream Paris Vegas wedding, here you go. And then you got your Voy Spa and Salon. I don't know how to say that right, so I probably said that way wrong. Voy? And that's the entrance and they also have some uh, spa gear that you can pick up up front. And you can book your reservation, check out this QR code, click it now. Go up one floor to the Pool à Paris. It's open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., weather permitting, but now that it's middle, end of March, the pools are opening up. If you forgot your swim trunks like I did, they do have a Le Oasis Pool Boutique here, right by the pool entrance. I love this gold frame that you can take a picture of with, but it's kind of dark this time of morning, but you got the Eiffel Tower perfectly framed in the back. A great picture up here in the third floor. This is a beautiful pool on the fifth floor. They have a nice circular shaped pool and it overlooks the Eiffel Tower restaurant. And I think this is like a one fourth version of the Eiffel Tower, I think it is. One fourth or three fourths, I don't know. They do have cabanas with TVs in here and some beach chairs. And I really do like the day beds that they have to offer because they're shade. So during the summer, you can rent these day beds and just lay in the shade and the Vegas heat. And spring is here, guys. You can see the flowers starting to bloom over here, purple and gold, just like my Lakers. And this is the Le Café du Parc. You can pick up some booze and hang out here. Ooh, truly hard seltzers, count me in. Yeah, these day beds are really cool. And you can also get ones that have a rooftop so you don't get burnt by the sun. What's up, man? Hey, I'm a lifeguard at Paris. I want all y'all to know, have a good, good, very good JK. Very good one. <laughs> Mellow the Dawn. Mellow the Dawn. Hey, appreciate it, bro. <laughs> hey. 
Heated pool? Heated pool. Okay. Look, heated pool, it gets to like what, like 70, 70 something. So yeah, you know, come out, y'all. It's a good time. You know, it's a good time. Very good time. Nice so. view of the Eiffel Tower too. Beautiful view, man. It's like, you know, scared <laughs> of heights though. But <laughs> scared of heights. But yeah, most definitely, man. All right, bro. Have a good Appreciate one. Appreciate you. Hey, have a good one, man. All right, guys. So there you go. There's a little tour of the pool area. Really nice lifeguards. Now let's go upstairs. Check out the room. Over by the elevator area, you do have some seats. I like the light blue and gold they have here. They have these seats here so you can wait for other guests that you're staying with that are in other rooms. Very classy looking hallway here. Paris is one of my favorites. Check this out guys, I'm rocking the Paris PSG pants. As y'all know, I had to represent here. Love the gear. Time for the room tour. I usually come to Vegas about five to six nights when I do all my filming. I definitely will start doing Caesars properties at least once per stay, once per visit, because I do get zero resort fees with my diamond status, which is the third level. So that's another great thing. And you do get better rates. For a Thursday to Friday in the middle of March, March Madness, Sweet 16, SDSU's going to play today. I paid $28 flat $28 to stay here so that is a really good deal and now I have free parking I don't have to pay the extra resort fees that is how Vegas should be B. I felt good being able to check in at 10 a.m. Which is subject to availability, but they said they did have a room ready for me and my dad, so perfect. And I was able to check out today at 12 o'clock before I moved to my next hotel, which is Mandalay Bay. Here in the room, we have the two queen beds, and I like the Parisian black and cream and gold decorations they have here. The really cool Paris frame here with all the different Paris words like oui oui, bonjour, and all that good stuff. So checking in early, you really don't have a choice but to get whatever room they give you. And the view is okay. I got a view of the new horseshoe, Bally's and Flamingo, but not quite the strip. It works out, you know. I like their uh, red and cream curtain here. There's a giant lamp, and right next to that giant lamp is the air conditioning. I don't know why it's so hard to press those buttons. You press a button once and it doesn't work. But if you keep pressing the button, the temperature goes down or up every like five presses. I don't like that they have to press super hard. That's just how it is. It's not just here in Paris. That's how it is for all air conditioning systems for some reason. This great bench is cool. Dad Cation slept on this bed. It was a pretty comfortable bed. They give you one long pillow and two shorter pillows. So three in each place. You have two lamps on each side of the queen beds. And then let's go over to the bed stand. Over here on the bed stand area, you have your lamp. The outlet doesn't work on the lamp. I always have minimal success with the uh, outlets on the lamps. So I usually try to just find the wall outlets and luckily there are two on each side here. So that Cation could use that. I use that. There is a Sony alarm clock here. I think it's just three drawers. Yep. No Bible like uh, the horseshoe provides you. Your remote controls here and you can order Caesars Eats and you have your telephone so you can call down to the front desk. You do have a little desk here to work with. I wish it was a little bit bigger space but you can work here. They do have an Ethernet Wi-Fi cable here. Now just remember in Caesars properties you can only connect two devices per room and after those two devices those are free. It's $14.99 per device per day per additional device. So if you have three devices you're gonna pay an extra $14.99 per day. So don't fall into the trap like me, Brocation, and Dadcation did two years ago. If you want to watch that video, see what happened there. We got charged like 75 bucks and we had no idea that it was because we had so many other devices connected to the Wi-Fi and each device was uh, $14.99. Luckily they took it off so I didn't get a sour taste in my mouth from that. And uh, you have a little drawer here, no stationary. This lamp has a USB charger and you also get, oh, they give you six Caesars Rewards cups and an ice bucket and a tray. And the ice is just down the hall here. And of course, Adele, Mrs. Rich Paul is here and she's just right down across the street over at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Panasonic TV is okay. One thing Dad Cation didn't like was that they didn't have YouTube. You have three drawers here and then two huge closets but you have two full length mirrors over here as well and then a sun looking mirror right behind the desk here. Over on the left side you're facing you get your luggage rack and iron and ironing board and a few hangers. And then on this side, you have your refrigerator. That's what I love about the Caesars properties versus MGM. You get a refrigerator in most of your rooms. The safe was nice and functioning, perfect safe. And floor hangers up here. So 
Thumbs up on the drawer slash entertainment system. Now the housekeeping service lady was saying, hey, be careful here because kind of dangerous because there is no security going up there. They don't check your key or you can't put your key card to go up the elevator. So she said that she's seen instances of robberies. So make use of that lock and this lock, the double lock, because you never know. And she said sometimes these doors don't shut all the way. So when you open it, shut it, make sure you tug on it inside and outside to make sure it's locked because that's how people have gotten in on the past with the door kind of being latched open and not, people not noticing. All right, all right, we're here in the bathroom. The bathroom is a decent size. I do love the picture of the miniature Eiffel Tower with a blurred actual Eiffel Tower in the background. And if you've ever been to that area, Trocadero, I believe it is, that is a nice frame. I've seen it here before. I like the red frame they have in front of the one sink. No his and her sink here in the standard queen bedroom. Uh, all your towels, face towels are down below here. Extra toilet paper, tissue paper, and your hair dryer. You do get soap and your tissue paper here up top of the counters. Plenty of space to put your toiletries. Uh, you do get a small bathtub here as well. The throne, perfect, perfect height, low enough. I don't like my throne high. I like it low enough. You're meant to squat when you're on the throne, man. And the shower got warm really quickly. You do have two ledges here. They don't give you that community soap that you get in the link over at Resorts World and over at Harris. So that's a thumbs up. They have the Jose Bear toiletries that they give you and dedication already packed that up so they don't have it here. Let's see what Dad Kishan thinks about his 2023 stay here at Paris, Las Vegas. All right, Dad Kishan, your second time staying here in two years. What do you think of Paris, Las Vegas in 2023? Well, Paris is always nice. The room, it's clean. It's not like the one, the first one we went to. Well, this is the third hotel we've been to in the last three days. It got a bit crowded, but the only thing I don't like about it is some hotels don't make uh, YouTube available on their TV. Uh, that's about the only thing I can complain about. So is Paris Las Vegas overrated? No, it's not. Paris France overrated? Yes, it is. <laughs> How about Mon Ami Gabi? The food was, well, looked like they rushed it. It was, it was dry, corned beef was dry. But the ambiance and service? The ambiance is just perfect. I mean, you know, you can sit there and watch people walk around. Like I said, you know, if there's too many people in a restaurant, they kind of rush everything, but it's still good. Gambling, they should have more like- Bargain uh, tables? Bargain tables, five or $10 tables. But that's not gonna happen, you know. They only have $25 tables, blackjack. At night though. At night. They have $10 tables right now. Well, yeah, but you know, who plays it during the day? <laughs> Everybody plays at night. And it's six to five blackjack, unlike in some places in downtown where it's cheaper. Oh yeah, you can go to like uh, El Cortez and you can play for one dollar. How did you like diamond check-in? Diamond check-in was quick. There's no line. The regular check-ins were on the outside. The line was long, so you don't have to wait. Parking here is easy, you know. You don't have to walk too far. And now that I got diamond, it's free. And uh, we've got diamond membership now, so everything is cool. All right, Jaycationer, so for $28 for Thursday to Friday on March Madness week, I give this place two thumbs up. I like the restaurant options that you have here. We've tried a lot of them downstairs, like Monami Gabi. I didn't really have enough time to do a restaurant video because we've been doing separate videos here. Let's get started with the tour of the new horseshoe. Is it new or is it renovated or is it in transition? I'm confused. Even though you see the Bally sign still around, there's like seven or eight different horseshoe signs and everything else says horseshoe on it, like the room key. Just like the Luxor, there is a little bit of wear and tear. Looks like there should be a cover on this uh, outlet system here. So my uncle graciously loaned me his car for the trip. Parking here is 18 bucks for the night I do have my pearl status which was approved so I get free parking at an MGM resort the first hour is free so I dropped off my bags now I'm gonna park this over at Bellagio across the street and then just walk back here closest parking lot for MGM is Bellagio and it's literally across the street from the horseshoe from Paris to Bellagio it's freaking mad traffic and nothing but hordes of people. I had to like go on Flamingo and do a U-turn and all this stuff. But finally we're here, free parking saves 18 bucks. The good thing about parking here at Bellagio is you get to check out the Chinese New Year display. All right, I'm absolutely starving. I've always wanted to try that donor kebab spot that I always pass by during my live streams in the Grand Bazaar shops. Let's try it out. Well, the transition to Horseshoe is not totally complete yet. You still got Bally signs all over the place. The Bazaar shops are a total mess right now. Scaffolding all over the place, but 
tons of restaurants are still open. Well, first things first, we're gonna pop into the CVS between the Paris and Horseshoe, grab some waters. So CVS, they have the bigger waters for like three bucks. I'm just gonna have to pick up one of these. And Powerade Zero is only 239 compared to the 319 for your Gatorade, so Powerade it is. Right when you leave CVS, you get a Subway and a Wall Burgers here at the Bazaar Shops. Coffee Factory, Ben and Jerry's. They even have a Raider image here now. So you're looking for some Raider swag, even though their season's over. You can come in here. There's the main entrance. There's the Giordano's that I tried with Sleepless in Las Vegas. And here is the It's Sugar. And here is the Istanbul Mediterranean donor spot that I've been wanting to try. Prices aren't cheaper. They run from anywhere from 13 to 16 bucks. Right next to the donor spot is Ramen Ya. And then there's a Pizza Pizza spot right next to it. This Mediterranean also doubles as Marash ice cream. This looks like a Tix for Vegas, like a secondhand dealer. I don't trust these places. They're overpriced and shady sometimes. So they do have seating over here to the side, but it's kind of cold tonight. It's like down in the 40s, so I'm gonna take it up to the room and eat it. Got the food, let's finish the tour here. The seventh chakra, the ultimate virtual reality experience. They even have a cell phone holder store called Sunset Case. More VR stuff. Wow, VR is popular over here. And then over in this area is Island Time Floats, Tiki Bar and Tacos. This has been here for a long time. And then there's like an outdoor Giordano's bar over on this corner is Dave's Hot Chicken. I've tried this in San Diego. Pretty decent. I like Dave's Hot Chicken. Over here they have Golden Puffs Las Vegas and Duck Donuts right after the ramen spot. Here's a little tip. If you're walking the strip and you really need to go to a restroom and you don't want to pop into a casino, there's a public restroom here right below the Giordano's. This is the men's and then on the right side is the women's. You have a, like a little mini six inch individual stuffed deep dish piece that you could get at this little counter right here. So if you're just looking for some quick eats, you can go over here instead of going up to the actual restaurant. And then you got Redneck Riviera over here, a Fat Tuesday, Dirt Dog, and Fuel Bar. Now we're going up back towards the casino. I'm gonna eat this, I'm starving. This used to be a moving walkway. Now it's just kind of under construction. But look at that, you got Bally's, but then Horseshoe is in the entrance. So they're changing the sign slowly, but it's getting there. Bally's or horseshoe. Oh, there's one sign with the horseshoe on it. Right here is the lobby. That's where I got my physical room keys. Now you could check in on your Caesars Rewards app and then you have to come here and grab your actual room key. They don't have the digital room keys like MGM Resorts do. And then you also got this cafe here. I got a comp coffee here once with my Caesars Rewards card. It's the Lavaza Cafe, I believe. And otherwise it would have been $6. One other reason why I bought the Keurig machine. Right past the lobby is your overpriced souvenir shop and then they also also have a wine and liquor shop essentials on the other side too. This little eloquent bar in the middle of the casino is called Sully's Bar and they have some video poker here and some nice cocktails. These are my enemy right here. That's why you want to go to CVS or ABC stores. Keep walking down you eventually hit the uh, elevators. Make sure you figure out which section are the floors because this is only 16 to 26 and then over here it's floor 5 to 16 and I'm at floor 12. Right next to Le Cor Paris down this way is the Grand Bar rooms, event center, and palace rooms. Unfortunately, the Horseshoe Fitness Center is only open from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. And right now it's exactly 8 p.m. I was hoping they close at like 10 or something. You'd think in Vegas they close a little later. It's like I'm gonna have to get in that workout tomorrow morning. I guess I'm a morning person tomorrow, so we'll get that workout in early in the morning. But we're gonna start off with the wraps. Oh wow, they even cut it up for you. Look at that. I got the beef and lamb mix. They put all the de different vegetables. I got some red hot sauce on it with some tzatziki. Looks good, we're gonna have to try this out. Now this is not cheap, it was about 16.50 plus tip. Man, passed it so many times I need to try it out for once. Let's see if this thing is worth it. Mm. Oh yeah, you get that nice taste to the lamb. There's that red pepper taste. I got the pickles. Mm. Vegetables are super nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna devour this. But for 16 bucks on the Las Vegas Strip, that's pretty darn pricey. Kebab shop, you pay about 12 bucks, I think, for a wrap like this. I think it's even bigger. I'm here for the taste, and it's actually a pretty good taste. All right, thumbs up. I wish they maybe did a coupon thing for this every now and then so you get good deals. Maybe they could do like a happy hour on kebab sometimes. More people will buy it. Regardless, pretty good. I approve. So getting the coffee ready. Make sure you bring your equal if you use equal. Got coffee mate and all my donut shop. 
Keurig cups. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna start the tour from the very back of the horseshoe by the monorail and the pool. Now, pool season is closed right now since it's January. It probably will open back up in March when it starts getting a little warmer. But let's see what's new in this area. This is where all the fun stuff, minus the casino and the Grand Bazaar shops, are located. So let's see what's new. There's a lot of new things around here. Like I said, the pool is closed, but they do have cabanas and a bar side pool over here. During the summer, it's on and popping. I can see Top Golf right next door. Right next to the pool is the monorail entrance, and it'll take you all the way to Sahara and all the way down to M. GM Grand. There's also some shows here. I used to watch George Wallace. He was hilarious. We watched him at least three or four times. My dad used to get hooked up with tickets. Frederick's Paranormal Mind Reading Magic. I've actually gone to a mind reading show before and I was up on stage once upon a time. Pharrell Dillon Comedy Magic. And right here is the new arcade. This used to be the sports book. They have a ton of games. Looks like they have the big one, win big prizes. And I think you can drink in here too. If you want to keep your kids busy, even just for a little bit and get them off the iPad, they do have a few things here and you can also play games where you can collect toys and tickets you got your table of champions ice hockey connect four hoops your football red zone rush and a ton of racing games down here and even a wheel of fortune spin and win and a whack a clown I don't do clowns want to get your kids ready for Vegas when they turn 21 have them play in this arcade this is like a ticket wheel I've covered this place before this is the uh, food court Nathan's has a White Claw sign, so you can get some White Claw over there. Want to take a picture with the uh, bootleg Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign? Well, they have one down here right next to the arcade. And it looks like there's even a bar for the parents to hang out while the kids are playing. Looks like they got Ben and Jerry's coming soon. They also have a Lick candy shop over here. And right across the way, they have a souvenir shop with a bunch of Las Vegas gear. You can get your Golden Knights stuff and your Raiders gear here. If you want to hang out with the Rat Pack and Frank Sinatra, there it is. You get a little picture of them here on the wall. Right next to the Vitality O2 Oxygen Bar. You can replenish yourself after a long night of drinking. Marshall Russo, which I saw over at Excalibur, they have a branch here too. Down the way, they have a Twilight Zone by Monster Mini Golf. They do have some arcade games along with a mini bowling alley. This could be fun to bring the kids at night and just to have a family night out. And then they also have some straggling arcade games over this way as well. And a photo studio, so you can take some selfies. They also have a National Geographic rarely seen photographs of extraordinary, an immersive exhibition. Right in between they have a massage area and right here they have real bodies only at Bally's. So two exhibitions here at the very end of this area in the pool level. Then they got X-World 360 where you can do some VR too. The Cabinet of Curiosities. And they have a ton of cabinets with a bunch of curious artifacts. A little creepy, almost like a Nightmare Before Christmas-ish type thing. Haunted Mansion looking. Definitely a few fun things here, like the Cabinet of Curiosities. I also heard that the Game of Thrones exhibition is coming here. I can't wait till that opens. I've been getting stuff on Instagram and Facebook about it. So when that comes and opens up later on this year, we're gonna have to check that out. It's probably gonna be Game of Thrones House of the Dragon style. So you just gotta take the escalator down to get to that area where the arcade and fitness center, monorail and pool is and all that fun stuff. Their steakhouse, Jack Binion's, is right over this way and they're building a place called My Asia. Sometime in the fall, Blake Shelton's old red sports bar is gonna open and it's gonna be a huge one here at the Horseshoe. This little casino bar is pretty cool. They have a bunch of TVs. Great place to watch NFL playoffs this week. This is the pathway connecting Paris to the Horseshoe. There's a few shops over here like Paris Line, Masura. I think they're opening up a Guy Fieri restaurant here. It's coming soon. They also have a Burun Crystal store and the Shiver Frozen Cocktails right here in the corner. Their sports book is now the arcade, but they have a small sports book right here in the very corner. And right here by the casino is the theater entrance. And this is where I've seen George Wallace in the past. This is their Hall of Fame poker room. The World Series series of poker is coming here later on in the year to Horseshoe. So if you're looking for the new location, it's here in the very corner near the poker room is Nosh, which is a cafe you can pick up your coffees in the morning, but still pretty pricey. And over down here is a little convenience kiosk, Jubilee Wine and Spirits. 
as we go up to the conference center. Ah, the magic attic is actually up over here. So this is where that magic paranormal show is. Looks like there is a conference right now. 2023 Dead Talks? Sounds grim. Oh, it's a funeral thing. My friend Schmidt probably has gone to this. I'm gonna text him right now. They've also obviously changed the carpet because look, little horseshoe designs here. I gotta look down every once in a while. <laughs> On the opposite side of the expensive La Vaza coffee is a full casino cocktail bar. Nice lounge too as well. And then right here is some Chinese New Year decorations. And then there's an enterprise desk here just in case you're looking for a rental car. All right, vacationers, now it's time for the ever so popular room review. You've probably noticed a hotel room a lot like this about a year ago at Bally's, of course. I covered a room similar to this when I stayed here with my Aden Clark. We were just on the Bellagio side, so we were overlooking the fountains a little lower. Check that video out later if you want to see the other side of the building. We're over here overlooking the link. I got the queen room, and I do like how clean Bally's is for a budget hotel. The decorations that they put here, they have like a red and cream type of theme. There's a lot of space in these rooms, and this is an older building, but they have upkept it pretty darn good. I would say it's better than Luxor and Excalibur. Now there is wear and tear here, but when you're inside the rooms, it's actually really nice. The two rooms that I've stayed in here over the last couple of years is really nice. Now, like I said, Horseshoe is still kind of Bally's. You can still see the, the Bally signs and they're just changing the Horseshoe signs gradually and they are building new things. There are a lot of new components downstairs that we've checked out earlier in the video. But here in the room, beds were actually not so comfortable, I'm not gonna lie, they were kinda hard. They only give you two pillows per bed, so I stole the other two pillows from the other one. And then there's one more pillow in the closet that I didn't touch, but I'm a four pillow guy. Comment down below, how many pillows do you need to sleep? Right behind me is the chair that you can just hang out and watch TV. There's a little round coffee table next to it so you can sip your coffee or maybe eat some dinner. But there's this huge workspace desk, nice mirror. I could have gotten some work done here on my laptop, but I ate dinner here last night, tried the uh, kebab, which was pretty good. Expensive, but good. Over in your workspace, you do have this nice lamp. You only get one outlet and one USB charger. I'm looking around here. There's a couple of outlets on the side there, so you could use those. Over in the entertainment center area, you do have a nice flat screen LG TV, and I did watch the Lakers lose last night. Once again, double overtime lost to the Mavs, unfortunately. But over here, you also have a Caesars magazine, a Las Vegas magazine, and there's also Caesars Eats, which is kind of like a Uber Eats. You can order and get stuff up to your room. Comment down below if you want to see me try this one of these days next time I stay at a Caesars property. Downstairs, like I said earlier, there's a Jack Binion Steakhouse. I'd want to eat it down there actually. I don't want to eat a steak up in my hotel room unless I'm here for like a conference and my company is kicking it. You also get the ice bucket and they actually gave me three cups and they are coffee cups. So unlike MGM resorts where you get plastic cups, you have a coffee cup here. But I've learned my lesson. I brought my mug and my stirrer on top of bringing my Keurig machine. What I do love about the horseshoes is that they do have a refrigerator and then a couple more drawers. So that is something that I always believe in having is a refrigerator. Over here in the bed stand, you do get a outlet and a USB charger, your telephone. Not many hotels do this anymore. They have a holy Bible down here still. Horseshoe keeping it real and having the Bible still. They also have a personalized housekeeping envelope here. Maybe they'll leave a tip at the end or a note about something that's wrong. One thing that was wrong about this place was the closet. Now you do get nine hangers, an extra pillow, your ironing board, and iron, but the safe was locked again. That's two times in a row. On New Year's, the safe wasn't locked, but the latch was out, so I couldn't even lock it. And then now it's just plain old lock. Two thumbs down on the safe not working two times in a row. Let's see in the next hotel review if the safe is working right. I love that they have huge mirrors on the walls. Almost floor to ceiling mirror over here. Big rectangular mirror to get ready with. And then they do have double locks on the doors, which is awesome. Now here in the throne, you do see wear and tear on the bottom of the sink. And I see that a lot of the hotels, but you have a mirror, you have lights that go down from the sides, you have some tissue paper, they give you uh, Jose Eber lotion, shampoo, and soap. I took the lotion because I noticed my bottle of lotion is almost on empty and I'm here for 12 days. You got the hair dryer, extra toilet paper, and tissue paper, and a ton and a ton of towels, don't want to fall into the toilet. You got a bunch of face towels and regular towels. And then in the shower, it gets warm real quick, and the sink 
has a waterfall style sink and it warms up just fine. And the toilet is nice and low to the ground. You also got your shaving mirror here and a hook on the corner. Bathroom serves its purpose. So it is Friday the 13th, January 13th, 2023. I stayed from Thursday to Friday and it was $51.63 and that's total with taxes and resort fee. I paid an $11 deposit on the Caesars Rewards app and just locked down this room. I'm actually gonna be staying at my uncle's the next few nights. I wanted to check out what was new in the horseshoe and give you guys an update a year later. I stayed here almost about a year ago after watching a Raiders game. The Raiders beat the Chargers. You're right in the center of the strip. I like what they're doing downstairs. They're making it more family friendly, especially with the arcade. That used to be the sports book. I also enjoyed the Mediterranean food, although it was pricey. And the Grand Bazaar shops are always a trip to walk around, but it's always a pretty hustling and bustling area so if you like to go people watching there's some interesting characters around there and the CVS itself is pretty cool too. Horseshoe! I know it's still got work to do they gotta take down the valley signs they gotta probably paint this building because it's still the same color the blue and cream that it used to be and then in the pictures it shows that it's like a brownish color for horseshoe but it hasn't been painted yet so that was superimposed. Right behind me is Guy Fieri's Vegas Kitchen and it is right outside of the link between Harris and the link near the carnival court. This is the entrance over here. We're gonna show you a few places. Now I've been having Dunkin' Donuts for the last couple days. The link actually has two different locations, one on each end of the casino. So if you're looking for Dunkin' Donuts, they have two of them there. And let's go inside and show you a few more of the restaurants that they have available here. They also have a Link Wine and Spirits here. If you need to pick up some booze or some drinks or some water, they have it all right here when you enter. And this right here is the Dunkin' on the south side of the Link. And there's one on the opposite end right by the parking lot entrance. One of the advantages of staying over at the Link itself is the Link Promenade. Now the Link Promenade is actually one of the best areas in all of the Las Vegas Strip to check out a few restaurants, a few bars. They even have some candy shops. They have the Gordon Ramsay fish and chip spot here. And they also have the only In-N-Out burger on the Las Vegas Strip. The other In-N-Out burgers are, you know, kind of across the 15 freeway and scattered around Vegas, but they have the only walk-in In-N-Out burger here. If you want to do the FlyLink zip line, right in front are tickets where you can purchase it in these kiosks and you don't even have to deal with uh, people and you can just buy your tickets here. And right in front, you also got Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. I've gone there a few times in the past in my 20s. And if you're not a Dunkin' Donuts fan and you want some Starbucks in the morning, they have a Starbucks here on the Link Promenade. I love how Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips has a UK phone booth, the typical red phone booth as their en entrance and their exit. It's amazing. Walking down, you got the Breeze Daiquiri Bar with the entrance to the Flamingo, which we're gonna eventually cover one of these days. And I love sugar, which you can go upstairs and have some sugary cocktails up there. One of my favorite places in all of the link is O'Shea's. You could actually play cards over there, some blackjack, and even more fun is you could play beer pong, which I did about a month ago on the 4th of July weekend with my cousin EJ and his friends. So O'Shea's is a great place. You can go in there and play beer pong, and it's within the property of the link. Right next to it is the Chayo Tequila Bar, right here i've been here a long time ago once upon a time they also have off the strip bistro over here too y'all's in the hats like i am and i wear those you know those pork pie bruno mars fedora hats well they have a gurren bros hat shop here where they have tons of those pork pie hats and those flat build hats over here look at that looking for souvenirs well they have their las vegas souvenir shops over here which are all over and with the raiders now in vegas silver and black nation they got a bunch of Raider gear here. Uh, down the way, we have a Virgil's Barbecue Bar and the Tilted Kilt is still alive here in Las Vegas. In San Diego, we've had a few Tilted Kilts closed down and I don't think we even have any more around town. Check out the Tilted Kilt Happy Hour, Sunday to Wednesday, 10 p.m. to close, Monday to Friday, 3 to 7 p.m., $2 off beer, wine, and well cocktails, and $7 appetizers, not bad. Over this way, you have Flour and Barley Brick Oven Pizza right next to the In-N-Out. This is the first in and out I've seen without a drive through but this is one of the more popular ones because it's right smack dab in the middle of the strip. Right up along that way is where we're gonna go to next and it's the pool at the link. So 
So we're gonna check out the pool a little bit later, but right below it is the American Beer and Cocktails Bar next to Jaw Burritos, which has sushi burritos. Nice fusion food here. We also got Ice Bar, which is a pretty cool spot, and San Francisco's own Ghirardelli down the way, right before you hit the link wheel right here. Wanna go over to Ice Bar, dress up in a parka, and have some drinks right next to Brooklyn Bowl. It looks like they have Ludacris playing some li uh, live music here soon. Now they also have Honolulu Cookie Company, which I saw over in Waikiki, very popular spot. And since this is the ninth island, I can see why they have a Honolulu Cookie Company here. For getting your socks and bottoms, well, they have a socks and bottoms store right here. And they're not boring you're actually gonna get some flair to it. So Jimmy Kimmel has a comedy club here and he is currently my favorite late night talk show host. He's great. And uh, David Letterman is my all time favorite. Who are your favorite late night talk show hosts? Comment below. Now we're approaching the yard house and across from it is Pier 30, which is like a surf slash skate shop. Okay, so we're, we're getting to the end and they have Maxi's Las Vegas right here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner cocktails. So if you wanna go to Maxi's, Check it out. They have a dish called the world famous Benedict box. Nice. There's the monorail passing by, right next to the high roller. So we made it to the end of the Link Promenade and that's where the high roller Ferris wheel is. It's about a 40 minute ride and it's $34.75 per adult. On their happy hour, they have two for 60, I believe. And they open up at four o'clock and they're open until about 12 in the morning. So if you ever want to do this, check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna go up there. 40 minutes is a long time to be up in that pond. But what's really cool about it is you can go up there and have a drink, check out the best views of the Las Vegas Strip. Over here you can play back to back to back beer pong, especially if you're with a group of people. It's definitely a fun time. This is where we hung out last time. Going up this escalator is the original Hash House of Go-Go in Las Vegas. Now, if you're trying to get access to the monorail, you have to hop over to Harris, but it's just right across the way over here by the parking lot. Now, parking for hotel guests is actually included, unlike in MGM properties where you have to pay the extra $15 a day. So yeah, now that I'm a hotel guest here at the link, I get free parking at the link. So that was a good plus. And uh, if you're looking for ride share, the ride share is over this way as well. We took a ride share over to XS earlier this week. All right, JK Shiner, so we made it over to the pool here at the link. It's called Influence, and they actually check out your ID before you go in here. So yeah, you have to be a certain age to get in here. And yeah, it looks like a big party in here. Everybody here has flamingo floaties, which is pretty cool. And you can see the link surrounding it. Nice area, and there's also some shade here for most of the day. All right, JK Shiner, so it looks like they have day beds, cabanas, private rooms here which you can rent out. They also have a separate little jacuzzi pool over here with see-through glass, a nice little bar here. So it's a pretty cool spot for adults. You can see the Link Promenade from here. You can see the High Roller and the Flamingo. Now, JK if you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing to JK as I have Las Vegas, San Diego, Hawaii, and world content food and travel videos. Now back to the video. We also have a spot here where you can play cornhole and they also have an eight ball rec room here overlooking the high roller. Look at that, that's awesome, huh? And you can also get a separate entrance to Virgil's Real Barbecue if you're hungry, laying out by the pool all day. So we're back in the room, JK Shinners, and I'll give you a little room tour of this later when you clean up the room towards the end of the trip. But I wanted to talk about registration. So for registration, I've gotten a few comments from my past hotel review videos, like do you have to actually see a person and show them your ID and all that stuff? Well, the answer to that is no, you don't. You actually can check in via the Caesars Rewards app if that's what you booked it through. And you can also go to a kiosk. You can scan your own ID on there and your credit card for incidentals. It'll print out directions to how you can get to your room on this sheet of paper and it'll print out two keys for you and you're good to go. So for those of you asking about having non-human interaction because of you know the era that we're in, you, got, you actually don't have to talk to anybody and they won't touch your IDs or anything. You can use the kiosks and it's a really smooth, simple process. It will take you about three to four minutes to get done. Another thing they have by the elevators is Nook Express. You can get your pastries, your breakfast, and your coffee over here. All right, JK Shinner, so we're here at Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips 
23 bucks all together. You get three pieces of fish. You get your fries with the jalapeno, the sriracha aioli, the tartar sauce, and a root beer, any type of soda that you want. Now this is right here on the Link Promenade. I've always wanted to try this. I'm, I'm a big fish and chips guy, so let's try it out. So they give you three different choices of uh, how you want your fries to be made. And I got it with like the spicy jalapeno way. Oh, that's good. That's a healthier chili cheese fries. <laughs> I like it. That's good stuff. And their sriracha aioli. It's pretty money. Mm. Now let's try out their fish. Put a little bit of malt vinegar in there. There you go, tartar sauce. Mm. That is very tasty fish and chips. I'm liking this. Mm. They could have actually given me a little more lime, uh, a little more lemon, but I could have asked for another one, but I just didn't. Anyways, we'll put we'll put the lemon in it. Use the sriracha aioli this time around. I'm feeling that sriracha aioli for sure. Yummy. So they do have some indoor seating. They have outdoor seating. They were really fast. Right when I ordered it, it was already ready to go. Gordon Ramsay fish and chips. I give it a thumbs up. Nice area here. I'm a fish and chips fiend, so yeah. Let's head back up to the room and give you a little room tour now. All right, Jacationers, now it's time for the room review. We just booked a standard two queen bed room and it was about 179 for three nights, which is an amazing deal. Sunday to Wednesday, we stayed here for the Monday night football game, which the Raiders won in epic fashion. It was awesome. But now we are here in the room. Room was awesome. First things first, I gotta say is that I stayed here when it was Imperial Palace and the walls were paper thin and I couldn't even hear the neighbors on this actual trip. So, wow, that's really good. They really did a great job renovating these rooms. I like the jackpot sign here in the back. The bed was really comfortable. The sheets were good. Only two pillows per bed. They don't provide you with extra pillows but you probably could ask for more, but I'm, I'm a pillow guy. Are you guys a pillow person? Comment down below, how many pillows does it take for you to sleep comfortably? As for the room itself, uh, I really like that they have the refrigerator. Of course, Caesars properties mainly have refrigerators, which I enjoy, and this was like the lowest, one of the lowest tiers of a Caesars property. And a nice safe, that's a definite plus. I definitely took advantage of the safe, put all my equipment in there, and we brought waters and everything and put it into the refrigerator. The bathroom was okay. I don't like how they have the communal shampoo, conditioner, and soap where it's uh, where it's locked to the wall. I just don't really trust that. I like to just have the separate toiletries because you never know what they can put into those boxes. The sink wasn't the cleanest, but you know, we, we dealt with it. I mean, it was, it was an okay sink. Uh, the shower was nice and warm and it was spacious. Um, the throne itself, you sit up high, just so you guys know you're sitting up high on the throne. All in all, it was a nice experience. I really like this uh, almost floor-to-ceiling mirror that they have here and uh, the closet they provide you with a bunch of hangers, your ironing board and your iron and more mirrors over this way and then we have a view of the, the Harrah's pool. There's also a lot of outlets around here and ethernet, uh, hard ethernet wires so if you need to do your work, my friend Clark sat where I'm sitting right now and did a lot of his work while we were here. It's a nice long counter and then it gets it extends out at the end but we, me and Clark actually agree that we should have actually had like a round table here because um, it would have looked a little nicer. All in all, I, we thought this room was great. Give it a thumbs up, especially for three nights, 179 bucks. You can't beat that. And it looks like there's also a few uh, uh, USB chargers around here too. So, you know, there's a lot of pluses to staying over here at the link. All right, we're here with my friend Clark. What's up, JKationers? Yeah, he's a Dodger fan, but we're Raider Nation. <laughs> Raider Nation, baby. Um, he's gonna talk a little bit about the internet because he did a lot of work while he was here. What did you think of the internet? Fast, slow, medium? So the internet here was pretty fast, uh, and the way it works here is two devices are free. If you're gonna add an extra device after that, it becomes $14.99 per device per day. So keep that in mind if you uh, make the decision to buy internet here, or get internet here. Yeah, because that happened to me over in Paris. We didn't know we were charged like 75 bucks. Luckily, we were able to get that removed. Just be aware of that on Caesars Properties, you're only allowed two free devices. So I didn't link. I, uh, I, I still used my internet here uh, on my phone and it actually worked pretty well. The reception here on the 15th floor is pretty good. Yeah, I did several Zoom calls here. So if you plan to do things like that here, video conferencing, the internet here is solid. 
Awesome. Thanks, Otting. Thanks, Kuya. Another great thing about this room was the air conditioner. The air conditioner itself was freaking freezing. Now, it would make weird sounds when it starts up at night, but honestly, it didn't really bother me because once it was fired up, it was nice and cold in here. And when you do set it to like 66 or 67, it really becomes an ice box in here. And the hotel as a whole is pretty darn cold. Even in the lobby, me and Clark were talking about, we're like, dang, it's pretty cold down here. And then when you walked outside, we're like, oh, it's kind of cool. But, but we figured out that we were just standing in front of the entrance where the draft of the, the cool air conditioning is coming out onto the Link Promenade. So um, they really do have great air conditioning here at the Link and they keep you nice and cool. Another thing, they have a luggage rack over here and the TV works perfectly fine. Nice HD, we were watching Sports Center, watching the Raiders comeback win. So it was great. And yeah, overall, I would definitely suggest the Link. They also have a nice pool. It's a 21 and over pool called Influence, which you see on your room key card and uh, yeah parking is free so that's another plus uh, the last place I had to stay at New York New York I had to pay 15 bucks a day so I think in Caesars properties it's different or at least here at the link it's guests get parking complimentary as parking should be in Vegas unfortunately but it's not so that's one of my scams and ripoffs in Las Vegas is parking ladies and gentlemen it's my cousin EJ I'm back guys Educationers, I missed you a lot. They, they don't know you yet, bro. They only do know me. People, only the I don't know you. Educationers, hello. I'm EJ, JJ's cousin. I'm gonna be with him for the next few days or so. So uh, get ready for some cool stuff. We're staying at Nobu. Nobu, baby. Caesar's Palace. We're at the food court right now. And I got a surprise for you, bro. What you get, bro? I'm gonna show you the surprise right now, bro. What's the surprise, bro? Bro. What's up? We're going to the game tonight. What? Get, Let's do get it! See the Raiders Hell yeah! Now. I'm so excited. I need <laughs> a jersey now. Have you been? No, I've never been to Allegiant Stadium. Let's go, bro. You know, it's the Raiders Stadium, but it's all good. Raiders, <laughs> Chargers, baby, both up. He's from LA, though. I gotta give him that. So obviously, we're staying at Nobu Hotel, but the Nobu restaurant is right next to it, and this is the entryway. It's one of the hallways here in Caesar's Palace. They open up at five o'clock, and they do have some like Asian fusion cuisine here, and sushi, and all that good stuff. And this is the entrance to the Nobu Hotel. You just go in through those uh, yellow lit areas there and the elevators will take you up. Right next to Nobu is the Cleopatra's Barge. I don't know if it's a barge, but it's definitely something else. Cleopatra Seuss. You guys know I love Giada De Laurentiis. And she has a fast serving cafe slash bakery slash breakfast place here called Pronto by Giada. Pronto because it's quick. That's Bay right there, EJcation. That's Bay. Love you. We started off the year with a Bacchanal video. Make sure you check that out down below. We're not gonna try it on this trip, but we are gonna do one buffet. And check this out. Peter Luger Steakhouse is opening fall 2023. I believe it's in Brooklyn, and they have a really great burger, I heard. A little bit of everything, and uh, not a lot of anything. So many great wines, so little time. Wow, my Italian base even got a wine bar. Pronto by Giada. Everything you see, I owe to spaghetti. That's the way she says it. What it do, baby? And here's your statue of David with the little kiddos laughing like this guy. This guy's laughing. You know the real David in Florence? Way bigger. This is one third size, Doug. Yeah. Not enough girth. So this one got the shaft? He got the he got no shaft. <laughs> here's the immortal Joe Lewis. And this is a new spot here. This is uh, Stanton Social Prime, and it's right next to Omnia. And you can grab yourself some awesome cocktails over here. And there's your QR code to reserve a table. My guess, it doesn't open until the evening, but wow, this was all walled up before. These elevators are cool. It tells you to go to a certain elevator. C. And it, you don't even press a button, because you already, what? I put 77, bro. Oh, and I think when you put this card in, it'll uh, automatically say what room, what, see, look, it's going to 77. So it already knows. That's some next level shit. That's some high tech stuff. All right, man. 
Let's go to the pool, bro. We're headed downstairs, guys. So the Nobu Hotel doesn't have their own pool, but the girl downstairs said what? Seven different pools? Eight There's different seven pools. different pools that we get to use for for the that belongs to Caesar's Palace. So that's really cool. You just bring your key and they'll let you in. And another cool thing is that we can go to Omnia. Yep. They have a special line for us Nobu Hotel guests. So you're gonna catch us there tonight. Bro, and another thing that you told me, my mind is blown. Yeah. Is Robert De Niro owns Nobu? Yes, sir. He owns Nobu, the what? I believe he opened the one in Malibu first, so. Dude, rocking that messy, bro. Messy. AD on the way. On the Lakers. way. Let's go. All right, Brody. Going under. <laughs> We're headed to one of the pools. We're headed to uh, a bed of water. This is one of my favorite ones, though. Yeah, it's a in nice all one. of Vegas. It's huge, too. That's what she said. It's both of us. <laughs> Garden of the Gods is open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yes, sir. AD on the way. Oh man, it smells He's like here. barbecue over here. Oh man. Imagine if you saw AD at the swimming pool. Dude, that would be sick. You can't miss him either. Look at that. It's only 91 degrees right now. So it's actually really nice weather. Very uh, bearable. Hang out outside. Don't need to go inside. We're still going to go in the water though. You're going to get half hour in. Check this out. This is a sundial right here. This roundabout pool is the one that's my favorite here. It's almost like you're chilling with Caesar. Another thing that I like is that they got water coolers over here too. Gotta keep people well, hydrated, man. But we're trying to stay hydrated with the GNTs. And what do you get? The other way. Tequila spray. With the Hornitos. Hornitos. Check out my cousin's new podcast, Sneaks and Stats. Check us out. Me and my friend Julian Mitchell, Sneaks and Stats. We're on YouTube and all the social medias. Catch us on Instagram, Twitter, Threads, eventually. Twitter? Like you Twitter. mean X, bro. And X, sorry. X. I, I still call it Twitter. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out here at the pool chilling. It's pretty cold, and it's like 91 degrees out. Look at this businessman. He's a business man. You check it out. The sneaks and stats stuff, but we still relaxing out here in Vegas, bro. We chilling. We here with vacation, man, so. We're here at the Neptune pool. Look at this. They got a bar here. You can get drinks. That's dope. Oh, you can play blackjack here. And they got the nice Neptune pool right here. And then they got a Venus pool on the other side. Me and EJ got to get ready for the FC Barcelona AC Milan game. Yes, sir. His first soccer game ever. I'm super excited, man. I've never been to a soccer game. And it's Barcelona. If I had to choose a team, that's probably the one I would choose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Disca Barca. Yeah. Disca Catalonia. I'm excited, guys. But this is the Caesars Rewards entrance. EJ's liking the stadium. If you guys haven't seen my horseshoe or my Harris video yet, check it out. We have full reviews of each. Oh, there you go, Rafinha. He's a pretty good player. All right, EJ, it's your first soccer game. I'm excited, man. Can't wait. And you've chosen Barca. That's right. Let's go. You chose my team, guys. Barca it is, baby. Do you like the aircon? Oh, dude. Dude, what's so nice is this place is air-conditioned, so it's nice and cool in here. I love the wall decorations over here. It's so Vegas. We're looking for food, EJ. We're gonna find it, too. What are you craving? I know, you told me about some burrito though. Yeah, man. Good, so I might do that. Yeah, dude. I might get some pizza today. Obviously, we're back at Barbecue Mexicana, but I'm not getting anything. This guy is. He's gonna like this, I'm telling you. Also, gotta show love to Roll and Smoke Barbecue. EJ hasn't tried it yet, but that's probably one of the good places in Vegas for barbecue, too. What is this? Abuelas Tacos. This looks bomb, guys. What? So they got a Capriati sandwich shop here. They also have Pink Box Donuts as well. And then Fuku Burger. Shout out to Colin. Colin owns Fuku Burger. That's the homie right there. Bomb Burger. We're gonna try Slice House by Tony Geminani. Sicilian style pizza. I'm down, double pepperoni. Guys, look how cheap the hot dog is. $3.99, that's not bad. The Sicilian is $13.99, what? So I ended up getting a Matt Scarf. AC Milan Barca. We're gonna hang this up, bro. Hang this in the rafters. This is JJ's, but it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Pulis explaining tonight. Yes, we're gonna get to see the American player. The American dream. Yeah. <laughs> All right, EJ. Let's try this. Oh, 
Barbecue Mexicano was good. Try it. Also, first time at Leeches, so the food was good. The whole experience was awesome. Was Everybody, come check it out. Leeches. That pepperoni was super spicy, but it's expensive, <laughs> bro. Finish the like, man, it's so hot. $3.99 for a good yeah, You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, be that. Hot dogs for $3.99? $3 at a stadium? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Visca Barca. Thank you for attending today's. This is a candle shaped chair. And that's not me. <laughs> and now for your gym segment of the video. Good morning, everybody. So, 472 lobby. lobby. They have a fitness center and a lounge here. So, let's get a workout in and show you a little bit of what they have. So you got coffee up in here. Nice. There's nobody out here, huh? No. Look at this, guys. Three treadmills, that's all I need. Some free weights. They also got water. I like it. You get to work. Clang and bang, like The Rock said. What I like is that they actually put the waters and the towel already on the treadmill. Look at this guy. And I like that they have like special events over here as well. Tennis. Operation done. Operation bubble butt. Now Complete. let's get upstairs and do a room review, a tandem room review. Let's check it out. And also head over to Something Sweet Shop in Seaport Village. Pick up some of these sick JK Shit headbands. They're still on sale there. They have all different styles. All right, JK Shitters, it is now time for the oh so popular Nobu Hotel room review. And for this video, since my cousin EJ is here, Mr. Sneaks and Stats, make sure you go follow him. He's gonna help me give you guys a little tour of the room and, and give some thoughts about what he thinks about the Nobu Hotel. So. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, man. So what do you think? We have the two double beds here. Pretty big double beds. I mean, it's not king size, but queen beds maybe. Queen beds, uh, blankets are very soft, so, it's the, so are the pillows. The bathroom is beautiful. Lots of amenities and AC is very cool. I really like the theme here. It's pretty serene. It's almost like you're at a retreat or something. This is a very nice wood desk. They give you this purple leather chair and another beige looking chair here so you can eat and drink around here. Like this huge like cone-like lamp that just illuminates this side of the room and then you get three bed stands actually so there's one bed stand for this bed which EJ used I like that they have the USB ports and a regular plug you could actually also dim the lamps as yep. well the phone is right in the middle they give you some stationary and then on my side it's the same thing as EJ's where they do give you the two USB ports yeah I was gonna say um, we do have a fridge but unfortunately it's stocked with the products that the hotel puts in there so kind of a downer there huge closet with a lot of space. I think there's a, like an iron and an ironing board in there. And then the bathroom also comes with robes. So it's kind of a cool thing if you want to use those. Yeah. And huge for uh, the educationers out there because JJ always brings his Keurig. We, there is one in here already. <laughs> and we actually just went on a little, uh, we went on a little adventure <laughs> trying to find some creamer because I ran out of creamer and they're being all stingy downstairs. So you have to buy something in order to get creamer. And we, we were get like, a cup, just a regular cup. So we had to find our own cup and then finally we went to Dominic Ansel and then we just poured in some creamer yeah. because they had it out and we did it. But usually just pick up your creamer. I usually bring some with me. So over here in the entertainment center, you got a huge Samsung TV. 
Obviously, we were watching a little bit of Sports Center. They do have an area here with a couple of plugs, an Ethernet cable. They do give you a Hamilton Beach coffee machine, but no coffee is provided. So you'd actually have to go to the gourmet coffee bar here and pay, you know, the big bucks to get those coffees. So the Keurig machine definitely came in handy. But what I did really like was you can get lemon water downstairs. They have some really cool drawers down here. One's even sectioned off. Four drawers. So they give you about, oh wow, a nice amount of hangers. So as you can see, it's pretty huge. There's even a laundry bag that they give you just in case you wanna get your laundry done. A pretty good size safe and a couple of shelves here, like a cupboard type of thing. Lots and lots of hangers, just in case you got suits or dresses or anything like that to bring in. And then a nice little shelf on top here. And here in the entryway, you've got your full length mirror. Perfect. Check your fit so you can go to Omnia later at night and the double lock. And what's really cool is this, uh, the do not disturb sign is like these tassels right here. So we got over here on this side, we have the pretty much a big vanity mirror with a nice table and a very comfortable leather leather seat, almost like an ottoman. And uh, we got the two robes over here right by the door with three different lights for each section of the bathroom. And also there's a nice wooden design right here to separate the toilet from the vanity. The toilet is amazing, it's very low to the floor. Good flushing. <laughs> There's a phone in here, so just in case you can't make it to the, to the bedroom. <laughs> I actually used that because he was still sleeping to call downstairs. And as a Diamond member, they did give us a complimentary checkout at 1 p.m., which really helps because we have to film this video still. I'm gonna close you guys. It's nice and plushy, man. Yeah, right? It's, it's soft inside. It's like loop Terry inside. This isn't just a regular robe, man. So what's really cool here is they do have a mirror by the sink, and it's like the deepest bowl sink I've ever seen. You have two lights that surround the mirrors that are inside the mirror. It's called an electric mirror. You get two nice glasses and a really cool soap holder here, as well as a vanity kit, some lotion, and then they put the hair dryer in this really nice Nobu Hotel Caesars Palace bag. They give you tons of towels here, and they have a towel rack, wooden towel rack here that's really nicely designed. And the shower was huge, man. Yeah, they even give you the little handle, so in case you wanna just, you know, go around. But there's also a huge shower head. Yeah, it's a big rectangular shower. Hour, and then they also give you shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And it's that high class Nobu body wash. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. And it's, yeah, it has everything here. There's even a little uh, vanity kit that they give you. So cool, dude. So overall here at the Nobu Hotel, it's really just one building and one quadrant of Caesars Palace. The hotel is actually awesome. You have those really cool elevators where you scan your hotel room key and then you just press the floor number and then it'll take you up the elevator to the floor you need to be on without having to press a button inside the elevator. The second floor where they have the gym, which you saw, the gym is basic, but it has a really cool treadmill where you have the TV and just some free weights. Could use a kettlebell or two, but hey, I like how they had a towel and water already set up at the treadmill. And then they also provide you with headphones. And then outside in the morning, they do have coffee down there. And they also do have lemon water and iced tea. And then there's this really cool communal area where you could actually do work and it's really quiet and serene there. And then I also think there is like a guest services desk as well, 472. Then the very bottom is where you check in. We didn't get to eat at the Nobu restaurant. I mean, it's pretty darn pricey and for me, I got this room through my Wyndham Rewards Earner card. I used my points and got the nights free over here. And then when I showed them my diamond card, they were able to give me the free complimentary 1 p.m. checkout. We checked in kind of early and they got us into a room. They were nice enough to get us in the room around 2.15, 2.30. So that's also a thumbs up there. Let's ask my cousin EJ what he thought of his stay here at the Nobu Hotel. Overall, I had a pretty good experience here obviously it's cool because I'm really that cousin but one of the nicer hotels that I've stayed at in Vegas for sure good experience I love the casino downstairs I love the entrance to even just getting in the elevator and getting up to the room we have a nice little view here just a couple more things a little view we're kind of like in the middle of the hotel so we don't have a view of the strip or anything but um, you can see the rest of uh, the tower and uh, we have some nice art on the wall here next to our table but um, I would definitely give it about a, like a, maybe a 9 or a 10 out of 10 because of how good it was and I loved it so thank we, you Nobu we can see some Hanky panky going on here if these uh, things <laughs> were. Uh... But overall, great experience staying here. I would definitely stay here again. I would definitely recommend it too. So, 
uh, check it out. So we went to the Omnia nightclub last night and on Tuesdays they are actually open. They just don't have the balcony open. It's just the main room, the main dance floor. And it's really cool with all the effects that they have going up and down the ceiling. And they even have dancers coming down from the ceilings. Well, if you have your Nobu hotel card and you present it to them, there's a separate expedited line where Nobu guests can stay. So there's two people to one hotel room key. So we had EJ's friends last night. So we had four, so we had two keys. We got in just fine. But I also found out that me as a diamond member, I could use that same expedited line and get in to Omnia. Just make sure you get in before 12 because I think they start cutting all the free stuff after 12. So just get into the clubs early, but I'm telling you, pricey. Round of drinks there was like $64 and that was just gin and tonic and a Sprite and tequila. And EJ's like, damn. Turn it around, EJ. What was your reaction when you saw that Sprite? I was like, I guess, cause it's Vegas, but whoa. And then we went back to the outside bar to get drinks and it was still 30 bucks to get the drinks. But I mean, it was half the price. So that just shows you the difference between the prices of a club and just the regular hotel bar. But also BYOB and pre-party and post-party Good to go. It is now the end of April and the uh, Miracle Mile Shops renovation is not done yet. It was supposed to be done in the spring, but it's looking like it's going into the summer. And they do have a Chick-fil-A and your pinna pizza. And people want me to note in my cheapest pizza video that I didn't give this a fair shot. Even though slices are $11.99, they said that the slices are freaking huge. Pinna pizza has huge slices, I guess. Thank God I have diamond. Here's the diamond registration. This is the right side of the registration area. This is the VIP lounge. They have some pretty cool pictures of like Gwen Stefani and other performers. Is that Chris Angel? I think it's Chris Angel. Oh yeah, we're checked in. See that? And here's the regular check-in. Look how long the line is for that. Yep, good thing I got diamond, but I'll tell you the bad news later. Check this out. This is the pit stop for the F1 race. Look how fast it's going up. And the Virgin Hotels, that's where I'm going to be staying in a couple of days. Stay tuned for that. And the Hilton Grand Vacations and the Marriott Grand Chateau, which I've done a review of. And the MGM Grand, which I've done a review of. And here is a view of the Miracle Mile shops. Wow, so Planet Hollywood I just had a flashback to my last stay here. I remember that they put me up in a room right next to the elevators and I had to switch it because it was so loud. It felt like there was like a cart just dragging across the ceiling left and right. And today when I went into the diamond lounge, they were cool, but they were kind of like no bedside manner. And all right, I'll say it straight up. So I booked this room through my Chase Sapphire Rewards card. And I said, hey, I booked this through my Chase Sapphire Rewards card. Can I still check in here? And they're like, yes, you're a diamond member, but we're not gonna get rid of your resort fee. So none of that tricky stuff. So they were kind of like very blunt about it. And I was like, you guys need to be a little nicer, especially to your diamond customers. This lady was just like, oh no, you're not gonna get the resort fee, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you've been there and heard it before, but you know what? You need to treat each guest differently and treat each guest nicely. Now they did give me a room. When I got in, the maintenance guy had to come in here and fix a broken drawer. And that was all right. He was nice about it. But for me, I like to have the privacy. And it was just weird because the first video, there were a lot of problems problems, you know, and I had to switch rooms. And then now this video, that stuff all happened. But I was able to check in through Diamond. I didn't have to fall in the line. I'll give you a room tour of this and then I'll also give you a room tour of the part of uh, Planet Hollywood I forgot to show you guys last time. And then maybe a little bit of shopping around Miracle Mile Shop. So let's get to it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that little quirk that happened. This time around, we're staying on the 32nd floor of the North Tower of Planet Hollywood. And I'll let you guys know a little more about the decorations and things that are happening around this hotel. Nothing bad has happened it's just been a weird strange kind of not rude but like very dry start to my stay here so let's see if the rest of this trip will turn around a little more here at planet hollywood as much as i do love planet hollywood and the miracle mile shops the parking lot from planet hollywood hotel itself is a little of a trek you kind of have to walk halfway through the miracle mile shops so that is one disadvantage to stay in here i guess along with the ticket machine not working it didn't take my diamond card so now i have to figure out if i can get out for free. Okay, so I don't know if the card worked because I was able to get in and out of the parking lot in under one hour. Parking is one hour or less free and then everything else after that, you're paying at least 12 bucks. That theater is now what used to be Zappos Theater. You got Miranda Lambert, Keith Urban, The Chicks, and Kelly Clarkson, Chemistry. 
I'd like to see Kay Kelly Clarkson alive. So there is a elevator stop to the hotel casino floor, but I went down to the lobby. This is a nice little six subway JLo 6 train. There's your girl JLo. Probably gonna be performing somewhere here. Good morning, JKationers. I'm in the mood of getting uh, the Earl of Sandwich coffee because that's pretty good coffee. So let's go downstairs, grab some Earl. And I need to hydrate up. Gatorade, please, some Gatorade. Of course, you guys know my favorite go to spot in all of Las Vegas is Earl of Sandwich here at Planet Hollywood. It's open late night. They got everything your sandwiches, your soups, amazing coffee. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. There you go guys, little tip. Grab creamers and sugars from your local coffee stop downstairs. Got my fresh coffee. It was only $2.99 here at Earl of Sandwich, so it's on the cheaper end. So today I just elected to get it down here. Free refills too, by the way. ABC Stores has the best deals on Powerade Zero. It's only $2.75 here versus the Gatorade that's like $3.25. Looks like we have a new Mexican restaurant to check out here in the fall. Rosa Mexicano, New York's best authentic Mexican cuisine since 1984. Fall 2023. Look at the renderings of this place. This is where the old PBR bar and restaurant used to be. We're here at the swimming pool. They have a flow rider surf deck over here. It's a really colorful area with day beds. They even have some tables here, a cafe. Not too big of a pool area, but it's still pretty nice. Right now, they're featuring two country artists, Keith Urban and Miranda Lambert here at their theater. It's not called Zappos anymore. It's called something else. Here are their table games. That is closed right now and then right across the way is a cafe and a bar so they do have a little cafe here some foosball over here blue moon couches call this the scene and some ping pong tables as well the cabanas over here say you had me at hello ph and the scene is open to all ages nice little wall here with planet hollywood and some palm trees this is the swimming pool. Tons of cabanas surround it as well. All the planters here are really colorful and then they also got the Eiffel Tower in the background because next door is Paris. They even have a little DJ stage here for the scene pool deck. Maybe on the weekends they have DJs out here. You have a nice view of City Center and Aria. If you haven't seen my Aria video, make sure you check that out. As well as my Paris video that I just did last month. They also have a bar over here with margaritas, strawberry margaritas, pina coladas. Pretty cool. Check this out. Who said you can't go surfing here in Las Vegas? This is the PH, the PH Low Rider. That's awesome. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to JKation if you haven't yet. About 78% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel when watching the videos. And if you could help me out get to 100,000 subscribers in 2023, I'd be truly grateful for that. Let's go downstairs to the mezzanine and show some of the restaurants and theaters over there because I didn't cover that on the last video. I won't show you all the Miracle Mile, but we'll take a lap through it because this is one of my favorite malls here in Las Vegas. I've actually never ventured around the mezzanine area. They have a conference center and a business center around here. And and the bottom part of this is the casino grounds, but there are a few things you could check out here. I've always wanted to see Chris Angel, so maybe one of these days. This is the Chris Angel Theater right here. Mind Freak. Him and David Blaine are some of my favorite illusionists slash magicians. Would love to see them at some point. Maybe I'll do a Magic in Las Vegas video eventually and go to all these magic shows. That would be a pretty cool thing. Comment down below if you want to see that. Chris Angel is a huge motorcycle fan, and look at all these motorcycles that they have on display here in the mezzanine level. This is the Strip house, steaks and cocktails. Nice little strip house. I haven't tried this ever. You should check this out one of these days too. And then this is Koi Lounge. Now they do offer you when you check in a buy one, get one drink ticket. Uh, they give you two of them with your room keys. And I think that's just because I was uh, checking in with Diamond, but it's buy one, get one from like 10 to 11 at night. And there you go. Downstairs is all the playing tables, slots and everything. We're gonna head down towards Miracle Mile and just uh, take a quick little lap around there. They actually also have a chapel here, the wedding chapel. Nice and quaint. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. it's open and there is the chapel area. Right next to the chapel is Reflections, the spa at Planet Hollywood. And this is where you can get your to your fitness center too. All right, let's take a look at their fitness center. So here's the fitness center, but look, they have the old school Aladdin Arabian stuff over here. So it's not just over at the Miracle Mile shops, it's over here at the spa, Reflections. So here at the fitness center, you do have free weights. Those are some old school looking free weights. And about six treadmills, a few ellipticals, some steps, and a ton of machines. These are actually 
quite a bit of machines. You got your water and towels over here, some disinfecting wipes, and an area where you can do ab workouts and stretches and medicine balls. Not bad. And like I said, the old Aladdin decorations still exist over here at Reflections. And you can also go to the spa. And this is the entrance right here. Really cool and tranquil place before you get back out to the hustle and bustle of PH. It's not a trip to Planet Hollywood without a stop to Key Australia here at the Miracle Mile shops. You guys almost got to pry me out of Key Australia. I just bought buy one get one free stuff a few weeks back. So I'm just going to hold off but they do have some new ones that are straight fire. One thing that's cool about Miracle Mile shops is that they do have two ABC stores. One on each side of the Miracle Mile so depending on what part of the casino you're at or the resort you're at you can go to either of the two blondies just around the corner still has their 4.99 breakfast special and they have bloody mary's for 2.99 if that's what you're into here's the second abc stores i was talking about and it's right next to the lids and this lids is where i got this fire las vegas reyes aviators hat and they always have the new styles over here i'm gonna take a look inside here this is the vgk golden knight trucker hat that i have they have it in stock here even got my padre city connect up in here and and that's the hat I was rocking at the Vegas ballpark last night. Love this hat. We are now entering the Cheap Eats part of the Miracle Mile shops. And this is the Flights Bar where you can get drink deals. And Blondie's is right there. And La Salsa Cantina, which they also have a... It's now a $5.99 breakfast. It used to be $4.99. And it's right next to the Showgirl Bar. And there it is. The cost of inflation over the years. Up to $5.99 for breakfast. And $0.99 cent Bloody Mary still though. If you guys haven't seen my Planet Hollywood Cheap Eats video, check it out the prices may have gone up about a dollar but it's still pretty much the same cheap eat spots here this right here is ketchup it's another cheap eat spot you can get deals like five dollar king cans and sometimes they have buy one get one free hot dogs and it's actually a pretty decent place and they are promoting something new the french dip burger and this is the entrance to the parking lot it's kind of far from the hotel itself so it's kind of a walk that's the disadvantage also at miracle mile they have a house of hoops and your regular foot locker here as well also you got the hilton grand vacations club the elara and their swimming pool the entrance is right here and they have its own starbucks coffee right next to it and this is the part where they're renovating the Miracle Mile Shop. Cushion One Bar and Grill. You've seen it on the Cheap Eats Planet Hollywood video. Prices have gone up there too. But they do have the three for one drinks for 12 bucks still. Looks like omelets are $8.99 now. Wow, they used to have plates for five bucks and six bucks here. And look at the line to get in here. It's always popping over here. People want to save. And of course, they still have the Lobster Me and the Fat Tuesdays here. It's been here for ever people seem to love serial killers las vegas they have tons of different cereal i've done a video in barcelona about a cereal cafe and it's kind of like this and the second lids is over here as well as champ sports so i had a similar setup in the downtown grand where you go in through these double doors and there's a suite and i did stay at the suite at downtown grand but i was staying in the regular room which is a little more spacious and right now they're changing all the locks on the door so these boxes are to change these locks there's a letter in here saying they're gonna do it see check this letter it just talks about how they're gonna be installing these new door handles and uh yeah you have no choice but to let them do it <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jaycationers, it is time for the ever so popular room review. So I ended up getting the king bedroom and I booked it through my Chase Sapphire Rewards because I had a few points and the prices for a Tuesday to Wednesday here on the Las Vegas Strip was astronomical. Like I think it was about $130, $140 on Caesars Rewards. So I used about $30 of my points and then another 30, I I paid for and then $50 for resort fee so it was about $102 altogether and when I did check in unfortunately they said that you can't use your Caesars rewards no resort fees they will not take away your resort fee if you're not booking it directly through Caesars rewards so make sure you guys know that I booked it through my Chase Sapphire reserve points and they didn't like that so even if you do like Expedia or something else they're not gonna accept it even if you have diamond you can check in on the diamond lounge and not fall in the line but they're not gonna give you a refund on your resort fee unfortunately so the king bedroom you get three pillows I wish they had a few more the bed sheets are okay we're here in the very end you have to go through two doors same type of decor 
some stylish models here with a peace sign over here and some models just posing awkwardly with different colors and then you get a bed stand on each side with the phone a couple usb jacks one outlet over here you got a, another lamp and your alarm clock and a couple more chargers and then some drawers for that over here in the couch area you got a nice little cream couch you can lay out there's a tv down the way it's not that big of a tv but hey nice and chill leather couch i don't think it's a pull-out sofa but uh it's nice you get a nice view of the f1 pit stop virgin hotels and the tuscany suites which we're staying at next over this way you have a stand-up lamp and a huge closet look it's a walk-in closet i think it's because we're right next to the suites they had more room to make a closet they give you a dresser drawer three of them your safe is in there i made use of that safe because they were doing all this construction stuff here they even had to fix this drawer because it was broken you have your ironing board iron and about eight or nine wooden hangers in there as well pretty big and they even have a light in there so you can actually just get dressed inside the closet right in front of the tv it's an lg tv you have two chairs and a round table you can eat dinner or lunch here since i did check in through diamond the girl gave me the suki koi ph casino ultra lounge drink ticket buy one get one free tuesday to saturday you have to read all the stipulations here it says happy hour drink ticket so offer starts nightly at five o'clock so there you go i'm not going to use it and then they also ask you if you want to do room service they have caesar's eats and they can deliver it up here and this is that letter i was telling you about where they were fixing the door handle they haven't come here and fixed the door handle yet but it's all good here in the entryway you got some girl in a nice short skirt getting out of a car <laughs> little voyeuristic I guess you have this nice counter with your ice bucket they give you like six cups uh, Caesars Adele magazine you got Dominic Ansel we tried his cronut there he is that's the man behind the cronut croissant and donut and then down below here another thing I like about Caesars properties except Cromwell didn't have a personal refrigerator they had a room bar but not a refrigerator that you could put stuff in I put all the food from Las Vegas ballpark in here so I could still eat the chicken sandwich and the pulled pork sandwich they gave me as well as the salad bowl that they gave me last night too. I'm probably gonna take that over to Tuscany and eat that for a late dinner. Yeah, nice. This is a pretty big entryway. And you also get your double lock. You grab this and you pull the lever up top. Now to the bathroom, you got this Asian girl with the headphones on. It was the same exact type of mural that they had last time we stayed here, but I could have totally used the bathtub here. I like it, it's nice and bright and white and cream colors. You have a mirror and a his and her sink, huge toiletry space, tissue paper, soap, they give you body soap, uh, shower gel, lotion, all that good stuff. The Jose Bear brand. They even have a glass shelf down below. That's also where you get your hair dryer. They give you body soap, tons of towels. I should have just brought my bubble bath over here. And I like how the mirror is well lit on all four sides. Toilet is nice and low to the ground so you can squat and do your business in the morning. And then here in the shower, okay, this was the one kind of, uh, shower did not get warm it was like lukewarm and it was kind of cold and i had to shower fast because i don't like cold showers i love long hot showers pretty spacious nice and white inside this room and i do like that it has lights on all four sides one thing i noticed here is that they don't have a full length mirror they could put something here but it's a blank wall that kind of makes it very bland and then there's no decorations in the entryway so i don't know i'm not really feeling this ultra hip king room so overall i would say planet hollywood it is a great place for your cheap eats destinations you have your earl of sandwich your ocean one down there la salsa cantina blondies and all the other great cheap eats and you have the miracle mile shops and it's pretty center of the strip but for the room stay, there's always some sort of problem. This room is nice and spacious. So that's the positives. You do get your personal refrigerator, huge closet. It is a little quieter here, but I didn't like the guest services. When I checked in a diamond, they were kind of very dry and they weren't very nice. Like you gotta treat people with respect. They expect you to know everything that they know. I don't know. I guess since I'm a former Disney cast member, that's just not the Disney way. You gotta treat people with respect regardless. They were just very direct and like kind of short. 
so I wasn't a fan of that. But eh, the pool here is nice. I really enjoyed the pool area. And like I said, the cheap eats are great for $102 stay here. That was a little too pricey for me. I'd like to stay here for about $50 to $60, especially for a room like this, especially if there's gonna be problems. Cold shower was not A+. plus. Planet Hollywood this time around kinda was the same as the last time. It was like kinda eh. Stay-wise, I probably wouldn't wanna stay here unless it's a really cheap deal, but cheap eats wise, heck yes. Instead of going into the Flamingo convenience store, which I know is gonna be more highly priced, there is a Walgreens down by the Casino Royale across from Mirage. This is where I'm gonna pick up some waters, Gatorades, and some other essentials I may need for my couple days over at the Flamingo. Funny enough, I actually need super glue. Also need some eye drops. 7003, and the room keys are being printed. Here it is, my newest purchase. I got this mini uh, Keurig. And then I bought these Duncan creamers so I could just pack them with me. And boom, morning coffee. I was noticing the rise in price of coffee here in Vegas. The Palms and Bally's, if I didn't get lucky and got comp coffee there, it would have been like $6.20. Starbucks, just for a Pike's Place roast, which is their regular blend, was already going up to like almost $5. I figured, why not just spend 60 bucks on a small Keurig machine? A lot of you may not be able to bring it here. People that drive just from San Diego or take a Southwest flight from anywhere else can pack it in their bag like I did. My bag only weighed 40 pounds. At Southwest, you could check in two bags for 50 pounds each. And I figured I'd just bring in my coffee and eventually, with all the trips that I make out here, it'll pay itself off. Ooh, this is the first coffee from that machine. I never even tried it yet, straight out the box. <sighs> just like what I get downstairs, except made it myself. So there's a little Vegas hack for you. Bring your own Keurig machine. Now comment below, I know not all of you would want to go through that hassle just to save money on coffee, but would you do it? Would you bring a Keurig machine to Vegas and save a couple bucks? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're a follower of Jcation, you know I have a Facebook group for San Diego called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. Well, since I'm in Las Vegas so much, I decided to start a Facebook group that's similar to It's Always Sunny in San Diego, but for you Vegas viewers, and it's called Las Vegas 777, let's go. I'll put it down in the description box. Make sure to join. We're gonna start a great community of Las Vegas lovers and give local news, tips, and recommendations and up-to-date stuff about Las Vegas on this Facebook group. Check this out, they even have a dog relief area here. And this is the side where the parking garage is and the Uber drop-off. They have a FedEx office for those ELs that need to do some business while you're here. There's a Magnet Max. And they have a bunch of other things. There's a spa at Flamingo and we're right next to the pool. And they have a oxygen bar. Uh, I'm staying over at the spa elevators. They have a jewelry store here and Nook Express. Let's see how much a coffee is for, for here. They have lunch sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches. Brewed coffee is $4.49 for a 16 ounce and $4.99 for a 20 ounce, so not bad. And over here you have the greatest burlesque show on earth. And that's how a girl in the show dresses up. You got conference centers here, uh, flamingo promenades, almost like their souvenir shop. You can buy Vegas Knights gear, Raider gear. There's a ton of shops over this way. I never usually walk this way, but since I'm staying here, I discovered this place. There's Marshall Russo, which is like a clothing bag shop. All the restaurants are over towards the casino. This is a huge convenience store slash uh, souvenir store. And over this way, you got hashtag dot Vegas, promenade wine and spirits where you can pick up your booze. And then hotel registration is down over this way. Now don't check in at four because you're gonna run into that line like I did yesterday. Try to check in online and try to get to one of these automated check-in systems and it'll be a lot faster for you to check in and check this out here's the box office and Wayne Newton is performing over here and it's the Wayne Newton theater Donka Shane baby Donka Shane and this is where all the slots are and Carlos and Charlie's is over that way we're gonna have to try that out they also have a Caesars rewards desk over here but what's really cool is the monorail is stops over here and there's a monorail ticket thing right here where you can pick up your monorail tickets and go all around Vegas and beat the Las Vegas heat I think it's like five dollars each way something like that so let's see 
Yeah, one ride is five dollars. Twenty-four hour pass is thirteen dollars. Right by registration, there's a place here called Club Cappuccino where you can pick up coffee, and the prices are the same: four forty-nine for a sixteen ounce, and four ninety-nine for a large twenty ounce fresh brewed coffee. And the famous RuPaul's Drag Race show is here too. Look at this: you got a Britney. Oops, I did it again, drag queen, Lady Gaga. Only thing I don't like about this elevator is you don't need a room key to go upstairs, which is one less security precaution. We're here at Carlos and Charlie's Tacos y Margaritas, and they have a two for one happy hour deal here. So we're gonna go inside, check it out, and see what it's all about, and maybe try some Mexican food that they have here over at the Flamingo. It looks like they also have a nice patio, but it's kind of hot. It's 106 degrees right now, so we're probably gonna dine inside. Two for one happy hour margaritas, frozen mojitos, draft beers, two to six every day. All sizes from a small swimming pool, but when you're paying for swimming pool prices, they jack up them prices, I bet. Here's the food menu and the breakfast menu, and they do accept your rewards card here. It is two for one from two to six, but when you look at the prices of the drinks, they're like 11, 12 bucks. We're basically paying like six bucks per margarita, but it's all good. I mean, if you're in Vegas, you gotta have fun. They also have a deal for mimosas, Bloody Marys, frozen margaritas, and mojitos. 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., $5.90. So, we're probably getting it around the same price during happy hour here. If you wanna get a quick margarita or like a cocktail, this is a good place to go. And if it's not too hot, you can go out to the patio. You got my strawberry margarita here. We're here with good old J&K, stay in Vegas, Mr. Jeff, and he's gonna show you his drink. It's a little watered down. Comes with a lime. It'll do the job. You're in Vegas. Not the yard stick, but two for one. Small margarita. All right, so I got the uh, mango one here. Decided to be a little different than JJ. Let's see. Uh... That's not bad. I can see it's a, yeah, it's a little watered down, but you know what? When it's a uh, 107 degrees in the middle of June. This will do the trick right here. Cheers. If anyone's looking for a Lucha Libre mask, they're pretty expensive here. 35 bucks. I could get that in Tijuana for cheaper, but they have them here. This is Bugsy and Myers, and it's their steakhouse here at the Flamingo. You need dinner reservations to go here. This is the formal steakhouse. And there it is right here. Pretty huge space they have. Over by the actual flamingos is the habitat elevators. And there's the flamingos right there. We'll go check it out later on. And this is the way towards the link. Over this way they have essentials to go, which is probably more pricey than going to CVS. You have this here at your convenience if you're staying at the hotel. So they do have flamingo beanie babies and all that good stuff here. And they also have a cell phone case store around this way. A place called Flocked. And you enter the link and if you have seen my link video go check it out after this one I cover the entire link promenade this is a nice place for a flamingo picture op right here so another place that is within the vicinity of the flamingo casino is a classic place and it's wasting away in Margaritaville searching for my lost sugar of soul we're gonna go in try out some happy hour over here at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville classic spot I've taken a ton of friends of mine who've never been to Vegas over here so let's do it I just think we should get in there let's go let's do it they also have their separate entrance to the flamingo over this way boom it's like pirates of the caribbean over here look at this their beer here is called land shark it's their premium beer seven bucks nice lager cheers to you jeff cheers to you jj that's nice and crisp. Feels like a hot summer day in Key West, Florida. Usually when it's hot in Vegas. If you guys want to go here, I remember coming here. The last time I was here was I was 23 years old with my friends from Boston and Philadelphia. Their first time in Vegas. Shout out to Jason Schmidt, Brian Richardson, two of my college homies from Disney College program. We went here. Had more than a few beers. Had more than a few shots. Just a couple? We were just singing some Margaritaville the whole night, baby. <laughs> I love it. Years later. Years later. One million years later. Check out these booths. They are shaped like yachts. Check this out, guys. They got beer pong over here at the Flamingo Casino, too. Hi, Jacationers. So I made my coffee from my Keurig machine over here, and it's now time for your Flamingo Hotel Room Review. I spent $75 total here per night 
and it was $151.82 total. You're paid more for resort fees than the room rate. That's usually about the normal here in Las Vegas. I booked the high roller view and I got a nice seventh floor view of the go pool downstairs and the high roller wheel and the link. It's a really nice view, I think, and it's not too high up. Yeah, it's just a perfect view and it gets a lot of light in this room. My opinion in this room, I thought it was great. I see other hotel rooms like in the Rio and over at the Strat. I say that it needs updates. Well, this room it, right here, everything looks brand new. The carpet looks updated. You have the nice flamingo lamp here on the bed stand, which I think is really cool. And they have a ton of USB ports. They even have a USB-C port. They have them on each side of the bed stand. So with this queen room, each side, each bed has its own outlets and USB ports. They got two drawers here on the bed stand. The beds were comfortable and like I said, I steal the pillows off of the queen bed and put it on my side because I'm a pillow guy. How about you guys? Do you need more than two pillows? Because I do. And they're sticking with their pink theme over here. You have a couple of flamingos, their frames, and then they also have an old school painting of the flamingo right here in front of the table. Now they have a little round table here with two chairs and a lamp. They don't actually have like a sofa or a lazy boy, but it's okay, other rooms have it. This is more of like the standard go room, I believe is what they call it. Over by the entertainment system, you have for yourself like a 60, 65 inch LG TV. On the side, you also have the outlets. You have HDMI port, which didn't work once again, a couple of USB ports and outlets here. And over in the entertainment center, you have your ice bucket, of course, wireless telephone to call downstairs if you need anything. And in the drawers, you have little cubbies, but also the safe is there. And the fridge was brand new. Like it doesn't look like it was even touched yet. This room looks brand spanking new and newly re remodeled, and I'm here for it. The air conditioning is obviously kind of loud at times, but it works well, and especially in this 105 degree weather, you're gonna wanna have your air conditioning blaring. They have the full length mirror where you can look yourself up and down before you go. Over down in the hallway, yes, the door has double locks, so it has that one ledge that comes out so the door doesn't open all the way, and then it also has the second lock. And in the closet, you have your wooden hangers, you have a couple of drawers down there as well. You also got your ironing board and iron and there's also a light in there. Now here in the bathroom, it reminds me a lot like the Link bathroom. You have the toiletries that are communal, tethered to the wall, so you have your lotion and your body wash here. And then in the shower itself, you've got shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And the shower gets really warm real quick, and the countertop here is big enough for two people, and it is pretty modern pretty nice. What I don't like is they don't have soap. So I guess body wash is your soap, a soap bar. They don't at least provide you with that, but it's okay, I brought my own soap bar. You have a mirror that surrounds it with light on all four corners. And then it says here, your safety is priority. These items are available upon request so you can get rubber mats, shower chairs, ADA toilet seats, and sharp containers for people that may need that. You have a ton of towels to the right, you have extra toilet paper, extra tissue paper, your trash can, the throne is, you know, pretty basic, and then you have a slide-in door and a hook, and then there's a little cubby in the shower for you to put your shampoo and your bar of soap, and it's a walk-in shower. There's a curtain partition and a glass partition, it's half and half. And you also have your hair dryer, because you gotta keep the hair looking fresh. And for those of you that need that mirror to shave, they have that circular mirror that shows the super zoom up of you or a uh, normal view of you. The restroom does what it does and it reminds me a lot of the Link bathroom. Also in the closet they have a luggage rack just in case you need it but I just sprawl my luggage right there on the ground. Check out the Piff the Magic Dragon Dragon onesie right here. Now I won't miss having to fall in these lines just to get coffee in the morning. So glad. I have my Keurig machine now. A few things I may have missed is the burlesque theater here with a X marks the spot, topless 
burlesque review right here. And then over here you got a food court with Johnny Rockets, LA Subs, Pan Asian, Bonono's New York Pizzeria. But the pizza here is still over $5 a slice. They also have a Johnny Rocket. Right over this way is the Flamingo Showroom. They also have a little garden bar that look, overlooks the outside of the flamingo where the flamingos are. That's where we're going to next. So here is the wildlife habitat, the hours of operation, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. And here's your flamingos at the flamingo. Over in this wildlife habitat, you'll find a bunch of different types of birds roaming around, a ton of waterfalls, your other casino entrance, and there's Carlos and Charlie's where we tried their margarita yesterday. And here's a little flamingo wishing well. Nice flowers in bloom. And you also got a little Buddha right here. Nice, nice little gem here. Check this out, they even have a garden chapel right here. And there's a wedding in progress right now. And I'm staying seven floors up, so right around here. I'm guessing the slide is closed at this point in time. Well, there's actually a line to the go pool right now. We're gonna fall into it. We gotta check out the pool at least once while we're here. made it into the pool you can get your towels over here in the front they even have like flamingo hats there are a ton of different pools with a waterfall definitely this time of year you gotta apply your sunblock so make sure you're applying sunblock and they have a ton of bars so you can start drinking but stay hydrated guys drink your water drink gatorades it's 105 degrees in vegas so definitely want to stay hydrated there is a flamingo floaty i actually have one in my room I chose not to bring it with me they have a stage where a dj plays i could even hear it up from my room these people have the right idea staying in the shade right by the waterfall looks like you could rent out day beds and cabanas over here and there are a plethora of different types of day beds by the pool in the shade and there's also some free seating i believe here's an abandoned floaty you got another bar here in the very end so don't think there's only one bar here because they're all over nice so if you're looking for a cabana you can do that as well it looks like a big party in here and they got the music blaring all day speakers everywhere you got tvs in these cabanas too look you know me i like to find the shade so this area right here looks just fine to me pool area with shade you know we're gonna have to at least dip my feet in the water a little bit the pool opens around nine o'clock, so make sure you get here around nine. You still have a little shade. Then around 5.30, six o'clock, you get a little more shade right before it closes. If you wanna come here and just not get burnt, then between nine and 10, there's some shade. And then after 5.30, you definitely get a lot more shade. But uh, if you need some sun, just come out here all day. This is definitely the perfect place to grab yourself a margarita or a pina colada and hang out by the pool all day. Here's their little stage they have here at the pool. And one of their main bars. You also got the waterfall right here. Also an awesome view of the Link High Roller, which you'll see in another video. I also like the Miami themed decorations here. Look at that, that's very Miami South Beach-esque. Check this out, here's the garden wedding gazebo area. So if you're looking for that Vegas wedding, nice little intimate area right here for you. All in all, this room is great. For $32 a night is the room rate. Amounts to about $75 a night with resort fees. They have upgraded everything. I like the flamingo theme, obviously, because we're in the flamingo. Beautiful view of the pool. I really thought this lamp was amazing. This flamingo lamp right here for $75, $150 plus total. Definitely give it a thumbs up. I would stay here again. It's stab smack middle strip. Right across the street, you have Caesar's Palace. You're right next to the link. You got the link promenade, the high roller, a great location. And I hope the flamingo stays alive forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Little horseshoe update. The marquee big screens that they were building for months is finally up and it looks really nice. They got Wiz Khalifa and Ricky Ross, the boss, performing over at Dre's. The whole second floor of the Cromwell is dedicated to the restaurant Giada. Just so you guys know, there's a lot of street performers around here as well. 
So you may have recognized we're here at the Flamingo right next door from the Cromwell. Well, I talked to the front desk and shout out to the front desk ladies. They're really nice. Shout out to Michelle. And I asked if they had a hotel pool because they have the rooftop Dre's Day Club pool. That's only operating Friday, Saturday, Sunday, unfortunately. And since I'm here on Monday to Tuesday, I was like, oh, I wanted some pool time because this is perfect weather. And she was like, oh, well, if you present your room key over here at the Flamingo, you can go to the pool over here. It's a 21 and over pool. So you got to present your ID as well. But another place you can go to is the Caesars Palace pools which you guys know that's one of my favorite pools so if you go there you present your Cromwell room key and you can get into the Caesars Palace pool so that's a really good quirk and deal that they offer at the Cromwell so three pools for the price of one Las Vegas can definitely have its vices. Whether it's gambling, alcohol, or any other type of addiction, sometimes Sin City may get the best of us. And that's where today's sponsor, BetterHelp, can come in and assist you. BetterHelp is basically online therapy and you have access to thousands of professionals who can help you go through what you're struggling with and just sort through your emotions. What's great about BetterHelp is you can access your therapist through the app. If you're in Vegas and you're going through a rut, you can actually get a hold of them while you're there. Instead of having to go home, set an appointment, get your insurance done, and get face to face with a therapist. I'll tell you what, there's times as a digital nomad and a digital creator where I do want to speak to somebody professionally. And with BetterHelp, I have access to that. What's great about BetterHelp is that they will match you with the right therapist that you want, whether it's a male or a female email or somebody that specializes on a certain subject, they will make sure that they take care of you and get you the right therapist. For you first time users, good news is if you use betterhelp.com slash JJ, you get 10% off your first session with a therapist. If you're in need of any type of help mentally and you need to speak with someone, contact BetterHelp. And now let's start off with the Cromwell Las Vegas hotel tour. This is one of the Las Vegas Boulevard entrances to the Cromwell and there's Giada De Laurentiis. We're going to be eating there later on in this video. Guys, check out the traffic on Las Vegas Boulevard. They closed down one way and there's only two one lane streets here right now and the traffic is horrible. And this is the Uber drop off and right across the way is the Cromwell's parking. And with Diamond, you get free parking. All the carpet down the hallways and here by the elevator are French words and sayings and there's even some English quotes here as well. I like the decorations, black and gold. Each elevator area also has this uh, seating area cream bench here. If I'm not mistaken, this used to be the Barbary Coast. It has a little bit of old wear and tear to it and there's only two elevators that'll take you up to the hotel rooms. This is the lobby elevator area, mirrors, and then they also have ads for certain things for Caesars Rewards going on. I love the decorations here, the nice chandelier. And it's not that big of a casino floor, it's only one big rectangular area here. This is the round bar right by check-in and the Caesars Sportsbook. And you also got high limit slots here. Ah, they do have a quaint gym area. We'll have to check that out later on. But here's the lobby area. Here in the reception lobby area, you can see to the round bar, all the cocktails and high-end drinks over here. And this is the check-in area right next to the drop-off area. Really dark and dim ambiance here. And you also got a Seven Stars exclusive access room in here as well. They have their hotel convenience store Curious. They got some BGK and some Raider gear here as well. And if you need to grab some stuff, it'll be more pricey, but at least you can not leave the hotel premises. And this is their mini Caesar sports book right next to the bank and the Caesars rewards. Behind these giant lamps are your high limit tables. The only time I've ever been here is to party at the after hours Dre's nightclub, but it's also a beach club on the weekends. We're here on a Tuesday to Wednesday, so there's nothing going on here, but the rooftop is a beautiful bar. I've actually seen Drake perform here in the past. Dre's is a nightclub, but it's also an after hours club where you can party after a regular club from like 3 to 7 in the morning. If you're here to party over here at the Cromwell, they do have a space called the Eat Well where you can get coffee, snacks, some sandwiches. This is the very front part where Las Vegas Boulevard is. We have a nice little setup, casino lounge right here with a few TVs. You can watch the NBA playoffs or whatever you want to see while you're staying here. Right behind it is where you can play video poker and they do also have a long bar here where you can 
get cocktails. Oh, there you go. Dre's After Hours is 12 to 6 a.m. Hookah Nightly. And this is the entrance. The other one is the nightclub and the day club, which is the rooftop pool. This is the casino floor where you can play blackjack, roulette, and slot machines on the corners. Made it to the fitness center. They got two treadmills, not very many treadmills here. Right across the street is the horseshoe. You have some ellipticals, some machines, and a few free weights over this way. Let's see, oh, you also got your abs and stretching mats and rollers, medicine balls. Pretty good deal. Not that big of a gym, but at least there is a gym here in the hotel, so you can get your quick 30 minute to an hour workout here. They also have mini towels here, sanitary wipes, just in case you wanna wipe down the machines. I'm really excited because this is one of the restaurants that I've been wanting to try for so long and it's Giada. Giada De Laurentiis. She is a world-renowned celebrity chef. She's on Food Network, has so many shows all around the U.S., all around Italy. Her restaurant is so good that she only needs one and she gets the entire second floor of the Cromwell. Just go up these escalators right here and we're gonna have Giada. Now, in order to get a reservation, you can do it on open table or do it when you're booking your room here at Cromwell or on the Caesars Rewards website. So make sure you reserve it in advance. I did it about two weeks in advance and I got myself my table for one. Let's go inside and check out Giada, De Laurentiis' restaurant, Giada. Giazzi, look at this. They even have some of her cookbooks here you can purchase. Really cool entryway. Nice little uh, waiting area here. You guys know this place is good when they have nothing but best of Las Vegas awards displayed here really cool spot they got the menu over here we're gonna have to check that out doesn't look too bad actually prices look pretty decent and then you got the uh italian movie posters here il proceso di verona this way they have a ton of giada magazines that she's been featured in she is beautiful i love her there's your giada gear you can get cookbooks you can even pick up some of these jars right here, some Giada placemats, some Giada silverware. I'm loving it. What a beautiful woman. She does have a nice specialty cocktail menu. Her G cocktail is very popular, but that was already sold out. So I went with the Giada's Red Sangria. You can get it in white as well. You have an orange in here. Nice and refreshing. Can't wait to try the appetizer and the main course that I ordered. They also have really nice views of the Vegas Strip if you got a window seat. So we're starting off with the salumi picante arancini. Four arancini balls, scamorza cheese, and pomodoro sauce. Ooh, that pomodoro sauce looks really good. You got the small salumi on top of the arancini. Let's dig into it. sauce nice rice on the inside nice and soft and warm mm. this is amazing great tasty way to start a dinner here at Giada mm. I'm also enjoying all the decorations here murals pictures of Giada nice and bright over here too especially when the sun's shining into the restaurant all right, the main dishes here, we got the bucatini. First time I ever had this was in Milano. My cousin's husband, Paolo, made some bucatini a la matriciana from scratch. And I like how the menu, Gianna really prides herself on phonetically spelling the words like spaghetti and bucatini. And it's cool that she does that so that people can say it correctly, how it's said in Italian. So let's dive in to this bucatini. Really nice sauce. I love myself some red sauce. Bucatini is basically a pasta with holes in the inside. It looks like spaghetti, but spaghetti doesn't have a hole on the inside. Bucatini does. This is amazing. I also saw that they have cacio e pepe. I might have to try that out. So the Bucatini has Calabrian chili pomodoro. It's spicy, but it's not crazy spicy. I can handle it. And they also got ricotta cheese with it. It's dessert time. Had to get the warm Nutella cake with the mascarpone gelato with nuts. This looks fantastic. I had to get some sort of gelato. There's a crunch to the nuts, so good. Oh man, it's like a peanut brittle with vanilla gelato. Mm. 
Let's get into this Nutella cake. They got Giada and gold on there. Oh, wow. Nice lava flow of Nutella on the inside. It's like that Katy Perry song. Hot and cold. You're hot and you're cold. That's what it is in a dessert. Check out the cheese wheel they have here. Some jamon and their lobsters and fish. You can also buy Giada merchandise over here. And they have a wood fire stove, a little bar. And when they open up all the curtains, it gets super bright in here. All right, vacationers. So we're gonna end this with an Italian beer. This is their Manna Brea Blonde. That was just an amazing meal. And I used my celebration, $100 celebration, Caesars Rewards credit. And you know what? If there's a restaurant to use it, you use it here. I used up all 100 bucks. You can only use it once per year and you can't use it in multiple places. So you really do have to sit down and spend that 100 bucks, which I was able to successfully do. Giada, I'm definitely gonna put this in one of my favorite celebrity restaurants in all of Las Vegas Strip because it was amazing. She is a great chef. I love her. She's the best. Cheers. Chin chin. All right, now it's time to go back up to the room. I needed to get a celebratory white Russian downstairs. Tito's vodka, Kahlua, and half and half. Lakers with the overtime victory up three games to one. You're probably seeing this video like way after and the playoffs is over and the Lakers already had lost, but whatever. I need that. All right, it's bedtime. We're gonna give you a room review tomorrow and check out a pool. All right, vacationers, it is time for the ever so famous room review at the Cromwell Las Vegas. So I basically booked the cheapest room and get this. I paid about $112 for Monday to a Tuesday and I kept checking after and it went down to $78 plus tax. It was about 89 and since I have diamond, I don't have any resort fees. So I paid $89 out the door over at G. I paid $20 tip and I had a $100 dining credit which fit because I spent about $94 to $100 for my dinner last night at Giada. So that dining credit that happens once a year is the anniversary dining credit. They applied that and I just gave them a $20 tip. But this is the regular room. I was able to check in around 12 o'clock yesterday and we're on the sixth floor. You could kind of hear people walking up and down the hallways. We're two doors down from the elevator so it was a little louder. This bed was actually huge but it it was a little too firm for my liking. The pillows could have been a little softer, but it was a nice dark hotel room. Like I have to use my lights here because uh, it's kind of dim. A little of a Moulin Rouge, gothy style here. Huge king bed, two bed stands. The bed lamps are pretty dim. As you can see behind me, you get your phone here, a couple of wall, out, uh, a wall chargers. They even have some outlets on the lamp itself and a couple of drawers. And they even have a speaker here that you could connect your phone to if you want it. Even though this room is kind of small, you do have a L-shaped leather couch that you can lounge and watch the TV. The TV is about 55, 60 inches, so it's a bigger TV. I was able to watch the Lakers go up 3-1 on the Memphis Grizzlies last night. Very stressful game, guys. And they also have this uh, coffee table with rolling wheels on them that you can move around, and they even have a chess board on it. So if you have chess pieces, you can probably play chess on it. Over here, hanging out. And then you got your air conditioning uh, controls here as well as a dimmer for this light above me. And then there's a double lock on the door, which is also a thumbs up. And then they also have two more outlets here by the wall. Over in the corner here, you have a nice velvet chair. You can chill and relax. A full-size mirror. It's almost a floor to ceiling mirror, pretty full length. And this large black lamp. And the entertainment center, the very bottom drawer has your safe and then the refrigerator and the snack bar. You guys know that's off limits. The temptation kit and all that good stuff, way too expensive. You have a huge dresser drawer here as well as two glass cups as well as your ice bucket. But what I do like about Cromwell is they give you a Keurig machine. Now if you bring your own K-cups and water, you can use it, but they also charge you for coffee. So make sure you know that because the coffee that they do offer here, the coffee kit, it's like 15, 20 bucks. So you don't want to spend on that. So make sure you have water in your K-cup. Whoa, I just noticed they actually have a little Swiss army knife that says Caesar's Palace on it. Can opener and wine bottle opener. I wonder if you can use that because it's on the weighted sensor. So I'm debating if you should even touch it. I wouldn't touch it. Funny thing is they also have a romance kit and a charging kit as well right next to it. Having this Keurig machine was amazing. They also give you three cups. It was nice to just leave my Keurig machine in there. I'm sure I'll use it again tonight 
right when I switch over to the Planet Hollywood Hotel. I also like this vaudeville Moulin Rouge-esque type frame here of a few girls and dudes hanging out by a balcony, probably waiting for a show or hanging by a hotel lobby somewhere in France or something. Moving on to the vanity area, nice old school light bulbs around your vanity mirror. They even give you two ledges where you can put your makeup or toiletries on, four outlets all together, and then a small little shelf ledge here for your makeup or whatever you use. I used this to eat yesterday. There's also a light switch right here. And then inside your closet here, they give you a decent amount of hangers, your luggage rack, iron, ironing board, and the hair dryer happens to be in here, and then laundry and dry cleaning service if you need it, and then three other drawers down here. Made it to the bathroom here. The view is actually the inside part of the Cromwell. It actually has like an outdoor indoor area and they just stage a lot of their furniture down there. So it wasn't really that nice of a view. You get a partial view of the Flamingo, but it doesn't really look that nice. And for $89 at a hotel, that's a lot more expensive usually. You can't really complain, right? And I'm on the sixth floor, so we're a little bit in the middle part of the building. It's not that tall of a building at all. Here in the bathroom, giant sink, but but not enough space to like sprawl out your toiletries. They do give you your Jose Hebert lotion, conditioner, shampoo, and soap, but I was kind of struggling maneuvering around with my toiletries when I was taking a shower earlier. You get your tissue paper and a bunch of towels down here and trash can. And then over in the throne room is a picture of a dog sitting on a throne, a little mini window that is all fogged up and a hook over here. And the throne was nice and low to the ground, so that is a thumbs up. And then inside here, I didn't look up, there's actually a ceiling rain shower as well as the regular shower that you can use. But I like the full length mirror you have here. And it has quotes in English and French. Enjoy the good life. Profit de la belle vie. It says, I'm not gonna even say it in French, but it says, enjoy the good life. To win without risk is to triumph without glory. Bless the ones who curse you, that's life. Say la vie. See, I can say say la vie. <laughs> and finally, you have this round mirror that looks like it's hanging on a hook, but it's, I don't know, it actually is hanging on the hook. And then two light strips down here. So very bright bathroom. And what's funny is there's three different light switches to turn on all the lights here. So it gets a little confusing. And then this door right here slides in, slides out. So all in all, for $89 on a Monday to Tuesday, this was a nice stay at the Cromwell. And there is not very much to do down here in the hotel, even though right across the way is the Flamingo, and then just across the bridge is Bally's and the Bellagio. It's right smack dab in the center of the strip, but in the hotel property itself, you really only do have the Dre's Beach Club and Night Club, but that's not open until the weekends. And then Dre's After Hours, which isn't open until the weekends. So you're limited to activities is like going to Giada, which is amazing. Like I said, I think this is gonna be one of my newest favorite restaurants in all of the Las Vegas Strip. That Bucatini was amazing. The Arancini, oh, to die for. And then the hot Nutella cake. Oh my goodness. That was a lava flow of chocolate and the Bailey's and the mascarpone gelato. I'm telling you, that was worth it. And then small fitness center. So would I stay at the Cromwell again? I'll say yes. Prices and rates are a little higher. It's a little on the higher end. I would say it's like a mid to high type hotel for Caesars property, but you can find a deal on a weekday every now and then, especially if you have diamond rewards like I did. My overall stay here at Cromwell, I would say two thumbs up. They're really nice downstairs. Shout out to Michelle. She provided me with a ton of nice details about using the pool and just being being around the property itself. If you wanna gamble, you got everything downstairs. It's very quaint, easy. You will not get lost here. And you're right by all the action. Right now, we are out here in front of the Carnival Court. That is the building that I'm staying in right now. Let me start off with a tour. Let's flash back to last night where I gave you a tour of the casino hotel grounds. Here's the Fulton Street Food Hall. It's right next to the Mountain Towers where I'm actually staying. Let's go inside and check it out. They even have a noodle bar that's still open. It's about 10.30 at night. Over here at the Fulton Street Food Hall, they have Bobby's Burgers by Bobby Flay. There's also one of these at Caesars Palace. There's an ice cream and bakery area here as well as a coffee bar. You got your Italian food in the back. There's a noodle bar and salad soup and sandwich stations as well. And then there's a really nice bar here with cocktails and beer and uh, video poker on the other side.
Look, they have Lola soap here. Specialty soap, Karma and Luck, and an In Motion. Is that a VR store or a electronic store? Electronic store. Down in the lobby, there is a Starbucks. So there are two Starbucks in the premises. One here and one over by the piano bar. And they also have a nice cocktail bar here in the middle of the lobby so if you're in here checking in they do have a few people that will help you out but they also have the auto check in and check out I had some trouble with it but I'll tell you a little more about it a little later and they have essential wine and spirits over here which is your hotel convenience store and over this way it looks like there's a souvenir shop welcome to the fabulous Las Vegas Nevada it's closed right now but if you need to pick up some souvenirs you got that here next to it looks like a beauty spa I can't say that I failed French in high school and they also have mobile check-in here as well as VIP registration and outside is where the taxis will pick you up and your baggage drop is where I dropped my bag off a little earlier before I checked in another caveat is that you can pick up monorail tickets here at the lobby and there is a monorail station here at Harris and this is hotel registration it's 10 30 at night and there's still a line so that just goes to show how many people are staying here on a Sunday another thing I missed is this socks and bottoms store over here in the corner of the check-in area we are now here on the second floor there's actually a Ben and Jerry's and it's still open this late at night and another numb bar and frozen cocktails the pool area is over here but it's closed for the season they do have a few kiosks here but what I wanted to show you was Drew Brees' restaurant called walk-ons there we got walk-ons sports bistro and it is co-owned by Drew Brees there are a lot of people here watching the playoff game earlier looks like they have a huge bar and a nice menu probably some southern food as well all right, let's head back downstairs and show you the rest. Over on this corner next to the sports book, they do have high limit slots. And coming soon in this corner is the, the lounge. Looks like a nice little cocktail bar opening up. And right here is the Caesars Race and Sports Book. It also has a bar in the bottom. Pretty decent. Over this way, it's closed right now, but they do have a num bar. And then there is another Starbucks on this side of the hotel. In the morning, if you're looking for your Starbucks, they got that. So although this is in front of the link, it is still part of Harrah's. It's the carnival court. And they do have live music over here and a huge circle bar, free entry. And they also have a cocktail to go bar right here as well. I showed you guys this piano bar last time where I got the $10 White Claw. And they got dueling pianos going on right now here at 10 at night. Another thing that is low key kind of surprised me about Harris is they have a couple of fine dining options. We just ate at Ramsey's Kitchen, but they also have a Ruth Chris Steakhouse. You got to take these elevators up, but it's closed right now because it's like 11 at night. And right next to it is Pizza Cake by Buddy Velastro. I've had it before. A cheese slice here is about $7.50. I had a buffalo chicken. It was actually really good. I want to shout out my cousin EJ Cation. I was with him on the 4th of July a couple years back. We went into this Hira's Wines and Spirits. Dude, it is pricey. Ain't no joke. Well, escalator up here. I'll take you through the showrooms. It looks like they have a few shows like Tape Face, a country show with a bunch of cowgirls, and Menopause the Musical. At the very north end of Harris, they do have a small, lonely cocktail bar here, right next to the McDonald's. And if you want to pick up tickets to your favorite show, they have the box office right here. Matt Franco, another magician, he's here as well. This is an interactive ad board, pretty cool. This is Gordon Ramsay's newest restaurant. It's called Ramsay's Kitchen, and it is fine dining. It is tucked away in the back of Harris but I just ate there you'll see it in my other video I'm telling you it's amazing you got to check it out you wouldn't think of a fine dining place in Harris but here it is you'll see it in my uh, Las Vegas restaurants video coming up soon and then up this set of escalators is the meeting rooms and they also have a FedEx store and pool here these elevators earlier were having tons of trouble let's hope we don't get into it but we're on the 55th floor oh crap hold on see like I said Trouble. So you do gotta scan it, which is good, because there's no security. I got stuck in the elevator for like three minutes earlier today. It was the other one near the parking lot, but th these ones, man, there was such a line that built up because the elevators weren't opening. And you could hear people yelling help earlier, so hopefully that doesn't continue. The next morning. I'm gonna be here in Vegas for 12 days. Bringing that Keurig machine, definitely a lifesaver. Wake up, just plug it in, get the Keurig going, we're good to go like the homage to the Mirage. I find that some hotels don't have paper cups 
for me to put coffee. So you have to bring a mug with you if you're gonna bring your trick machine. At least here in Caesars Resorts, they have Caesars Rewards paper cups. I'm not at Caesars Resorts the whole time. MGM doesn't give you paper cups, so mug it is. 55th floor, like my favorite San Diego Charger, Junior Seau. Well, the pool is closed for the season, but this is the entrance to it on the second floor. I also forgot to mention, this is where Donny Osmond performs as well. Huge sign right in the front on Las Vegas Boulevard. They have a huge slice of cake. They're really trying to get you to that vending machine, and it's gonna work. Right, buddy? There's a Starbucks. Oh, the line's not that bad. It's about 10.30 in the morning, but I'm still happy I got my Keurig machine. All right, JK Shitters, it is time for the room review. This room is a queen bedroom in the mountain tower, but I did book a king room, and I had problems checking in yesterday. I usually check in online, give them the credit card number and everything on the Caesars Rewards app, and I got that all done. When I got to the kiosk and checked myself in, they usually just ask for your ID and the credit card you used, and then they print out your room key and give you directions. But I was having trouble, it took me a while, but I finally was able to get a front desk agent to help me out. Apparently they didn't have a king room ready for me. I just said, just get me in a room please. So they gave me this queen room, it was $56. I paid literally $10 for the room rate and the resort fee itself is 45 bucks, which that's what's gonna get you here in Vegas. So I really need to try to get to these third tier rewards so I don't have to pay for the resort fee because once you get to third tier, that's when they uh, erase the resort fee. And I think there's a way around it and I think I'm gonna show you guys that eventually. The beds were okay, queen beds, kind of small. The pillows were huge and thick, so I didn't really have to steal pillows from this bed over to mine. You know, I like to sleep closest to the wall. The walls are kind of paper thin, I'm not gonna lie. I could hear the housekeeping in the morning. They're actually kinda, sorta, really loud. And I could hear the TV from the next room over, so that was a little minus. I hate to be bagging it, but I might as well give all the negatives right now, right? The elevators are slower than any elevator I've been on here in Las Vegas, like either they stop on every floor, there were problems in the elevators. I was stuck in the elevator for like three minutes because the door wouldn't open yesterday. And then when check-in hits, man, forget about it. There's a long line and some of the elevators weren't working. So I don't know if Harris like systems are outdated, whether it's their check-in systems and their elevator systems, but everything was slow and go yesterday. I mean, they were nice enough to fix that problem for me at the front desk and they're they were super cool. Everyone here has been really hospitable but their systems are super outdated. I definitely would have to say that. And the elevator itself, man, it's slower than the Luxor's Inclinator, and that's saying a lot. Another thing, it's not just about Harrah's, but it's about Caesar's. When you check in, you can't check in till four. Usually it's three o'clock, but it's four. Because you can't check in till four, you can't get an early check-in unless you pay like $60. That's crazy, right? $60 for like a little bit of an early check-in. Versus some MGM resorts, will let you check in early without any fee and sometimes you can be in your room by 11 o'clock. Like I'm moving over to the Vidara right now and it's about 10.30. My room was ready at nine o'clock this morning and I'm not supposed to check in till three. So that is the advantage of staying with an MGM resort property. You may get free check-in early and get into your room early because they do digital room keys. But Caesars, they don't do digital room keys and they don't do check-in early. So when it hits four o'clock, everybody's in line checking in in these kiosks. So you're waiting longer. And then if you have a problem, you have to wait even longer and then the elevators get jammed up and boom. Yeah, that's just my little rant. You guys need to know this type of stuff when you're in Vegas. So you know what to expect when you're in each hotel. And that's kind of my responsibility to tell you guys. So I'm not really here to bag it, but that's really what happened in this experience. Continuing on with the hotel room tour, they do give you a small coffee maker and a couple of cafe valets. Uh, regular coffee, it comes with a coffee filter pack and a disposable brew basket. And uh, they also have decaf for you decaf people. Don't trust people that drink decaf. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Don't get mad at me. And then what I do like about Caesars is that they do give you these paper cups. I've learned my lesson because I don't just stay at Caesars exclusively while I'm here. So I bring a coffee mug with me with my Keurig machine. It may be a little heavier, but hey, at least I have a coffee mug and then I just wash it after. So this room, I'm gonna tell you, it almost feels like we're in New York. The room is a little smaller, a little more compact, but they actually have room for this really nice granite countertop vanity area. They have a 
lit mirror with lights on the two sides and for you ladies you can sit down here and get ready and then on the other side you have workspace where the coffee machine is the setup for the TV is really nice their guides are very organized and all that stuff so I really give that a thumbs up you get your ice bucket and a couple of more paper cups here down below are three drawers and your safe and the safe actually works this trip you guys watched my previous videos there's a couple of places where the safe weren't operating correctly and then you also have a tissue box right here as well between the beds is your bed stand uh, it's not a drawer but you have your phone two lights your TV remote yeah no drawer like I said but on both sides of this bed stand you have two outlets cool there's a light in the back of this leather bed stand so you guys can see it pretty cool these pillows long and huge and pretty plush you also get this purple and dark green like water paint display and they have like a matching one in the restroom and here in the entryway you have your full size mirror and double locks just do this and that this is old school you have to put a card here for the power you don't have to necessarily put a room key in there you can just put any type of card but just don't forget if you're putting your id or a credit card in there don't forget to grab it on the way out i'm sure a lot of people have done that in the past and usually in these hotel rooms like i said it's a smaller hotel room the closet would be around here but the closet is actually in a little cubby space in the restroom so here in the restroom it's pretty small not much room to work with. You can even see the door shutting. They do give you a ton of hangers. So like 10 hangers, your ironing board and your iron is here. The luggage rack is outside by the computer table. Yeah, they do the community shampoo, conditioner, body wash, which is stuck to the wall. I don't really trust those. So I, I use my own toiletries and bring it with me. But they do give you a body lotion that you can take with you and some hand soap and a ton of towels, extra toilet paper and blow dryer. And then the mirror has has lights on all four sides and uh, you have a hook outlet over here and the throne is a little higher up here clean enough restroom and the sink itself is a waterfall sink reminds me a lot of the link restroom a little wear and tear but not not crazy it's it's clean it's clean room and for 56 bucks what more can you ask for overall my experience here at Harrah's uh, it was okay, it was so-so. Check out my other video where I did eat at Ramsey's Kitchen where I had an amazing experience. The rooms are nice, the walls are a little thin, the elevators are outdated and slow, their systems are definitely outdated and slow, and this is an older building. But a lot of people like staying here at Harrah's. There have been quite a few viewers that have commented and said, you should do a tour of Harrah's and stay there. So I definitely wanted to listen to them and give them that review. And I'm off to the Vidara next so make sure you check that out. Would I stay here at Harris again? I mean, if I was in a pinch and I was paying like 50 bucks, probably, but would it be a top priority choice for me? Like, let's say the link. I actually like the link better than this. I'll be honest with you. No, I probably wouldn't stay here. Um, it wouldn't be a top priority place. But I do like the Harrah's over in San Diego, up north in northern San Diego. They have an Earl of Sandwich there. They actually even have a Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen. So the one in San Diego, thumbs up but I don't know about staying here again and I also talked about doing a fitness center segment well I couldn't find it and I have to check out and I have my bags with me so I looked online and there is a spa and fitness center on the second floor but obviously I didn't pass by it so just so you guys know there is a gym here we'll get back to that hopefully at the Vidara and this is luggage services and it does get pretty packed in the morning here the uber pickup zone it's not here it's uh, this is just a drop off but right chair pickup is right to the side funny enough they have this one turf area with a fire hydrant and a tree and turf it's a dog relief area right next to the uber pickup after being closed for over a year the bacchanal buffet finally reopens with over two million dollars worth in renovations of course, it wouldn't be a Vegas trip without connecting with my friend Norma. What's up, Norma? Hey, what's up? I'm excited. I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm real hungry too. I starved myself like the whole day. Oh no. Well, I had one slice of secret pizza, but that's it. But okay. we're here at the Bacchanal reopening. One of the biggest buffets in, San in Vegas. Yeah. Almost at San Diego. <laughs> we're going to do this video a little differently. I want you to hop over to Norma's channel after watching this. It'll be tagged at the end card. We're gonna do the whole Bacchanal food review over on her channel. So make sure you're subscribed and you like Norma Helen.
I've been going to the Caesars Buffet ever since I was a kid, and back then, I believe it was called the Palladium Buffet, but in the past, it's also been called Cafe Lago and Cafe Roma. Oh, I just got interviewed by Inside Edition. I know, I was not ready. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm happy overall that it happened. The cost of Bacchanal Buffet is $64.99. There are nine different stations of food, and it is an amazing place with a 90-minute food limit. Welcome to Bacchanal, the YouTube channel. Welcome to you. Hi, YouTube. The wings and the ribs are fantastic. Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right. Will do. Thank you. Of course. My pleasure. At the Bacchanal Buffet, the entire staff from the chefs to the servers were super nice and we also tried out their meats and lobster bisque. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Enjoy. All right, Jaycationers. So me and Norma just had an amazing dinner here at the Bacchanal Buffet day one. It was amazing, huh? Yes, I'm so glad they reopened. I mean, it looks like, like nothing happened. <laughs> it's great. They, they represented the Philippines. Mexico, Italy, and all these other countries as well with their dishes and the dessert was amazing. If you guys want to see everything, you got to go over to Norma's channel and see the entire food review because we ate basically every station. All we can give you right now is the ube and the strawberry cheesecake that I had. What did you have? I got strawberry gelato, blood orange gelato. Very interesting. I had never had anything like this. Yeah, and then she also got a customizable crepe and I got an egg tart too. It's all great stuff. So. Yes. Go check out Norma's channel after you finish this video. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> a little bonus content on Jaycation. She's still not super full yet. I'm not full. Like I, we finished with dessert and I'm like, I'm not full. I'm getting more crab. <laughs> there you go. You wish you shall receive. Material. We got the uh, Wagyu beef hot dog. I don't know if you're interested in it. I will take a bite. Okay. All right, Wagyu beef. Tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Not Wagyu beef. It just tastes like a really gourmet hot dog. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you want a bite? Yeah, why not? Try it. I agree with your consensus. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I have the bread. And guess what guys, Norma finally tapped out, <laughs> said let's go. I'm stuffed though. <laughs> Alright, game over. Let's uh, move on to the hotel room review. Here's something I always thought was weird about Caesars Palace by the parking lot elevators. There's this door right here, this door, and it leads this door leads out to the casino, but then this is the hallway and this is the door. Like, what, what's the purpose of this door right here? Somebody tell me, what's the purpose of that door? I've wondered about that since I was a teenager. So this is more of a raw vlog style video. Great dinner with Norma. Go check out our review on Bacchanal on her channel after watching this. Now we're gonna go upstairs and check out the room that I'm about to check into. So I just checked in on my Caesars app and when I get here, I have to use the QR code to get my key. Alright, we got my room key right here. Oh, they got two room keys. What? It's only one to me. Extremely satisfied. Yes. Thank you. Second complete. There are plenty of towers around Caesars Palace, so make sure you follow the directions on the sheet that is printed out when you check in. Headed over to the room finally at 7 at night. Super full right now though, but I'm happy to be back at the House of Caesar. All right, Jaycationers, you ready to check out the deluxe queen bedroom here at Caesars in the Augustus Tower? Let's go check it out. First things first, the hallway, the bathroom is right to your left and the bathroom is freaking palatial. And then you also got a nice closet in here. Tons of hangers, there's at least 12 or 13 different hangers. You got your luggage rack your ironing board and your iron, and your safe. Then you got a huge floor to ceiling mirror right here. I just gained 20 pounds over at the back and out buffet, so I look at myself and I'm just like, oh man, all that weight I just gained right there. That's why I decided to wear like this loose shirt today. Next up is the huge bathroom. Oh man, I might just get a bath bomb and throw it in here and just 
edit all night here after this live stream I'm about to do. But you also got this huge shower. Look at the shower. Man. What? And then they also got a his and her sink. All the toiletries that you need. Oh man, I'm gonna take a nice bubble bath tonight. That's for sure. Mirrors for each sink. They also got that really nice mirror right here. What? So this is what I plan on doing a little later tonight. Sit down in here. Ah, oh, wow. This is probably the best room I've reviewed so far ever since I started this hotel Las Vegas series that I'm doing on YouTube. Go check out Park MGM the Plaza video that I put out. And I also got the Luxor in Paris still to come. And then I also got a Spring Hill Suites by the Raiders Stadium that I reviewed. So stay tuned for that. Also, you can't forget about the palatial throne that Caesar used to sit on. Onto the bedroom, you got two queen beds, and then on top of that, these two stools at the end of each bed where you know you can put your shoes on or hang out and watch TV. It's a nice little touch and more space for you to sit. This room is huge, I'm so surprised. Another thing that I like is this round mirror with the desk. You got your phone, and it looks like a pretty nice phone. You got the mini bar. Wow, they have a huge mini bar. TV and this whole entertainment system where you can put snacks or put your clothes inside the drawers. So there is a lot of stuff that you can check out over here. And for the bed stand, you got your alarm clock. You get some adapters over here. Some more drawers. Plenty of space and comfort here at Caesars Palace. I'm so happy that I got this for 90 bucks for a Thursday night on the day of the grand reopening of the Bacchanal Buffet. Can't beat it. If I lie down right now, guys, I might not wake up till tomorrow morning. Let's check this out. This is the mini bar. Please note that any items removed from the dry and refrigerated snack centers will be billed automatically. So you gotta be really careful when you open this up. So they do have a fridge, but unfortunately you gotta buy stuff from it. Use of the refreshment center for personal use will incur a fee of $75. You can't put anything in the fridge. You know, you got more drawers. That's a ton of drawers, guys. I don't even think I can reach that. Next up, we're hanging out here at the dinner table with an ice bucket and a Keurig. Wow, they actually have a Keurig here. And then over here, they got the couches and the lazy boys where you can just hang out, watch some TV. But you know, we're in Vegas. We're not here to hang out in the room the whole night. We're definitely gonna sleep and edit a little bit because I'm trying to get this video out. Once again, this is gonna be a very, very raw vlog. Look at that view right there. Wow, you got the Flamingo, Venetian, Encore. Wow, this is the north side of the strip. I love it. All in all, this room is amazing, JKationers. For 90 bucks on a weekday, wow. And just had a good time here at the place Caesar used to live, home of the hangover. It's funny because growing up, this is the only statue of David that I ever saw. And when I finally went to Florence, I saw the one that's out in the Piazza, which isn't the real one, by the way. Maybe one day. We're gonna go back to Firenze and check it out. So here at the Forum Food Hall, they have a Halal Guys and an Earl of Sandwich. You're just gonna be paying a little more than you would at like, let's say the Earl of Sandwich in Planet Hollywood. They actually raise the prices. I'm not so sure about the Halal Guys, but there is another Halal Guys in Spring Mountain Road next to Chinatown. I didn't even realize that there's a water grill there now. There's one in Gas Lamp in San Diego, right near Petco Park. I didn't know that they had one here in Caesars Palace. Trevi is also another great Italian place to dine here at Forum. I went back here in 2009 with my Uncle Jack on his birthday. We celebrated his birthday over here after a wild weekend in Vegas. So shout out to Uncle Jack. That was the last time I ate at Trevi. And they actually, I do recall them having really good Italian food. Definitely on the pricier side, but you're in Vegas. One thing I really love is this giant H&M and the gelato in front of it. And it leads all the way to Nike. So this is my favorite part of the forum. And this is why I love to stay here. I love the sports book. I love the Coliseum where they have all the concerts and stuff but this h and is huge. Check that out, they even have a DJ at this h and So the Atlantis show, it's still not back on, but I love this area because I always go to Nike. Shout out to the Nike here in Vegas. And you also get to enjoy that fish tank right there around the corner. I know this is super basic, but I love this Cheesecake Factory. Great ambiance, you get a nice view of the fish tank, and you're right next to Nike, 
And the shortcut out to the parking lot, if you're just visiting Nike, is just right over this way. Anyways, guys, we're gonna flash forward over to tomorrow, check out the swimming pool before we check out a Caesar's Palace. So they do have a Starbucks right down the elevators from my room, but look at that line. I don't know. No thanks, but yeah, that's an option for you. This lobby was cracking at like midnight last night. It's crazy. So if you watch my live stream from last night, I stopped by the Purple Zebra, grabbed a Dose Keys and walked around. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it up here. No wonder why there's so many Starbucks around the strip. It's cracking at 8 in the morning. All right, vacationers, we're here at the pool at Caesars Palace. We're gonna lounge for a little bit. Nice little Las Vegas Caesar sign. Now this is the closest to Europe I feel when I'm here in Vegas when it comes to pools. Almost like Budapest and the baths over there. I mean, not quite. You don't get the authentic feel, but you really do feel like you're in Caesar's backyard swimming in the palace. I like the circular pool with our boy Caesar statue in the middle. Water's cold, man. <laughs> Just dipping my feet in here. Now I'm rocking my Lakers jersey. Made it to the playoffs. Going for that back-to-back. -back. Rocking my Padre shorts. Tatis swag right here. Just chilling out here for a little bit. I gotta check out in about an hour. Yeah, there's more than just this pool here. I think there's about five pools. Honestly, guys, you remember Norma from a few minutes ago? She just did a best pools video in Las Vegas, and she does a whole feature about the pools here in Caesars, and she's way more detailed, so why don't you check that out after you watch our buffet video at the end of this video. I'm just gonna enjoy a little bit of the Las Vegas sun. It's actually not bad right now. It's only about the 70s. Yeah, maybe we'll check out a few of the other pools. Now I was gonna see. Rocking that SD. I love them Padre shorts. They have cabanas here too. The Apollo, the Jupiter pools, the Neptune pool. I like how they name it all after all the Greek gods. Thank you, Caesar. It's been a great 24 hours. So if you're checking into the Rio and you got your booking through the Caesars Rewards app like I did, you can check in ahead of time online on your phone and skip that long line we're just passing and go over here straight to one of these machines and get your room key right when you get here. And that'll save you about half an hour and standing in a miserable line. Y'all know I hate standing in lines. There's a bar here called The Wall Craft Beer Bar and Arcade. Nice. Making noise nightly. 172 live music. So we're here by the Masquerade Tower. This is like the main stage. They used to have that whole show where they had acrobatics and stuff over here and all the showgirls rolling around up top. But right now it's not going. I don't know if it even started up again. It might be closed still throughout the pandemic. So over here, you have a bunch of random stores like the Vegas Gift Gallery. I even saw a purse store up that way. Uh, there's a Smash Burger. Smash Burger's all over the place. There's a wine cellar tasting room. Looks very New Orleans-y. What I really like is the Kiss Arcade over here. The Kiss Rock Shop. Looking for some cheap souvenirs. Looks like they have a place called Gifts Plus here as well. So this is the Kiss Rock Shop. Kiss by Monster Mini Golf. You have a little arcade here, right next to Voodoo Steak and the FFC Final Fight Championship. Looks like a VR dome maybe? But in here, you even have a little mini golf area. Check this out, with pinball machines and stuff. Look at this. Now I can dig that, that guitar right there. So right upstairs, parking here is free. You got Voodoo Steak, Chippendales, and the Voodoo Rooftop Nightclub is up this way too. And for you ladies looking for that Chippendales, Vinny from the Jersey Shore of all people is having a special residency up there with Chippendales. They actually follow me on Instagram. That's actually really funny that Chippendales LV follows me. Right next to Wetzel's Pretzels, everybody's favorite mall snack. They have new things coming here too. Coming soon, the Duomo Live Music and Entertainment. Huh, looks like there's a Wyndham Rewards site over here but it's closed. 
and if you're getting that 950 room which ended up being about 50 something dollars you'll be probably staying here at the masquerade towers and I will show you a room tour towards the end of the video and it looks like we have the masquerade bar here pretty colorful you can watch some sports and play some slots over here and then right across the way is the Wow Vegas Spectacular box office and it looks like a pretty cool show that goes nightly there's people lined up over here and look see Vinny from Jersey Shore is up there over here in the main casino near registration there's a place called Shutters Bar it looks like Miami and Boston are playing and Boston's kicking the crap out of Miami right now and this right here is the Royal India Bistro now serving a dinner buffet all you can eat well, there's some sort of buffet here, just not what you expect. Even though it's straight up 90 degrees outside right now, the pool is closed, but you got the real bar here with the other tower, the Ipanema Tower behind me. And this used to be the rockin' pool to go to in the summer. I remember when Rio was in its prime in like the late 90s, early 2000s. I remember coming here, the rooms being huge. You have that little square window by the shower that you can peek and see people taking showers in. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing as a kid. I'm just making a little roundabout here th towards the pool. And that's the Masquerade Tower by the pool entrance. It looks like they have a place called the Comedy Club which people are entering so they must have a comedy show going on right now. Who's got jokes? Tell me your latest joke. Comment down below. Voodoo Lounge offers panoramic views with a panoramic steak. If you're a fan of pho, they have a pho da nang here. Thursday to Sunday, 3 to 11 p.m. And Friday and Saturday, 3 to 2 a.m. Oh, a little late night. All right, so over towards Convention Way, they have a El Burro Boracho, Hash House of Go-Go. The Penn and Teller Theater is here. So it looks like the pool is open, 10 to 6 p.m. daily weather permitting. Right now it's about 7 o'clock almost. So El Burro Boracho is Guy Fieri's Mexican themed restaurant. Pretty cool. Over this way towards the convention center there's a Hash House of Go Go with an old school tractor. The original Hash House of Go Go is actually in Hillcrest in San Diego. And if you're trying to get your fitness on the fitness center is open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m and it's right next to the pool here to the side. And if you're looking for coffee in the morning, they do have a Starbucks right next to Hash House of Go Go. Over this way is the Penn and Teller Theater. So if you're looking to see some magic tricks, they're one of the best in Vegas. Carbonaro lies on stage, Vegas. So he also performs here as well. Magician of the year, now through July 10th. I didn't realize how huge of a grounds the Rio is. And I mean, it's a big property. These are the Palazzo Suites, so I'm guessing they're pretty nice. And then you got the World Series of Poker over this way too. There's the famous Triple D. And then it looks like over this way is the Business Center, Convention Center, and Convention Services with a FedEx office as well. I still find that funny that Vinny G from Jersey Shore is on Chippendales. Jim Tan and Laundry, GTL, that's what it was. So far it seems like a lot of the restaurants are closed and they don't open till like Thursday. Starbucks looks like it's deserted so it might not even be an open working Starbucks at the moment. All right, this is more I like it. By the Ipanema Tower, there is a Rio logo shop for some souvenirs. And you also have a, looks like it's a working Starbucks here. It's just closed because it's like seven at night. But this is the entryway to Ipanema Tower. And they even have some Asian food here. Korean barbecue, Kang's Kitchen. You see these vending machines across the strip. Carlos Bake Shop. And you got some pretty good cakes over here. What's your favorite cake? I like red velvet. I'd go for that one. Now we are now approaching the All-American Bar and Grill. And across the way is their sports book. And it looks like right next to their sports book is a sports deli where you can get some grub as well. There are a lot of food spots here, but 80% of them are closed right now. And over this way is their poker room. And one of my viewers was talking about how the World Series of Poker is here. And there's some gaming memorabilia this way and some dim sum Chinese restaurant. So we've seen Vietnamese food, Korean food, and Chinese food. So KJ Dim Sum and Seafood Chinese restaurant is right here. And this is the classic 
buffet that has not opened yet. Carnival World Buffet. I remember coming here as a teenager growing up. This was the on and poppin' buffet. They had all the great desserts, all the great selection of world foods, and now it's closed. Hopefully they're gearing up to reopen it because I see chairs and tables in there and ladders, so maybe, maybe. Comment down below if you want to see me do a Carnival World Buffet reopening video. That would be cool. And this is the KJ Dim Sum and Seafood Restaurant. Tons of red around here. Reminds me of Resorts World. And now to appreciate one of my viewers, Pamela Khan. I'm a Rio fan because the Supernatural cons are there. Ooh, Supernatural, like the TV show Supernatural with Dean and Sam Winchester. That's pretty cool. And Misha Collins too as Castiel. Apparently they're coming back here to the Rio next year. Cool, Supernatural convention. That's the most fan-friendly show I've ever uh, watched and gone to conventions and met Jensen and Jared so many times. They're awesome dudes. Another thing you got in the very entrance next to the registration is the iBar Ultra Lounge. As I mentioned during check-in is if you're gonna gamble here, you can use Caesars Rewards. This is a random box right here. Little cargo box. If you guys are finding value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. If you want to see other Vegas hotels and have me review them on my channel, comment down below where you'd like to see me go next. And now back to the Rio 2022 video. One day after EVC and it looks like all the EVC hangar arounders that attended are staying here because they're trying to save some money and stay at the cheapest hotels. They all look like zombies right now too. Wanna to get married for some reason? There is the rock and roll chapel here. Live it, love it loud. <laughs> what? Oh, you can even see in the inside, look at that. That's hilarious. And here's your smash burger. Nothing seems appetizing to me over here at the Rio. So I'm gonna skip eating a meal here and we'll go on to the hotel room review. But we're going to the parking lot and the parking here is free. So you don't have to worry about paying for parking at least. Okay, so no room key needed to go up the elevators. I guess you're off the strip, but I don't know. I like it better, that's an extra security precaution, I guess. Rise and shine, JK Shiners. It's the next morning here at the Rio, and I just spent the night. Crashed out really hard last night. I slept for about six and a half hours. This is the last day of Grow With Video Live. I still haven't had my coffee. I'm not gonna have time to check out how much the Starbucks is because there's free coffee at the conference, so I'll save some money on that. But now it's time for the room review. So the door and the front has double locks. It's got one and two. So that is definitely a plus. The walls are a little thin. I can kind of hear people walking in the hallway and the people next door last night. So that's a minus. The room has always been a huge room. That's what the Rio was known for in its prime. The rooms were huge. They even have a couch. But the couch looks a little outdated. It's not the best couch. It looks like it was like soaking in the side of a yard for like years and it's just all faded now because the sun has been giving it some wear and tear through the years. So I don't know about sitting on that couch or even sleeping on that couch without putting some sheets on it or something. But the bed itself, the king bed, it was huge. The price of this room was $9.50 but that's before taxes and resort fees. It became 56 plus once all of that stuff was added. So you're looking at about $56 if you're staying here on a Monday. What else they have in this room is they have a pretty nice flat screen TV and usually the refrigerator is under there, but don't be alarmed, the refrigerator's somewhere else. They got two bed stands with two lamps over here and a few drawers and cubbies for you to put your stuff in. And this is the couch that I wouldn't necessarily sit on, but I'm sitting on right now for the video. See the things I do for you guys? They have a couple of Las Vegas magazines and a Caesars Player magazine with John Legend on the front cover. And we have a nice view of the Ipanema Tower and the swimming pool, which is not open around the times that I'm here. So unfortunately, I could show you the pool but, like I said, back in its heyday, it was one of the better pools. The bathroom area is huge. You have his and her sinks, and it's a huge counter. On the other side is the refrigerator. You have your ice bucket with some cups that you can use, and then a nice counter and some more drawers. 
And what's funny about the closet here is that it's double sided. There's a closet opening on the bathroom side and then a closet opening in the hallway where the front door is. In there you're gonna find some wooden hangers of course and you're safe. So if you're looking for a safe, they have it. It's just hidden inside deep into that closet. It's kind of in a weird position. That's what she said. Now to the bathroom. The bathroom was huge. It was big. The shower was very spacious and a little thing about the water pressure. The water pressure is fine and the heat sensitivity is very, very high. So it gets hot real quick and it gets too hot. It's almost like boiling hot. So watch out for that and make sure you're not burning yourself while taking a shower or washing your hands because the sink is the same way. The throne is a standard throne and they do give you your towels in there and then they also have toiletries on the counter over here. The bed itself was very comfortable. They gave you three pillows and the king bed and it's a weird curtain design on the bed stand area. The carpet itself looks like it's been here since the 80s, so it's kind of faded and outdated. They even give you a nice little table here where you can put your laptop. There's two phones. I don't understand why there's two phones because they're kind of right next to each other. They even give you a call letting you know you can check out easily through your TV. All in all, there's one, two, three, four, five, six lamps in here. There's a huge vanity light around the mirrors in the bathroom area. This place is for broke college students and the youngins that can't afford staying on the strip and want to save some money and there are also a few other families that stay here because you know you want a bigger room for bigger families but honestly I wouldn't have my kids sleeping on this couch and the air conditioning was okay it was on and off when I woke up I was actually kind of cold so not bad so for $56 a night, I can't complain. I actually think this is better than the Strat because of its spaciousness. It's just so easy to get out of the parking lot. Today we are gonna try out Las Vegas' best buffet, according to me, Jay Cation. I've been here back in its reopening in 2021, about a year and a half ago. We're here in the very first day, but I wanna see how it is a year and a half later in December of 2022, going into 2023. I didn't have a reservation, but you can actually go on to Open Table and put yourself on the wait list. Now it's only me today, so I just did a reservation for one, and they said it's about 25 to 30 minutes. You just scan that QR code that I'm showing right now in the B-roll, and wait 25-30 minutes and you get in. Without a reservation on a Tuesday night, I wait about 30 minutes, so not bad at all. Let's see what they have to offer here at the best buffet in Las Vegas, according to me. There's a 90 minute limit here. It's $79.99 now. For $79.99, I am using the full 90 minutes and I am going to town here. Just got seated. Here's the lowdown. It's $79.99 for dinner, and that's for adults, and for kids, it's $39.99. When they do have lunch or breakfast, it's Friday to Sunday, and it's $64.99, and I think $29.99 for kids. Right now it's dinner, it's a Tuesday night, so it's $79.99. I paid more for this buffet than I did for my room stay here for one night here at Caesar's Palace. So that just goes to show how expensive it is. So let's go to town, guys, and let me give you a tour of the buffet itself. Usually what I'll do in these buffet videos is I'll give you the entire tour of the buffet, and then I'll grab my couple of rounds of food and dessert. We made it over to the seafood part of the buffet. It's kimchi, barbecue oysters, harissa, grilled octopus, and some shrimp and grits. And then this is the spicy seafood boil. Oh man, that looks amazing. And then you got your clarified butter right here. Over this way, you have some pen cove mussels, Jonah crab claws, and some Cortez clams right here. And then you got some Dungeness crab, some sweet shrimp cocktail, more crab, these are some lobster claws. You got your sea snails, the whelks. These are your Cajun poached prawns right here. And then you got your Cajun remoulade and some mignonette. You also got your California lemons, atomic horseradish, and cocktail sauce. All right guys, it's time to eat. We had to start off with the seafood because the seafood line is always cracking. I went with the shrimp cocktail. I got myself some 
Cajun prawns. If y'all haven't seen my Cajun food video yet from Lafayette, Louisiana, make sure you check that out right here. After this video, of course, and then I also got a lobster claw with some remoulade. Remoulade or remoulade? Comment down below. And some horseradish along with this kimchi oyster. And I'm gonna be drinking this all night. The ube or cha cha. This is gas. Straight gas. Oh man, that Don Pedro rum from the Philippines would work magic with this ube horchata. I'm loving the Filipino re representation here. After this seafood dish, we're gonna get some Filipino food. How about that? All right, here's the kimchi oyster. Time to go to town on that kimchi oyster. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thanks, Esteban. Oh, that's a really good oyster. I might have to come back and get some more of that kimchi oyster. Now time for some shrimp cocktail, of course. I'm gonna put it on that um, Cajun remoulade, remoulade, tomato, tomato. Mm. Can't forget the lemon. I'll just spritz the lemon on that. Put some of that hot horseradish on it, too. Look at that. That looks amazing, right? Mm. Oh yeah, that horseradish got kick, man. Oh, all right, now we got them prawns. And you got that Cajun Creole seasoning on it. Wow, love me some prawns, guys. All right, we're just gonna have to dig in, get that skin off. Also gonna dip that in the remoulade. Mmm, yes, please. Wow, I'm spending the entire 90 minutes here, guys. $79.99 plus tip. <laughs> we going to town, yo. Mm. Those prawns, legit fire. So is this shrimp cocktail. Mm. Now you know I struggle with cracking these lobster claws, but we're gonna do our best. They give us a little cracker here. Wash it down with the pube horchata. All right, we got a little bit of that lobster meat here. Mm, that moment you do get into the lobster, it's so good. Oh yeah, hands definitely getting dirty here in the seafood. I'm getting every bit of this lobster. One last shrimp cocktail and let's get to that Mexipino food. All right, we're gonna go in Mexipino style on this next round. We're gonna go with Mexican food, Filipino food. Let's do it. This looks like the Mexican station. You got your salsa, molcajete, chicharron, some guacamole, corn tortilla chips, habanero salsa, and some duros, which is chili and lime. And then over here, they got, oh, they got the ube horchata and the cranberry orange mimosa. And tequila. Yeah. Tequila, all right. Where's the tequila, man, in your pocket? It's in your pocket? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> you also got your uh, citrus peach mango. I'm getting some of that ube horchata, y'all already know. Continuing on with the Mexican station here. They got the shrimp tostada, the churros, the torta ahogada, chile torreados, Sonoran street dog, fried plantains, and duck carnitas quesadilla. Wow, look at that mini duck car carnitas. Here's the whole station, look at that. That is amazing. I'm gonna have to get some of these tacos. What's up, man, how you doing? Papas El Estadio Azteca. Hey, that's the stadium in Mexico City, right? Then you got your frijoles rancheros, some angiote, roasted chicken, arroz yucatecan, pozole rojo, and some warm corn tortillas over that way. Turning the corner, you got some pozole condiments, some ceviche campechano, some avocado gelato, and some ceviche pulpo. Grilled pork skewer. Oh, pork lumpia. There's your Filipino there. And also the lumpia sauce. You got the ensaladang kamatis sapatis. Oh, this is for sure Filipino. Look at this. Chinese roasted pork belly and lechon dipping sauce. Look at that. They got the mang tomas here. What's good? Wow. They really do represent the Philippines. That's why I love the Bacchanal so much. We're to plate number two. I have to take it light. So I only got one Mexican thing and that's the tacos. I have to get some Brussels sprouts too and the Filipino menu. I'm gonna take it light because it's high blood pressure city and they do have all the great sauces. They have the lechon mang tomas type sauce and they also got like a vinegary sauce for this Filipino barbecue stick. And they also got the crispy pata, the skin of it. And I put the vinegar and cilantro sauce on it. So let's start off with this. Oh, I couldn't even bite through this. I'm definitely not gonna get through the crispy pata there. Can't bite through it. We'll go with the pork, dip it in the mang tomas sauce. 
Oh, that's good. I usually put sriracha on the Filipino barbecue skewer. That is good too. Nice sweet glaze to it. Dad Cation makes a mean marinade for this barbecue pork skewers. Those are my favorite. If you ever try some of Dad Cation's, I'm telling you, he knows what he's doing. Alright, these ain't gonna work for me. Next up, we got the lumpia. I only got one. That is some tasty lumpia. I dip it with like a vinegary soy sauce. That's yummy. Now the Brussels sprouts. Mm. That's good. Round two of the ube horchata. I'm telling you, the ube horchata gets drained. They're always like constantly replacing it. They are real smart with ube horchata. Just wait till you guys see the ube dessert treats that they have. Can't wait to show you guys. But now let's try the crunchy taco here. Mm. Wow. This. This is fire. Oh, you gotta get this. You don't even need salsa. My oh my. I gotta try out some of the Asian food and I also gotta try out some of the meat. And that's next, round four. Let's go. I love me some lechon. And over here you got your different types of toppings. Then you get to your ancient grain salad, tricolor salad, Cleopatra salad, roasted beef salad, and hearts palm salad. Bloody Mary deviled egg over here. Burrata and sweet potato crostini. Caviar vol al vent. Truffle butter and chive butter. And then the different breads are over here. There's the whipped butter, but you also got your multi grain roll, walnut raisin, some crackers, some sourdough, and some white chocolate cranberry roll. And this is your charcuterie section. You have your different types of meats. You got some nuts over here and some raisins, some condiments, and your cheese board. Wow, you guys know I love that pungent cheese. So we're gonna come back for that. And then you got your fatouche salad, olives, feta cheese, carrots, sultana salad, and your naan bread and some of the dolmas right there. And then you got your crudite cup, some mez trio there's your capri salad your anti-pasta salad duck confit and hoisin meat lovers pizza some brie apple smoked salmon flatbread and some margarita pizza grandma's meatballs is over here with marinara sauce and garlic bread that looks amazing and over here is a pasta station where you can make pasta and then they got the petite pork shank some arancini oh you guys know I love arancini. I've had that over in the New York uh, festival before. Italian wedding soup, some crispy fried pennies, and some pan seared salmon, and uh, chicken pita. We are off to round three. This is a predominantly Italian dish. I went with the salmon pizza. I got one meatball. I got the antipasto salad with a mix of the capri salad because I love some mozzarella. I had to get the arancini ball, some charcuterie, so I had some pungent cheese with it and a couple of um, charcuterie meats. You know we're gonna have some cold cuts today. Let's start with the pungent cheese, how about that? Yeah. Who is a pungent cheese lover here on JK Chen? Comment down below. Mm, I love it. That's right, tasty. All right, so I mixed the antipasto salad and the caprice salad. This is the caprice. Mozzarella, mm, I love that. That's tasty, oh yeah. Mm. I'm always mixing in the greens. You know with the antipasto salad, you got some meats on there too, and some cheeses. Ooh, we made some pepperoncinis. Mm. Let's dig into this arancini. They also got some, like a yellowish sauce with it. And also got some cheese on here too. Let's dig in. Mm. You got like a sausage, pork, a pork sausage meatball, some of the rice and peppers in here. It's almost like a chipotle sauce. And this arancini is to die for. Mmm. Oh yeah. We gotta stay well balanced, right? I got myself some garlic bread too. More cheese. Mmm. Gotta keep going with the salad, guys. Mmm. So the salmon pizza, it just looked interesting. So let's try out the salmon pizza. Looks like there's onions with cheese. That is a decent salmon pizza. I dig. All right, this may be a vacation record. I might go for four rounds and then dessert, which is a total of five rounds. That's a record, guys. Mm. 
finally, let's go with the meatball here. Pretty good marinara sauce. Now, is it marinara or marinara? Tomato, tomato, like I said, but comment down below. Marinara or marinara? I usually say marinara. I'm gonna finish it off with the cold cut. This is the Asian section. Here is the stir fry vegetables, salt and pepper hamachi collar. You got Thai beef, General So's chicken, carved duck roast and fried rice, smoked char siu pork ribs, and that's over that way. Ginger and garlic clams, shiitake pot stickers, sesame rice rolls, crab rangoon. You got your different types of sauces, sweet and sour, probably some hot oil, and then you have your pork buns shrimp pargao and shomai over here. Over here you have your jap chai, some kalbi short ribs. Well, I'm definitely getting some of that. And then you also have all your assorted banchan, like pickled onion, Korean chicken over on the side over there, and some kimchi fried rice. Over here you got your spicy edamame, grilled shishito peppers, chilled edamame, and some steamed rice over there on the side. And this is their uh, poke section. You got your ahi tuna poke, lomi salmon poke, forbidden rice bowl. You also got your volcano roll, bacchanal nigiri, salmon box sushi, and vegan California roll. This is vegan chili, some vegan sweet potato mash, and some impossible burger stroganoff. Oh, you already know I'm gonna go for that. For that. And over in this section, you got the porchetta, some oven roasted turkey, and some truffle roasted chicken. They don't have the Brussels sprouts right now, but cauliflower and broccolini, vandovan roasted carrots. Oh, and there is your Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Over this way, you got the smoked fish potato salad, some iceberg wedge salad, and your butternut squash and quinoa salad. That is some creamy horseradish down the way. This is roasted bone marrow some Nashville chicken and waffles, some wood grilled lamb T-bone, and look at this section right here, your smoked brisket, your beef steamship, prime rib, and grilled tri-tip. You already know I'm gonna get some of that grilled tri-tip, guys. And they also got all the different sauces, the au jus, peppercorn sauce, and the barbecue sauce. You got smoked brisket, uh, this is all the same stuff, and glazed ham, cassoulet, some crispy chicken wings, truffled mashed potatoes, some smoked gouda cavatappi, steamed cream spinach, eat your greens, peas, edamame, and snap peas, southwestern roasted corn, lemon aioli, Cajun seasoning, butternut squash soup, some bacchanal sliders, and your barbecue train wreck fries. Whoa, I'm gonna get some of that. Round four, a J-Cation record. I went with some bone marrow, I got the prime rib, I got some of the smoked brisket, I got a calbi rib, some orange chicken, spicy edamame, pork bao bun, got some shomai, and a like a sweet and sour type of chicken with peppers on them. We are filling up here. Gotta leave room for that dessert, guys. This is a record, man. I probably packed out some pounds here. Let's try out the orange chicken. Mm, nice and crispy, nice crunchy, super good. I got some au jus sauce on the prime rib right here. Cheers. Yeah, that is tasty prime rib. The guy that was slicing it up convinced me to get both. I was only gonna get one or two. Let's try out this brisket now. Mm. And I did try the bone marrow last time. It comes with a little piece of bread. I got the smallest bone marrow you could get. Mm. Yes, please. I'm feeling this prime rib though, guys. Oh yeah, now let's get to the Asian food. Try the calbi here. That's tasty. Nice and sweet. I usually put sriracha on that, but today, can't always have sriracha. Let's go with the spicy edamame next. That's good. Here you go. Mm. All right, now some, some left of the shomai. I could eat a ton of these. But this number four, it's game over, guys. Try a little bit of a bao bun. Mmm, very sweet pork. All right, guys, I'm tapped out. I don't know how much more I can do. Let's move on to the dessert. Here's the dessert section. It's huge square. You got your blueberry cheesecake, your vegan passion fruit tapioca, vegan strawberry cake, gluten-free brownie domes, gluten-free pumpkin panna cotta, NSA Black Forest Mousse. Look at this, an array of exotic tropical cremeau. Ube, oh, I'm getting some of this, some of this ube chiffon cake. 
Reese's Pieces Moose. You got your fruits, your pineapple, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, delicious gala apples, pecan car caramel tart, and your mini chocolate donuts. And over here is the crepe station and they also got gelato and ice cream on the other side and more pastries around here. But there's a line for the ice cream right now. This is the berry cheesecake, your creme brulee, they got tiramisu, apple mousse, some lemon merengue tart, and green tea cheesecake over there in the end. You got your toppings for your gelato and ice cream. Ooh, they even have your egg tart. I don't know if that's like a Chinese or Portuguese one. They also got some cinnamon roll bread pudding, some chocolate lava cake, there's only one left. So that must be really good. And some pineapple upside down. Also on this side, they have some red velvet cake, some s'more bars, a berry shortcake, which I'm gonna get, and some big mini apple pies right here. Look at that. You guys know that I'm the biggest ice cream lover ever, but that line is a little too long. I'm already full. So I just got four pieces from the dessert aisle that I thought looked amazing. And I could have probably gotten more, but I have to try this ube. It's got like a yellow flower on the top. Look at that. Nice and creamy. Mm, very light. Ooh, and there's also some like cake to it here. I don't know if you can eat the flour, but there's also some cake in the bottom. Mm, very light ube dessert. On my way out, I'm gonna grab myself another ube horchata to end the night. Mm. And I also had to get some of this uh, this mini apple pie. Look super cute. Look at that mini apple pie right there. Man, all that's missing is some French vanilla ice cream. They also got some French vanilla in the bottom though. That's good. Mm. You also know I love the creme brulee. Let's see if we can get the crisp here. Ready? Very minimal crisp. Let's get some of this. When I was younger and my metabolism used to go a lot faster, I used to have like three or four of these. Rotation can do that nowadays. Me, I'm one and done. Finally, let's try out the strawberry shortcake here. Got some whipped cream on top. Some, like, some like mini berries. Yep, some mini red berries on top too. Ooh, it's like a moussey strawberry milk. I would definitely pick the ube over this. Creme brulee though. Fuego. All right, guys, I'm stuck. That's five rounds, including dessert. We're gonna call it a night here. Overall, I still think that the quality here at Bacchanal is second to none. I still like it over the wind buffet. I love how they represent the Filipino cuisine here. And they have my favorite ube delights for dessert and as a drink. $79.99 is stiff. I ain't gonna lie. But it's still full. People still come here. I only waited 30 minutes on a Tuesday on the wait list around 6 o'clock at night. Over my 90 minutes already, but it was two thumbs up. I still really enjoy Bacchanal. I'm always gonna come back for the ube. Alright guys, we just made it here to Paris. Gotta grab our room keys. I just checked in. I actually checked in on my phone. So they don't have digital room keys, but you gotta pick up your room keys. So I'm gonna show my QR code at the self-check-in and get our room keys. Fun fact, this is my dad's middle name. It's Napoleon. <laughs> what do you think of your bar, Marty? Nice. My kind of bar. Why is it looks, close? Looks like a dueling piano bar. Try singing your favorite Mariah Carey song while you watch. What up, bruh? Good, we're in the makeshift mirror room right now. <laughs> they just verify your driver's license and I think a credit card. They give you a room assignment slip and our room keys will follow, so that's it. We're good. Alright, so they told us our room and we got our room keys. We have arrived to party. What's up JKationers? Welcome to our room here at Paris, Las Vegas. First off, we're just here at a two queen bedroom. First things first, these aren't our locks. So they didn't find this last guest's lock down here in the ground. So very nice decor. I like the different oval-esque type carpet. It's really nice. I like the headboard. It's really cool. And then you got your 
Paris Bon Chance right there. Really cool frame. And then over here, you got your circular sun mirror and a nice working space. They give you an ice bucket so you can uh, keep your drinks cold. Hopefully there's a fridge in here. Let's see. Um, you got your TV here. Hopefully I can plug an HDMI cable into the TV. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, we have a fridge. Is it empty? And it's empty. Yes. Sorry Park MGM, but Paris already has one up on you because they have a fridge. And it's nice and cool in there. And then you have a nice little safe, extra pillows, and your closet rack with a nice mirror. So you can check yourself out a little bit. You got the drawers, your ironing board and your iron, along with more hangers and, and a luggage stand that will come in handy for you. Now let's turn around this other way. And this is the bed stand, really nice bed stand. Really nice and clean. Three drawers, usually it's only like two drawers. Awesome lamp with the red post. And a cool cube digital clock with your phone. And then you got your TV remote. What I didn't like here is that they didn't give you a care package of masks and hand sanitizer like they did over at Park MGM. Now that was a plus over at the Park MGM. But you know what, I'll happily sacrifice that actually for the refrigerator, so let's go. Really cool, so we got two beds. And then check this out guys. You can just kick it here in the morning. Boom. What's up? This is a really nice room. We're actually just overlooking. Oh, you can see partial fountains. Oh, look, there's some partial fountainage over there. Partial. Wow, we can see it, yeah. Partial. Partial's partial. And that's Bally's right there. You got Dre's and the Flamingo. So pretty decent view. And I actually think this room was about 60 bucks a night. Pretty good deal though. Like I was gonna, I was actually going to book a place over at Planet Hollywood, but when I saw Paris was a, lot, a little cheaper, I decided to stay here in Paris. We can get around to Caesar's Palace, Bellagio, Flamingo, and all that. Now let's go into the bathroom. All right, so here, here we are in the bathroom. Ooh, it's actually really nice. I like it. Cool mirror right here. Nice little shape with the red border. Pretty sweet. Uh, you also got a bathtub and shower right here. So if Joe wants to take a bubble bath, you can take a bath bomb and throw it in there and then take a shower after. So that's nice. And then of course you got King Louis XIV's throne. If y'all know what I'm saying. Nice bathroom. And then you got your little compartments with the towels uh, and the hair dryer. You got your hair dryer right here. And a really clean sink. Yeah, soap, conditioner, shampoo, everything you need. And then Nice little frame of a mini Eiffel Tower and, a, and the real Eiffel Tower. I know where this is. This is in uh, Trocadero. We've been to Trocadero, Joel. We've taken some bomb pits over there in the past. Yeah. That's the uh, room tour of Paris, Las Vegas. Now let's go downstairs and check out Beer Park. Alright JK Shinners, if you're finding value in this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute this video throughout YouTube. Please make sure to subscribe to JK Shin as I have tons of Vegas, San Diego, and world travel content to come. And a lot of Vegas especially. So stay tuned. I also do live streams once a week. Let's get back to the Paris Las Vegas video. Alright JK Shinners, we're headed over to Beer Park which is downstairs overlooking the Bellagio Fountains. It's a really cool restaurant here at Paris. We're gonna grab a late dinner tonight. You get the fountains in the back. A red solo cup cup, like come on, it don't get better than that. Like. Red solo cup. Hi JK Shinners, we're here at Beer Park. I got the Agua del Diablo 23 ounce. Nice little Mexican lager, pretty good taste too. Since you're at Beer Park, you gotta try out their beers for sure. And what I really like about this place is that you can watch the Bellagio Fountains. We're actually seated, seated right behind it. You can actually see it in my background when the show's actually going on. And Mati just got a regular 16 ounce Budweiser. The Beer Park's actually owned by Budweiser. As you guys can see, the Bellagio Fountains are going on behind me. Now, here at Beer Park, you can do reservations ahead of time online. I made our reservations at 10 p.m because I knew we were gonna be eating a late dinner. I actually did all my reservations for all the places we're eating this week, a week or two ahead of time, just to ensure that we have a spot at the allotted time. So yeah, I'm definitely on a schedule. 
really serious about filming these videos and getting them out to you here on YouTube. So make sure you guys are liking this video. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Jello said that these plates are cool because they're like paper plates, but they're not. They're actually plastic plates. We got the fish and chips, and then we got the grilled brisket cheese sandwich right here with some uh, crinkle cut fries. You got your tartar sauce, your tartar sauce, your vinegar, ketchup, and lemon. Good stuff. We're gonna sprinkle the lemon all over this. All right guys, so we're gonna try out the fish. Put a little tartar sauce on it. Oh yeah, that's good. We got the fish and chips. Pretty good fish and chips. What's going on, Jaycation? Um, I kind of already ate some of my brisket sandwich, but it was really good. Meat was crispy, and uh, cheese melts in your mouth with the bread green crunchy as well. Very schmacking, not gonna lie. Also got some buffalo sauce on the side. And even though we had meat and brisket earlier and a bunch of ribs, I'm still in the mood for some brisket. I try with the buffalo. Smacking. Mm. All right, let me get a piece of this brisket action. Let me get some of your hot sauce. Let me get some of that hot sauce. Oh yeah. Your house-made buffalo sauce is house is nice and tangy, and this grilled cheese is on point. Oh yeah. One thing that's really cool about Beer Park is that it's a very picturesque place. When you have the fountains going off, make sure you're over by that balcony taking some pictures. And you also got a nice little angle of the Eiffel Tower. So, Instagrammers, take your pictures here. All right, Jello, what did you think, man? Beer, beer Park, that was a pretty good uh, brisket grilled cheese. It's a very unique sandwich. 10 out of 10 for sure. And yeah, the views are really nice over here too. Especially at the, uh, all, this, all the scenery. Yeah, you get the Eiffel Tower behind you, and then you get the Bellagio Fountain. It's definitely worth checking out while you're here at the Paris. Go get me some of these sippy cups though. All right, Jigationers, we're about to hop into our four series convertible. Shout out to SD Cruising Rentals. Now, I got a special deal for y'all. You save 15% off your entire booking with SD Cruising Rentals if you use the promo code JCATION when you do your rental on their website. So go check it out, promo code down below. Now let's get the top down and cruise the strip. Let's ride. Check it out, it's my boulangerie. Also, Jigationers, make sure you check out my video on Mon Ami Gabi. It's a separate video because it was such a good spot that it deserved its own video. We're here at the pool right now. You overlook the Eiffel Tower. Check that out in the background. Now, we didn't get a chance to go in here, but this is it, and you can actually take a picture in front of that frame right there where Madi's standing. And uh, yeah, they have a pool, a chapel, and a gym over here. So if you wanna use all those facilities, you can go ahead and do that. Now, I wanna give you guys a little disclaimer here too. If you're gonna be connecting to the internet, you can only use a total of two devices total in your room, or else anything past that, you get $14.99 a day charged to your hotel room automatically. They won't even like give you a warning. There might be a little fine print, when you're connecting, but yeah, that's just something you need to be aware of because when you check out, you'll see all these random $14.99 charges and you're like, what? And then you realize that you're with a few other people and it's more than two devices that are connected, which is unfortunate. So just uh, be aware of that. Another thing that I love about staying in Paris is that it's right across the street from the Miracle Mile shops. So you can hop over and get your cheap eats at the Miracle Mile shops at like La Salsa for breakfast or Ocean One for lunch. Check out my video on cheap eats in Planet Hollywood. That should be coming up. All right, Jake Asianer, so that will do it here from Paris, Las Vegas. It was a really great three nights. 
I love the fridge. The room is actually really spacious and comfortable. It was uh, nice and soundproof too. Like we didn't hear the neighbors or anything like that. Uh, the beds were comfortable. And yeah, there was just a lot of space to move around with my dad and my little bro here. We really loved going around Paris, JJ's Boulangerie. They got Napoleons downstairs. And then hopefully the buffet downstairs opens up because it's really beautiful. It looks like a uh, little French village, like the Alsace region. Would I stay at the Paris, Las Vegas again? The answer is 100% yes. We had a great time. We tried out Beer Park. You can see beautiful views of the Bellagio fountains. And then we ate breakfast at Mon Ami Gabi. They gave us huge portions and we actually really liked the Eggs Benedict that they had over there. Yes, stay at Paris Las Vegas, two thumbs up for 60 plus bucks a night on the weekdays. That's a really good deal. Now it goes up on the weekend, so just check out the rate calendar. And if you have your Caesars Rewards account, you can get better deals through that account. So make sure you sign up for Caesars Rewards. It's totally free. All right, Jake Asianer, so it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. We got reservations about a week ago online for Mon Ami Gabi. They were gonna seat us inside, and it's a nice day out, so we wanted to wait for the uh, outside. We're gonna be seated outside. They'll text us when we're ready. So if you're looking for reservations at Mon Ami Gabi, make sure you do it ahead of time. All right, JK Shiners, we're starting off with some coffee. I also ordered a mimosa. Now, we're all just ordering our own plates. I think I might go with either an Eggs Benedict or an omelet. I think Jello's going with a crepe. What are you going with, Madi? I'm thinking about corned beef hash and poached egg, but I'm debating whether to get that or the ham and eggs omelet. I'm thinking about getting the chocolate hazelnut waffle actually. See how that goes. How many times have you been to the real Paris? I've been twice to the real Paris, fortunately. But hopefully this uh, waffle lives up to its expectations. <laughs> so there's a lot of outdoor seating, but they also have an indoor part that's pretty bright. But the inside inside is kind of dark. We decided to eat outside. The weather is nice out here. We got our coffee. You scan the QR code to check out the menu. Now it's only 10.20 so we can still have our breakfast here at Mon Ami Gabi so we're excited about having some breakfast. They also have a daily crepe du jour. You just ask your waiter and they'll actually tell you exactly what they have to offer. I think they have two different types today. I think Jello's is going to go with the one that's prefixed in the menu. Alright guys, we're starting off with some coffee. <sighs> Gotta wake up. Gotta wake up so I can think better. <laughs> I ended up getting the spicy sausage benedict. I can't say the French word that I'm gonna put right down here, so I'm not even gonna try to butcher it. Yeah, I ended up with that and hash browns. Madi got the corned beef hash, and Jello got some crepes, so we're excited to try that out. And I wanted to cheers you guys because we're about to hit 30,000 subscribers. We might have hit it by now because this video was posted a little later. So I got a mimosa, cheers. Love mimosas. Great breakfast beverage. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to JK yet, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get updates on my latest videos. I have a library of Las Vegas videos that I'm building along with a full library of San Diego content and more to come. So stay tuned. I do food, travel, a bunch of other things. So cheers to 30K subs. Here's to more. And thank you everybody for your support. Uh, I just got some coffee. I ordered a chocolate hazelnut Nutella waffle my whole life. I practically would be eating Nutella waffles. Yeah, let's get it going. So I got the spicy andouille sausage benedict. Yeah, I said it, andouille. Looks good, comes with a side of tomatoes. I also got some hash browns here. And I really love the mini Tabasco sauce bottles that they give you here. This is so cool. I should have this in my bag, swag. So you got the spicy andouille sausage on top of an English muffin with chives and eggs. Oh, it is so good. Nutella waffles, you feel me? Not Belgian. <laughs> like French waffles. We got the chocolate hazelnut waffles from Mon Ami Gabi. I'm very hyped to see how these are. They look amazing and way better than an Eggo waffle. So, give it a taste. 
I'm hyped to try this. So uh, let's go. I don't know how to approach this. The butter's right there. Hold up. That's the butter. Alright. Cheers, guys. Mm. That is fantastic. The Nutella really be hidden with a crispy waffle. Fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. Corned beef is good. It's what cooked this right. I got two eggs on top of it. Some potatoes, tomatoes, and rosa. And you have the bread, butter, good. And the small tomatoes, or the cherry tomatoes, are pretty sweet. Alright guys, we're about to get into the spicy sausage and due eggs benedict. Oh, that's so good. You could taste the butter and the spicy sausage is so mm. mix it up with the tomatoes. That hits the spot guys. Wow. That's some really good spicy and due sausage. Yum. We also got some of that ketchup right here. We got the hash browns. Mm. Yep. I can see why people love Monami Gabi and this place is always cracking. Pretty good food. Wow. Cherry tomatoes are really good, huh? My... Now, I'd also like to try the steak and frites sometime, but this is a really perfect place to do a breakfast video in Las Vegas. So we got some uh, jam with toast. Just simple little basic, but you know, they've been telling me it's, it's gas, so gotta give it a shot. That is indeed fire. That was very good. <laughs> Absolutely. That is indeed fire. Everything <laughs> sweet. You'll eat anything sweet. Ever since he was... Ever since he was a baby, he was like sweet. <laughs> sweet. What is that uh, baby food? Ger Gerber? Gerber? Gerber. That was amazing. That was schmacking. Uh, my waffles were on point. They were crispy. The Nutella even added it. I love Nutella. You know what I'm saying? The views are amazing as well. Like It, it just adds on to what an amazing experience it was, man. I'm trying to figure out what this place used to be. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Thanks guys! Orlando. 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 Thanks fellas. You guys have a Much good love. one. <laughs> yeah, Yo, what's up guys? We're here in our SD Cruiser rental, the 4 Series BMW convertible passing Caesars Palace on the Las Vegas Strip. Take 15% off your SD Cruiser and Randall with the promo code JCATION. Oh, shit. I know. All right, JCationer, so that was Monami Gabi. I definitely give it a two thumbs up. Recommend it. They have great portions. We love the spicy andouille sausage here. Also, the corned beef hash was amazing, and Jello just smashed his waffles. So they do have some Christmas decorations here at Planet Hollywood, here at the registration desk. The registration desk has always been a challenge for me to find, but it's actually here where they drop you off, where Uber dropped me off. So if you're looking for it, it's downstairs from the casino. Check it out, they got Carlo's Bake Shop here from Hoboken, New Jersey. They got the popular rainbow cake, so if you're looking for them, they're right here in front of Earl's Sandwich. Love you, Jackie, bro. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Rosie, what's up, bro? Man, not much, man. 
We are, we are here in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, old Chargers, baby. Old you already Charger know. life. <laughs> All right, brother. All right, Good to see, see you, man. Yep. Dude, that's an old friend of mine, Darren Sproles, number 43. What a beast he was in the NFL. Shout out to Sprolesy. Just ran right into him, walking down the strip. The hotel lobby here at Planet Hollywood is so hard to find, but here it is. It's the back part of the casino. Hey, cool. You don't need to use your room key to use the elevator. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but let's check out the room. Alright, vacationers, made it to the room, but before we show you the hotel room, I'm gonna eat this holiday turkey, the other half that I didn't finish. And I'm telling you, this is good cold, so it's still money in the bank, and I still got that Tabasco. I'm gonna enjoy this and let's go off to the room review. Definitely can hear housekeeper towel carts or just carts up above me. Apparently, I'm guessing this is where the housekeeping is right above me in the ceiling and it's super loud. I hope it only happens during the day because I won't be able to sleep if I hear rolling all night. Hopefully, we'll see. I was about to call the front desk and switch rooms because that rolling is kind of annoying. All right guys, so bad news. You know how I like to stay positive, but I also like to stay real. I checked into this room, super nice room. I'll show you all the B-roll of it um, later on when I show you all the amenities of the room, but the elevator is making the loudest sound and I don't think I can get through the night with how loud this elevator is. So I called them and they're like, oh, you have to go downstairs. So hopefully they change my room. Try not to get a room by the elevator because it's loud. It sounds like somebody's rolling a towel cart above me. It's crazy. Yeah, just to tell you exactly what's going on and, and the realness, look. That's loud. Uh-uh. I'm gonna go down and nicely see if they can change it. If not, I'll be kind of disappointed. That's a loud sound, guys. The Filipino guy down in the front desk was pretty nice because he was able to switch me rooms just across the hallway. So now I just gotta pack up my stuff and move room. Crisis averted. So they switched me over to a two bedroom just down the hall. Thanks for doing that. I really appreciate it. Shout out to the mga Pinoy for hooking it up. I wouldn't have been able to sleep with that noise happening every two minutes. Got a double bed and just gonna relax for a little bit. We're gonna continue on with the tour of Planet Hollywood. I'll show you the pool and all that other good stuff and maybe eat some dinner. Although I think Gordon Ramsay Burger might be closed. That's gotta be the Miracle Mile Shops right there. Nice little circular dome, so that's gotta be part of it at least. And then you got Ellis Island down the way. All right, vacationers, if you're finding value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. I have plenty of Las Vegas, San Diego, and world content to come. So stay tuned and now back to the video for what to expect when staying over at the Planet Hollywood in 2021-2022. So Jaycationers, this is a sign why I should never gamble. Before I went on my 50K celebration live stream, and thank you by the way for all 50,000 Jaycation Nation for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate that, much love. Before I went on live, I bet on the Lakers 25 bucks, not much, but it was 25 bucks. They won the game, I'm happy. And I said the over. The over is 219 and a half points total. The game ended at 219 points. What the? Well, at least I'm staying at a hotel where the Cheap Eats is known for. And on Tuesdays, instead of Taco Tuesdays, Taco Tuesdays, instead of Taco Tuesdays, I'm here at Ketchup. They have two for one hot dogs premium hot dogs, so I got two hot dogs here. It'll make up for losing this bet. All right, Jaycationers, so I'm ending my day here at Ketchup. They got the Crunch Dog, and then I got the Vegas Dog. Comes with fries. Probably gonna be able to eat one, but I'll take it back to the room. They gave me some buffalo sauce. Yummy. All right, let's get into the Crunch Dog. Wow. That's yummy. Crunchy onions, this is a good hot dog. That's super yummy. Vegas hot dog has relish on it. I'm not a relish fan, but I'll still eat it. That's a good deal, $14.09. This is only uh, for Tuesdays. All right, let's try the Vegas dog. Onions, ketchup, relish, sauerkraut, mustard. 
That's a good dog. Thumbs up on these two. Two for one premium dogs on Tuesdays. Yeah. Good morning, JKationers. I need a little coffee in me before we start this hotel review of Planet Hollywood. Now, I did get switched over to a two queen room because of that noise. I don't usually complain and try to be extra about things, but at least I had a really good night's sleep here tonight, uh, last night. So I definitely wouldn't have had that good night's sleep by that elevator. And I talked to one of the workers um, that was coming in to clean the room when I switched over and he was like, yeah, a lot of people asked to switch. So it's not new. So they should just block that room out maybe. I don't know. All right, let's go get some coffee. You guys won't believe this. I went to get my caramel brulee latte here at Starbucks. Now there's two Starbucks. There's one here in the bottom floor across from registration and there's one in the casino floor across from Gordon Ramsay Burger. Gordon Ramsay Burger unfortunately is close to due to renovations. The caramel brulee latte was nine dollars. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, JK Shitters. I just got taught a lesson about how not to save in Vegas. So it's good that you guys are watching me learn these lessons as we go along. But I got my beautiful Starbucks with the red cup. The caramel brulee latte was $9.30. Yo! I was like, you know how I usually gauge the Starbucks line or the coffee line at the hotels? The coffee line here was only like four or five people deep and I could see why it was only four or five people deep. Nine bucks and they don't display the prices on the menu. I should have known. I should have asked what the price was before I bought this. But I thought it would only be like, you know, I know caramel brulee latte is not cheap. So it'd be like five or six bucks. But nine dollars plus? What? Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this. I learned my lesson. Back to just doing the Grande Pikes Place Market Blend in the morning. One caramel brulee latte. I was like, yo, that's like buying a cocktail at the club. Anyways, guys, yeah, that's another thing you can do to save. Well, they don't have a, a tea kettle or something where you can heat your water and make instant coffee. But if you brought instant coffee and found out a way to get hot water, that could be a way to save. The caramel brulee latte is good, though. And I substituted it with oak milk because oat milk helps me. So I'm not gonna do a whole segment about the Miracle Mile shops because I have a Cheap Eats video where I do try La Salsa Cantina and next door, the big burrito over at, oh, I can't even think of the name, Blondie's, there we go, over at Blondie's. See, I need to have all this $9 coffee in me before I can start thinking. But Miracle Mile shops is awesome. It's a circular mall and in the middle of the mall is a huge theater where Shania Twain performs. In the past, my girl Britney Spears has performed over there. I never realized that that theater is in the middle. It's kind of hidden. I'm going to go into my favorite store, Key Australia. I heard there's a BOGO going on right now, so I'm going to pick up some uh, maquiches. Keep them stylish. Let's go. Holy crap, that line to La Salsa Cantina is crazy and Blondie's is pretty cracking too. I guess you can thank my videos and Norma Ellie's videos for their business because we're getting a lot of views on those videos and a lot of people are like, dude, we tried these places and they're awesome. That burrito's huge. That's what she said. Check these videos out down below. So attitude, I bought my $99 friggin' fedora cap, my Bruno Mars cap back a couple months ago. I still rock it. And if you guys are wondering where I get these awesome LV aviators hats, which is the AA team of the Oakland A's that play at Las Vegas Stadium over in Summerlin. Most lids here in Vegas have these LV hats. So if you're into getting one of these, check it out. These are a must, guys. These are a must. So a little tip. Coffee Bean doesn't price gouge like Starbucks does here in Planet Hollywood. You want cheaper coffee? Go to Coffee Bean. Right next to Key Australia. I just picked up three pairs of shades. Actually, no, I got two shades and a blue light eyeglasses, which I use for editing, helps the strain on my eyes. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, ran vacationers? Into a, ran into a couple of Vegas YouTubers. You guys want to plug the channels? Uh, OnlyFans at superslasvegas.com. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put that in there, right? I can. Yeah, okay. He can. I will. <laughs> Patreon Las Vegas and... No, I'm kidding. YouTube, Las Vegas and Beyond. Appreciate it. Las Vegas and Beyond. He does some great cinematography. Go check him out. Filipino brother. That's right. We don't speak Tagalog. We speak no, we English. don't. We... 
<laughs> Alright, fellas, All right. let's be running in y'all's. Be sure to subscribe to Jaycation because I know you already do. Hey, much love. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Congratulations on 50k. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Cool time, baby. Alright, so we're back in the room. So whenever Key Australia does their BOGO, I do a little shopping over there because it's buy one get one for 65 bucks. They came out with some dope styles, so I just had to. I got these like rectangular shades. I got these like diamond shades. Yo, these are dope. Oh, you'll see them. You'll see me wear them eventually. And I got some blue light shades because I edit these videos so much that uh, it actually works out to where I have to wear these while I'm editing because uh, it helps with eye strain. Went to pick up some shopping over at the Miracle Mile shops. One thing you can do over here. So the pool is closed during this time of year. Wow, it's not even that cold. It's nice and sunny outside. That sucks, but yeah, the pool is closed this time of year. So unfortunately, we can't give you a pool review. I'm gonna finish this. <sighs> Damn, $9 coffee. This is the only caramel brulee coffee I'm gonna buy all winter long and the only red cup I'm gonna buy all winter long. So just wait till I'm at the Mirage because that's the next hotel review I'm gonna be doing. I'm probably gonna get Starbucks again. <laughs> we'll see. All right, now it's time to sit down and give you a nice little hotel room review. The rooms here are definitely moderately sized. You get a decent amount of space, especially in a queen bedroom. And it's really cool that I actually did go to that room, the king bedroom that has the loud elevators because I actually got my B-roll from that before I moved here. So you're not gonna see much B-roll at this uh, queen bedroom, maybe a couple of shots. I like it, there's a ton of desk space. They give you a nice refrigerator, which doesn't have, you know, the, the bar where you have to, where it's weight censored. You can put your own personal belongings in this fridge, which is awesome. They have the ABC stores downstairs, which is what I use to fill up because I don't have a car right now. They have three drawers here and a huge closet with plenty of wooden hangers. If you needed to do laundry or dry cleaning while you're here, they have that, but it's a little more pricey. You have your standard iron and ironing board, standard safe, luggage holder over that way. So that's pretty cool. In this queen bedroom, they have little stools uh, in front of the beds with a uh, tabletop where you can actually eat or vlog if you want, like I do. And I like the decoration. They have uh, pretty cool stylish frames over here with a fist and an artist that looks like Nelly with mascara on. <laughs> That's the best I could uh, do to describe it. Nice TV, it got all the amenities on the TV, it says your name and all that. And then over here, you have a nice little dining table with two chairs, really comfortable. That's where I was doing some editing and uploading all these videos and all this footage. And the bathroom is really cool. I really like the bathroom. The bathroom, you got a bathtub, the toilet is in its own separate little room and the shower is a walk-in shower, huge sink, nice square lighted vanity mirror, and the sink is nice and clean. They give you really cool uh, toiletries. This room, thank you to the person that switched me over because I knew that could have been easy, could have just said no, just deal with the elevator noise. That wouldn't have been good. They also have a lot of uh, outlets and stuff over here, uh, USB chargers as well, so you can use wall outlets and then they also have a lamp here that has USB hooks. You have your ice bucket so you can go down the hall and get your ice. The bed stand, you have your phone which you can call down to the front desk if you're right next to the elevator and you can hear it. It sounds like rolling laundry and a nice cube alarm clock and another drawer there and the drawers here are nice and spacious. All in all, I like the Planet Hollywood hotel room. I wish I could do the pool maybe this summer. Uh, maybe if uh, John Barr comes back to Vegas, we can stay here at Planet Hollywood and then I can give you the review of the pool as well. We're just gonna have to settle for what I showed you today, a little shopping over at Miracle Mile. And Gordon Ramsay Burger is closed right now and I've always wanted to try it. So eventually we're gonna have to come back and try Gordon Ramsay Burger. I forgot the important part. The important part is I am staying here from a Tuesday to a Wednesday in December. The price I paid was $15 for the base hotel room fee and then the $45 resort fee. So I paid $62 in total for this one night stay here at Planet Hollywood. 62 bucks midweek and usually you can get deals like this in the off season and in midweek. I have a Caesars Rewards 
but my tier level is the first tier level. So I noticed when you get to the second tier level, your prices get even lower. So make sure you sign up for Caesars Rewards and M Life Rewards because M Life, I jumped to the second tier because I've been staying more at the MGM Resorts. And now that I'm at second tier, my room stay at the Mirage, which I'm reviewing next, was super cheap than what it used to be when I was in the level one tier. So check it out. We'll talk more about that in the next video when I review the Mirage. One more note, just like in Paris, every Caesars property alt as well is your first two Wi-Fi devices are free. Now, if you link a third device or more, it's $14.99 per 24 hours. So make sure you're aware of that, especially if you're with a family or with other people and that have more than two devices, you're gonna get charged $14.99. And don't be surprised if you see that on your hotel bill on the way out. So. Make sure you're only connecting two devices if you wanna not pay for Wi-Fi. Curious for how much Pepsi, Sierra Mist, Gatorade, or Aquafina is? It's about three bucks in the vending machine. Right next to your ice machine. And I'm literally, my room is this right here, 1928. Couldn't even hear this, so that's good. It was nice and quiet. Quick story about Shania Twain. When I was a teenager and the Super Bowl was in San Diego at good old Qualcomm Stadium. She performed along with No Doubt, and I was an extra runner up to the stage, like one of the fans that runs up to the stage when they play the new song, and she sings like Feel Like a Woman, and she high-fived me during one of the rehearsals. So I always remember that because Shania Twain gave me that high-five while I was in the crowd. A little story to tell you about Miss Shania over here. I love her, and she still looks good. Wow. All right, JK Shinners, I'm just gonna have to close out this video here in the room. Now, there are plenty of cheap eats here in Planet Hollywood, although I got that $9 Starbucks, but I found out that the coffee bean is regular prices, so make sure you check out the coffee bean. They have a lot of cheap eats here. So we are here for cheap eats at Planet Hollywood. We are at La Salsa Cantina, where they have a cheap two eggs any style for $4.79, and it comes with your choice of ham, bacon, or sausage, and it comes with flour tortillas, or Texas toast, or Southwest potatoes. All right, so they're really quick over here. We literally were seated right away. Now, if you're with somebody under 21, which Jello is 18, they put you in a different section, but you can still order alcohol if you want. They just, that's how they keep track. We got three coffees, and then we got the 4.79 breakfast meal. I got a two eggs, any style as well. But I got ham and I got flour tortillas with it. I got the same thing as JJ, but I got over easy eggs, an extra order of toast. They also have other great deals here, like 99 cent Bloody Marys, and then like specialty drinks with liquor in it, like Bailey's and coffee, for like 4.79 as well, or 4.99 as well. All right, guys, so we're having their coffee here. Oh yeah, it'll do its job for sure. It's your normal coffee. We got the uh, two eggs, sunny side up. We got the tortilla with sausage. I obviously, for $4.79, you're always gonna have to add the condiments, so I'm gonna put some ketchup on here. Also, you got that hot sauce on that bag, swag. So they basically give you a sausage patty with tortilla. You know what, Let's since we're here, let's do it Mexican style and put the sausage in the tortilla. We'll put the potatoes in, throw some Tabasco in there. We'll just dip it in the ketchup. Tortilla is a little stiffer. It's pretty good. You got your Mexican style potatoes, so get your small cubes of potatoes. You can get the Tabasco mixed with it. And then the sausage is, uh, it's very McDonald's sausage McMuffin like. Yeah, this will do the job. We got our eggs with it. Yeah, you can't beat that for $4.79. That's yummy. Let's see what Jello thinks. I uh, just had a tortilla with ham, potatoes, egg, a little, uh, little bit of tapatio to it. Cholula, four seventy nine. That's a really good deal. You definitely can't beat that. Like, gets the job done. For four seventy nine, you can't beat this. This is even better than McDonald's. And McDonald's spent ten bucks. All right, Jacationer. So all in all, four seventy nine. It's gonna fill you up. Now, is it the best meal ever? Let's just say it'll do. It'll do the job. Like for four seventy nine, no complaints here. I feel good, and it's actually a really good meal. You can't find that anywhere else. Like like Madi said, 
you'll be spending 10 bucks at McDonald's for your sausage McMuffin and your hash browns and coffees. All right, JKationers, if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I have a Las Vegas library that I'm building as well as a San Diego library uh, full of stuff already, but I'm gonna be continuing the post stuff here in Las Vegas and in San Diego. And when the world starts opening up, you'll start seeing stuff from Hawaii and maybe back in Barcelona, so stay tuned. Now back to the Cheap Eats video here in Planet Hollywood. La Salsa Cantina is one of the Cheap Eats here in Planet Hollywood. Now on to the next Cheap Eats here in TH. So next up on the list of Cheap Eats here in Planet Hollywood is Garrett's Popcorn. Now this is a Chicago based spot. Now you don't have to go to Chicago, the Chicago airport to get it. You can just go here to Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. So let's go right behind me and try out some Garrett's Popcorn. All right guys, so me and Jello are here at Garrett's. We're gonna just get the small. I'm gonna try their Buffalo Ranch popcorn. And I'm gonna try the almond caramel crisp. We'll see how that turns out. Yeah, you can usually only get this in Chicago, but they have it here in Vegas, so check it out. Another cheap eat. Yes, sir. Got a almond caramel crisp, $6.49. Pretty good deal. So I kind of couldn't wait till we got back to the hotel. I really wanted to try this because it seemed really good. So let's give it a shot. Look at this guy. Classic caramel with the almonds on it. Amazing. Another thing I wanted to mention here, it's not exactly a cheap eats, but for the restaurant and the chef, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay Burger is here in Planet Hollywood and you can actually get something that's a little more affordable, like a cheeseburger for like 18 bucks or something like that. So. Gordon Ramsay Burger here at PH is pretty affordable. So the next spot on the list for cheap beats in Planet Hollywood is Blondie's. They have a really cheap breakfast for $3.99. I'll show you exactly what you can get for that $3.99 price. Let's go inside. We're here at Blondie's. Now they have the $3.99 breakfast here. Usually it's $12.99 for this big burrito, but it's $3.99 Monday to Friday from 7 to 11 a.m. Now mention the $3.99 special Monday to Friday from 7 to 11, and you'll get a choice of either the traditional breakfast or the big burrito. I went with the big burrito because we just did the traditional breakfast over at La Salsa. Let's try it out. I also got a coffee. I gotta wake up. It's about eight in the morning on a Friday here. You know, in Vegas, wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of Jameson in this, right? So the big burrito comes with scrambled eggs, sausage, ham, jack and cheddar cheese, country potatoes, and pico de gallo, all wrapped in a warm tortilla. The salsa and sour cream comes with it as well. All right, guys, let's try out the big burrito. Lots of potatoes, lots of eggs, nice ham. Oh, this is actually a tasty burrito. Everything's great, yeah, thank you. All right, this is really tasty. Oh yeah. That's the winner, for sure. I'll add a little tapatio to it too. Yeah, definitely recommend this for $3.99. So over here in Blondie's, they also got like $5 shots, tons of specialty drinks, tons of TVs. So if you're trying to watch your favorite baseball team, MLB team, NFL, Blondie's is a great spot. They even have like souvenir cups. Check it out, it's a pretty good spot. I didn't even realize that they have $2.99 Bloody Marys and $7 mimosas. Mimosas could be a little cheaper, right? Let's flash forward to later this afternoon to JJ at Taco Bell Cantina. This is reminding me of Barcelona because they have like an order kiosk but they have slushies with Sky Vodka in it. This is awesome. We're gonna try this out. Hi, Jukationers. It wouldn't be a cheap piece video here in Planet Hollywood without trying the Taco Bell Cantina. Now in Barcelona, 
I was doing lunches over at the Taco Bell in Barcelona when it first opened by Plaza Catalunya. After work, I would go straight to that Taco Bell, get two tacos, and get a beer and just enjoy it. Here in America, it's not very common to have alcohol at a Taco Bell, but the Taco Bell Cantina has it. They sell shirts here, they sell slushies here. I got the blueberry slushie. This is $9.99. That's a lot of money for this, but there's vodka in it. And then I just got a crunchy taco. I'm not that hungry, so crunchy taco is about $1.89. Well, let's try out the blueberry. Oh yeah. It's like an icy blueberry with sky vodka in it. I had to try out Taco Bell Cantina for sure. Back with the Diablo sauce. I've never tried this Diablo sauce yet. Like I said, I just went with one crunchy taco. We gonna turn this all the way up. Turn that heat all the way up. Cheers. It's hot. It's nothing crazy hot though. So the Diablo sauce definitely hits after. It has a delayed response, but it's not bad. I'd do it again. That's what she said. Another great cheap eats here at Planet Hollywood is ketchup burger bar. They have two for one hot dog Tuesdays. It's really good. Four dollar drafts on Bud Light every day. Five dollar tall boys. Five dollar shots. Really cheap hot dogs. Hot dogs are amazing. Their burgers are amazing. If you want to see a thorough review on this, go over to Norma Helly's channel. Y'all know her. She did a thorough review here with Here Be Bar. I'll link it down in the description box below. Next cheap eats is Earl of Sandwich. Let's flash back to when I had lunch here with Jeff just a month ago from JK Stay in Vegas. Shout out to them. I am here with Jeff from JK Stay in Vegas. What's up, man? How you doing, Jay? Thanks for uh, meeting up, man. We're, we're chatting YouTube today. We're doing it. Have an Earl of Sandwich. Earl of Sandwich. This is your first Earl of Sandwich. Yeah, this is my first time here, so we'll see uh, see how I like it. Jay's got some good feedback on it, so looking forward to it. And this is going to be on our tips video of like cheapest eats in Vegas. Now, this Earl of Sandwich in Planet Hollywood is the cheapest one. Yeah. If you go to Caesars, they raise the price up immensely, so know that. It's a good tip. Now we're going to figure out what Jeff's going to eat. I gotta figure it out. Go subscribe to JK Stay in Vegas. Alright, vacationers. I ended up getting the broccoli cheddar and then the tuna melt. Both great. I, I love having the broccoli cheddar. It's one of my favorite soups. And the tuna melt is just a go-to. It's like my number two next to the original. So I gotta prime uh, the French dip. I'm not gonna complicate it though. Roast beef and sauteed onions and Swiss cheese on a toasted white bun. And gotta have the ajou, right? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Now, I don't want to have this go all over me, so I'll be careful, because that would make a nice blooper reel. Exactly. So the ajou. So you want me to do a ta taste test here? Taste test, my friend. All right, all right, here we go. That's really good. The, the bread is really soft. It's it's all fresh. about the bread, right? Yep. Give it a big two thumbs up and the sandwich is very fresh. Jeff is a happy man. If you guys haven't seen my video in Barcelona, I went to a cereal spot like this. It was actually pretty cool. Jello wants to try it. I'm trying this after. Next on the list is Ocean One Barn Grill. Now we had to put our name in and they said it's about 30 to 40 minute wait, but for $5 lunch plates like salmon and all this other quality food, definitely worth the wait. One of the most popular cheap eats in Planet Hollywood and all of Las Vegas. Hey, I'm gonna get the blank steak. So here at Ocean One, they don't mess around. They're fast, you give them what you order, and I'm telling you, me and my dad got the Atlantic salmon. We ordered a couple appetizers. We got the filet mignon quesadilla and the calamari, both $5 each. We added the guacamole for $1.99 because, you know, everyone loves guacamole. And then Jello got something else. I got the marinated sliced flank steak, uh, cooked medium rare, hoping for the best. Got the salmon. Salmon or salmon? Salmon. Yeah, it's like 12 noon and we're like super non-caffeinated yet, so we got our coffees. They don't mess around with the creamers. They give you more than enough. We're gonna wait for our lunches, but this place is on and popping. We didn't even wait for 40 minutes. We waited for like 20 and we're in here now. All right, it's almost 1 p.m. We finally got our coffee in a Lavazza cup. Oh yeah, that'll do. Hopefully it's bottomless coffee. Ah. I like it. It's hitting the spot. Now here's a question for you, JKationers. How do you make your coffee? For me, I usually put two creamers and 
two equals and mix it around. Do you have it black? Do you like it cold? Do you like cold brews? Let me know in the comment section below. It wasn't even like 10 minutes and the food already came. I got the grilled salmon. It looks phenomenal. Really excited to try this. We also got the uh, filet mignon quesadillas right here and the calamari with the marinara sauce. Marinara or marinara? Put a little black pepper in there. Mix in some salt. They got that hot sauce on that bag swag. I'm gonna leave the cap off because we all know we're gonna be taking this uh, to town right here. I'm gonna grab a quesadilla to start. They don't mess around and they give you that guac too. Looks like they got some beans in this quesadilla too. For five bucks. That's a winner. Yeah. You really can't beat that for five bucks, huh? You really can't. Nope. Crunchy quesadilla. Filet mignon makes it in the quesadilla too. For five bucks, it's a steal. Good. For five dollars. Can't beat it. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to try out the calamari. They give you a few calamari rings with some cheese and a huge bowl of marinara sauce. Nice and crispy calamari. Marinara sauce is decent. It's good. I like it. Five bucks. Can't complain. All right, vacationers. So we got the flank steak right here. Cooked medium rare. Let's give it a shot. Try out the mashed potatoes first. Pretty good, decent. Five dollar steak. Really. All right, let's give the steak a try. A bit chewy. I mean, it's just five bucks. You can't really complain, so it's still pretty good. Had a grilled salmon. Tastes all right. But I need a little bit of salt and pepper, so I asked for salt and pepper, and it's just perfect now. That's all I need to say. <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna try out the salmon now. Yeah, it definitely needs a little seasoning for sure. I put Tabasco on it. There's some mashed potatoes in the bottom with some shredded vegetables. Boom. You can't find $5 salmon anywhere else. That's good. I'll take it. Man, I'm filling up quick. But they do also give you bottomless coffee, so that's also a good thing if you're looking for some brew. Can't finish the food. Me and Mari can't finish it. You know what the cleanup hitter is? It's the smallest guy here, this guy. Uh -huh. Always. All right guys, so here's the lowdown. Lunch is from 11 to five, and that's when you get that $5 deal. Now if you come for dinner, which I made reservations for, it goes back up to normal prices. So if you're thinking you're gonna get a $5 deal for dinner, it's not gonna happen. So make sure you're coming here between 11 and five for lunch. Other deals that they have is uh, three for 10, Three drinks for $10, but no sharing. So you have to drink all three drinks yourself. They have a few other specials that are a little more expensive. Three for 12 cordial specials, three for 14 premium specials. And their frozen drinks, if you just get one, it's like three bucks. Beers are like three bucks, so, and on draft too. Pretty cheap, and their house-made Bloody Mary is about seven bucks. Looks like the most expensive thing on the menu. Looks like they also have creme brulee for like $6.99. If that's what you want, you can get it. I think this was the best value cheap beats in Planet Hollywood. All right, vacationers, so that's it for the best cheap beats in Planet Hollywood. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. La Salsa and Ocean One were definitely the two winners in this video. But we also picked up some Garrett's popcorn and also checked out Earl of Sound, which is one of my favorites. There's other places we didn't try out, and there's a few more spots that also have cheap deals all around Planet Hollywood, so you can't go wrong. So it looks like they have a Ben and Jerry's here as well, and a lot of other things that you could do, like go to the Vegas Speedway, Grand Canyon tours, right next to the Eiffel Tower here at Valley's. So although you don't need your room key to get up an elevator, they do have a security guard checking if you have a room key before you hit the elevator, so. That's what keeps you secure. And right across the way, that's the connector to Paris. And yeah, Bally's and Paris are basically interconnected and I can walk through Paris to get to where I need to get to. They also have a signatures wine and spirits here where you can get souvenirs, drinks, and toiletries and snacks if you don't want to leave the resort. There's a nice little display of a Jubilee girl right next to the Uber and Lyft pickup zone which is right here to the side between the Flamingo and Bally's. Now, although there isn't a Starbucks here, they do have a Copy and Pastries La Vaza Cafe here. And this will be open for you 24 hours just across from check-in here at the lobby. So if you're looking for that, it's right here. And Bally's is pretty small. 
and they didn't really have much things. So they have the Grand Bazaar shops, which is up this escalator, and you walk through that lit up tunnel at night, and outdoors you'll get all the shops. Fast forward to Tuesday night. We're not staying at the MGM resorts anymore. We're now at the Bally's. This guy wanted to go see Carrot Top. So yes. he extended his trip another night. And now we're going to see Carrot Top. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see Carrot Top. Back at the Luxor. I know. So we're going back to where we came from. Carrot Top. Carrot Top. Yep. The ultimate prop master comedian. Tickets are 40 bucks, you said? Yeah, we got 40 on the, bucks. On M Life. Yeah, section one. So we're staying here at Bally's. Most of the shops are actually the outdoor shops that they you pass through where there's a Wahlburgers, there's a CVS, which is a big plus. If you wanna go eat, you have to go outside the casino. Casino itself, the casino, the casino floor is pretty small. They still have Jubilee, which is that showgirl show. They have a connection to Paris Hotel. There's also been talk about possibly extending Paris and taking down Bally's and just making it all big one Paris property. I'm not sure how true that is, but that's what I heard. There actually used to be a Starbucks under the Giordano's, but now it's closed. So the closest one is right across the bridge that connects to Bellagio. And there's one right off this bridge downstairs at the Bellagio. All right, Jacationers, if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. If you'd like to see other hotel reviews that I haven't covered yet on Jacation here in Las Vegas, please comment that down below and I'll try to do that here in 2022. Please consider subscribing. I have a ton of Las Vegas, San Diego, and world content. And now back to the video. So this is the passageway to Paris, right by Burger Brasserie. All right, Jaycationers, so now it's time for the best part of the hotel room review video, and that's the review of the room itself. So we're here at Bally's and stayed here for two nights. We got lucky on the automated check-in. They gave us a 10th floor overlooking the Bellagio, so you can see a partial view of the fountains at night. You can see Paris, really nice view of the Caesars Towers and other Bally's buildings. This is definitely an older, Vegas hotel and I've stayed here in the past back in New Year's 2009 I actually got a presidential suite complimentary for my rewards card they even had the huge big old-school tube TV and a huge bathtub spa in the middle of one of the rooms it was really cool but this is their normal room I got this for a hundred bucks total for two nights basically just paying for the resort fees. Now it's the same thing as other Caesars hotels where you can only connect two devices per day or they'll start charging you $14.99. Now I had my Auden Clark with me. He connected his laptop and I connected my laptop and those were our two devices. But if we didn't communicate, we would have connected our phones to the internet. We would have connected our iPads. So that would have cost us a lot more money. You have to communicate with your family and your friends when you're here because there's only two devices that you can connect to and you're gonna be paying a hefty $14.99 per day. It's not the stay, it's per day for each additional device. I just went downstairs and got the coffee. Usually coffee averages about $4.30 for Pike's Place Rose, but there's no Starbucks here. You have to actually cross the bridge over to Bellagio to get Starbucks and the Pike's Place uh, blend over there is $4.30. I went to Lavaza Cafe today, which is down by the lobby. This, if I didn't have Caesars Rewards, which thank God I had points in my Caesars Rewards because this coffee was free, this would be $5.99 just for regular brewed coffee. That is pretty darn pricey. If you ask me, I'm happy that I was able to convert my points finally and get that. And yeah, you'd think that the casino of Bally's is pretty small, which it is. But if you go to the back area towards the monorail and the food court and the sports book, it is a lot bigger. I think it was just is because it's a casino that was built a lot earlier. These rooms are actually very, very spacious. So I actually like that. And I think they have done renovations in the past to these rooms because uh, they have like a red and cr white creamish uh, tone to it. And it doesn't exactly match with the Bally's building and stuff like that, but it's, it's pretty nice. You have a huge working space desk right here, a huge mirror in front of the working space desk. All their lamps have one 
outlet and one USB charging device. Their TV is really nice. Over here, it's bigger than the one at Luxor that we just stayed at right before this. They have the refrigerator to keep your drinks and your food cold. The beds were actually pretty comfortable. I like the leather square bed stands that they have right behind me. There's a nice little lazy boy with a stool you can actually sit down and eat at, which I like. And the view here is really nice. You could actually just sit out here and uh, enjoy the view. Looks like they got VR stuff over here too. Bally's also has real bodies exhibit right here. So this is the backside of Bally's past the casino. They also have some arcade games and stuff for kids to do. Bally's does have a bunch of things. There's also a Twilight Zone type of experience here. They have this huge food court over here with a Johnny Rockets. Nathan, Subway, Sabaro, and it leads to the monorail and the pool area. And their sports books is actually pretty big. No one's really on here right now. Basketball, weight scales, it looks like. By the monorail is the Bally's Fitness Center. They have a few machines, it looks like. And it extends all the way in there. An elliptical, some treadmills, not bad. And if you want to use the Las Vegas monorail, they have a stop here at Bally's. And unfortunately, the pool is closed for the season, but they actually have a pretty nice pool over here. They call it the Blue Pool at Bally's. It's like they have a really nice bar lounge over here too. So this is the nice comfortable seat that you have you can put your shoes on here and just lay back and look at the views see part of the Bellagio fountains there's also a nice big lamp here that you can turn on and in front of the flat screen TV you got your dresser drawer and on the side of the dresser below the flat screen TV you have a bunch of outlets to plug in your USB your HDMI and all that good stuff there and then on the bed stand you actually have two huge drawers as well. At the bedstand, you'll have your phone, and then the lamp on the bedstand will have its outlet. In front of both beds, you have stools where you can sit down and put your shoes on and or just put your clothes at and, and lay them all out. Over in the closet area is where the safe is. Uh, obviously, it's important to have your safe. And what I do like about this hotel is that they do have a double lock. You can switch the first lock and then turn on the double lock. So that, that really helps out. And there's also a floor to ceiling mirror here as well. The closet has a bunch of wooden hangers as well for you and luggage rack as well as a ironing board and iron. Now the bathroom is okay. The sink has one of those like waterfall flowy sinks but it takes a little longer for the water to get warm, but it eventually does, so you just have to be a little patient, unlike other places where the water is already warm right away. And we actually got a notice that they were working on the water here. They said they were gonna shut off the water, but they, it never happened, or we just didn't notice when they did. The throne is nice and comfortable. The sink is good. They provide you with toiletries. There's a hair dryer, and the walk-in shower is pretty good as well. The shower head is nice, but uh, like I said, wait a few minutes to warm it up, warm up the water and you should be good. But the bathroom itself, it functions just fine for a place that I'm basically only paying a resort fee for. I actually like the convenience of Bally's being right in front of Bellagio. I've spent a lot of time over at the conservatory on this particular trip checking out the Chinese New Year display so it's really easy to get to Bellagio you just cross the bridge you have an inner connecting path to Paris basically Bally's and Paris are connected together and that helps extend what you get to see within the vicinity and then Planet Hollywood is right next door too as well as Cosmo so those are easy walks and then you cross the street the other way and you got Caesars Palace the link promenade so there's really a lot of things that's beneficial to staying here because you're so central to everything you don't always have to hop the cab to get to other places now you know resorts world is pretty far from here uh, south strip is pretty far but it's still pretty walkable if you could find all the other trams you can get to those places so overall Bally's centrally located so I would give this, the, the location part of it, a 10 out of 10. Uh, the hotel stay, uh, I'll, I'll actually go as far as say 7.58 out of 10. You know, it is older, it is outdated, but hey, you know, you're in the middle of the strip and you don't really stay in your room the whole time while you're here. Bally's Las Vegas, I definitely recommend it because you can find some really good budget-friendly deals, especially if you have the Caesars Rewards card. Yes, thumbs up. Now they also have the Grand Bazaar up front 
and we're gonna eat lunch with another YouTuber over at Giordano's. So let's hop over to Giordano's and check it out. What's up, Jake Hishner? So we're here over at Giordano's at the Grand Bazaar Shops at Bally's. We're gonna grab some lunch with a fellow YouTuber here in Las Vegas. He's a little late to the party, so we're waiting for him to come. Now, when you come here to Giordano's, it takes about 45 minutes to order Chicago deep dish style pizza. So you wanna come here a little early and wait. Make sure you're not in a hurry because it takes a while to make. Now their thin crust takes about 35 minutes, they said, and then they have another pizza. But yeah, you need to come here and and be patient because these pieces take a little longer to make. All right, Jake Asianers, so our special guest has arrived. He's gonna introduce himself, and you've seen him in my Planet Hollywood video real quick. Hi, I'm Ted. <laughs> What's up, Ted? What's your YouTube channel, bro? Uh, Sleepless in Las Vegas. Nice, man. You're, you're a Vegas local? I am a Vegas local now, now. Originally from the Bay Area, but now I'm Vegas. Just uh, about to eat some pizza. Yeah, man. I, I, you like Drew Donald's? You've been here before, right? You've been contacted? Once. Once. I'm ready for the epic cheese pool that you're about to do. <laughs> nice. Cool. Well, everybody subscribe to Ted, man. A good dude. You got the mozzarella sticks here. Ooh, they're warm. Looks like a crispy outside. A little overcooked. This is a marinara sauce. It'll do. You know, normal appetizer. And then I got a local lager right here. Nice way to start the day. Ted says it's gonna be a crazy cheese pull. I'm gonna make him do the cheese pull. He's gonna do the honors. So I'm not a professional. So if I mess this up, I apologize. It's not, uh -oh. it's not working it's not out. Happy. It's not working out. Okay, cheese pool, right? All right, Jake so I got the special. It got sausage, mushrooms, green peppers, and onions. Try it out. Look how thick this is right here. Wee. That's super filling. I dig that. If you want some Chicago-style pizza, come over here, Giordano's, if you're on the strip. I tried Windy City Meats. That's really good, too. That's a good spot. That's good stuff. You can use a fork and knife if you wanted to, right? I believe so. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll get back for it, but it's thick. It's kind of like you need a stuffed crust slice, like a whole slice. All right guys, so that was Giordano's. I thought that was pretty decent. If you're looking for Chicago style pizza here on the Strip, this is probably the best you're gonna get. But uh, Ted, what did you think, dude? It's okay. It was a, a solid five out of 10. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid place to go here in Bally's. Uh, I try to cover at least one spot for my hotel reviews, and this is probably the best you're gonna get. Wall Burgers, you said it was all right. Wall Burgers is like, it's good to try. I like Mark Wahlberg as an actor. Yeah. yeah. It's a good spot to try out at least once. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I've tried it a couple times. It's not really a place I would uh, want to go back to. There's so many different choices here in Vegas. There is. So. Yeah, I mean, Chicago style pizza, Giordano's decent. Thanks, man. Go subscribe to Sleepless in Las Vegas. All right, Ted, man. Good to hang out with you. You too, man. All right, bro. All right, Jake Kishner, so that will do it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing as I have a ton of Las Vegas, San Diego, and world content, food and travel to come. Check out my Patreon, PayPal, and Teespring if you want to help Jake Kishner in 2022. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of Jake Kishner, stay traveling, San Diego, Las Vegas. Uh -huh.